Welcome everyone to episode one of Frontier. I know a lot of people are playing on this map, and I think that's because this map is very unique. Um, speaking of which, look at that, even just... I didn't even notice this before I did the... Look at that, Frontier Police. I love it. There's so many good details in this map, I think. I think it's a fantastic map. So, anyhow, we're on here. Um, what is our goal? What are we doing on here? I know a lot of people have different concepts of what they want to do. So, the the kind of concept that I'm going to go with is, you see, there's a big city kind of in the background. We're kind of on the outskirts. They're still building up and doing dis different things around here. Ooh, sorry, don't honk at me. Um, but anyhow, the concept of what we are doing is this is a post-apocalyptic kind of world, which is something I've never kind of engaged in on Farming Simulator with um, any sort of uh, storyline or anything. So this will be a partial storyline to this. There'll be kind of some storyline to this. But we are here on this post-apocalyptic city um, living out here. Well, we are just out here on the outskirts um, working in this zone where the city over here in this zone um yeah they're doing their thing so what are we doing on here what are we doing on here well i moved out to this area because i wanted to take advantage of something um, i used to live in the city here and what i noticed living in the city is there's a huge demand for products now that people are starting to earn money get jobs things like that things are starting to recover in the economy here after kind of the post-apocalyptic events or whatever the case may be um, so people are farming out here to supply for this, the town. At least this is what we have going on out here on this side. Um, there's oil production. There's a lot of factories and things like that. Uh, but what I've noticed is there's such a high demand for products, and that's um, any sort of number of products. As you guys probably know from my map tour, if you haven't watched my map tour, you should. Uh, there's a lot of added products on here, plus I've added some extra ones on here as well for different things we can do. So what are we on here to do? Some of these are from Platinum and all this. A lot of products. So what we are on here to do is to make a bunch of kind of products and do productions pro pri uh, primarily, sorry, uh, predominantly or primarily to provide for the city. What is our end goal of this series? I don't know how long this series will be in terms of episodes. Uh, my goal is probably to have this series 15 to 25 episodes will probably be about the goal of it. Um, the goal is to have a industrial setup, an industrial um, business that is able to make a million dollars a day in profit. That's profit. That's not total income that we have for the day. That's our actual net profit, what goes into our pocket at the end of the day. Now, we are starting off with just this truck here. I like the truck. It kind of comes in new farm mode or any game mode you play and you start off with it. Uh, so we have this truck here that we can use to drive around and uh, run errands and do that sort of thing if we need to um, on the map, um, which is great because we need to drive around and kind of get started here. We have $0 in the bank. Um, in terms of our settings, if I go into here for us to take a look, um, let's scroll down to our settings here. Where are we at? Settings, settings, settings. There we are. We are going to play in normal economy mode. Now, I thought this one actually would be a fair challenge if we did easy, just because the concept is, well, there's a high demand for products in the city, but I typically play on hard, so I decided to go normal just to kind of be in the middle with it. I think that's kind of a fair middle ground, so it's not too easy for us. Uh, seasonal growth will be on. I'm actually going to change that to two days per month. Um, that's what I want there. Crop destruction off, periodic clawing off, fieldstone off, and weeds are on. Um, we also have precision farming on as well uh, because I figured this is kind of more modern and what we're doing and everything like that. Let me save that since I changed the setting. It's more modern than what we're doing. So I figured that was pretty reasonable that we'd be trying to do that. Um, we will be doing some farming, but again, we're only going to do farming to produce goods to put into our factories. So I don't necessarily know what sort of thing we're going to produce first. Um, we have a lot of different options on here. Um, we can take loans out. We have to take loans out here and there'll be a a payments and we have to make payments every month so for example if i the max we can take right now is thirty six thousand, which i might actually have to change that because i don't know if we're going to be able to uh rock and roll at that rate uh but regardless of that we can try to take a loan out um and do our thing and we're just going to need to try to use some production chains here uh to try to get some stuff up and running uh we can sell farm goods if we need to that's not a big deal we can do that but i don't want that to be our primary source of income um, what we might actually have to do now, since we can't take a lot of loans, is we may have to do some uh, contracts. If you go down here, there's not really a lot of contracts either, to be honest. So uh, we're just going to have to find something to do. I might be able to see if there's any work around here, anything needs to be done. Uh, but we need to find a way to make some money. So there's, again, all the basic productions. And there's a lot of other different productions around here as well. Uh, so I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive around. I'm going to scope out with our truck some of these different productions and see kind of the pricing of some of them and see if there's one that might be good for us to start off with. So 
Um, I'm going to scope it out and see what we can maybe do. Uh, maybe I can go to the bank and talk about getting some extra financing from them, uh, but we'll kind of see from there. So, uh, oh, and I also should note, uh, this area is under kind of a, it's not really, uh, it's kind of a police state-esque, um, which I know if, you're, if you've watched any other series on this, I'm sure a lot of people have used that same concept. I know the one series I'm watching is Mr. Silly Peas, where he runs it as the transitional authority is in charge here. I'm going to change mine up a little bit. They're not the the transitional authority. If you know anything about my channel or No Man's Land, my series on No Man's Land, the F-12 patrol are in charge here. Now, that doesn't mean we can't use cheaty things or anything like that. Technology is quite advanced um, on this region since it is quite into the future. Um, obviously, we're driving a very old, very classic truck here. So obviously not everything's going to jive with it being super futuristic, but um, it's just a little ways into the future for that uh, sense of the word. But uh, yeah, so the F-12 Patrol, we have to keep an eye out for them. They may try to bust us. There are certain things you're not allowed to produce. Um, for example, um, if we go into here, one thing that they are not allowing people to produce is these kind of various, uh, we'll say, adult beverages. So um, various things like that, they don't like you to produce, and they try to put limits on you and stuff like that and try to throw fees on and tax you and some crazy stuff like that. So we're going to kind of keep an eye out for that. And um, I know Darren Duel works for them as well, so we'll have to keep an eye out for them and that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm going to scope out some productions and then uh, I'll I'll bring you guys back in in a bit after we figure out what we're going to do. All right, I have done some soul searching and I have come up with a good plan. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you on here, and this actually I'm going to have linked down below in the description if you want to take a look at it. Um, you won't be able to edit it, but you'll be able to view it if you'd like to. Um, so there's a lot of new productions, a lot of materials. If we go into in the menu here, let me go into here. There's a ton of stuff that's added in this uh, game. And even the base game, like the basic productions, the base game productions, like some of this stuff up here is different in Frontier than it is in the base game. So I needed kind of something to help point me in the right direction. So what did I do? I came up with this. Um, and again, this will be in the description down below. You can have a link to this. Um, this is a Google Sheet, so it has all the productions. Um, so it shows you over here on this side, it shows you what factory it is on the map, how much it costs for that factory. Then I have the productions for that factory here. So like, for example, Fabric has two, and then some of these have more all the way down and so on and so forth. Then it has how many cycles it'll do that production and how much it costs for the production per month. And then over here, it has the recipe, which I took little snippets of for all of them. The only ones that are kind of hard to read is if we go down, um, there's a lot of pages, there's a lot of productions. Now, again, like if you look at, well, we'll just get down here to an example here, the example I want to show you. So a cake here, uh, it adds pallets and gas. So you need those to make cake now. And you also get some recycling uh, out, of the, out of the bottom end of it. Well, these ones, the recipe thing on the game is a little bit weird. So it's kind of over top of this, but this is two flour for each of these. Um, but yes, that's the only one that was a little weird. So having said that, I looked through all this after I made this chart, which by the way, this chart took me, um, it probably took me two hours to make this, maybe less, maybe an hour and a half, but it took a while. Uh, so anyhow, that's why I want to make sure I'll share it with you guys if you guys want it down below in the description if you're playing on this map. This will help you kind of figure out what you want to do. Um, so we need pallets. The first I thought I had was, well, we're going to need pallets for any production. So I was like, well, easy peasy. What we'll do if we go down here. Uh, if I can find it in here, we I thought, you know what? Easy thing for us to do is just buy the Palico for 100 grand and make pallets. But then I looked at how much pallets are worth. Pallets are not worth very much money. So this is not going to make us hardly any money. So and $100,000 for factory is still quite a bit. So a better idea, I thought, would be the carpentry because we also could do the sawmill. The sawmill up here um, is, if I find it up here now, see, sorry if you're getting dizzy with all my scrolling, but Miller Sawmill. We could make any of these products here, any of the planks, and those all sell for decent prices using just wood. Um, and it's only hundred grand, but we make more off of the furniture and the carpentry point, if we go back down here, is only 60,000 to buy. So that's not gonna put us too much in the hole and we can make it using just trees. So we don't have to process into beams anything. Um, so I think this is a good start for us because we're gonna start making some money. I know forestry is not everyone's first thing they want to see happen, but that might be what we have to start off doing. I can do obviously a lot of it off camera and everything like that. But um, well, on that note too, let's go back to the game here. So if I go back to the game here, there we go. Um, here we are right here. So this is again, to be 60,000 to buy. So we're going to need to get that. Now, if we go in the store here, um, we're also going to need to get some equipment. So I'm going to look at some equipment here actually. And I know some of you guys make fun of me because I always shop with you guys in. A couple of things I kind of want to do. I want to make this a larger process sooner. So I think we're going to get a truck right off the bat. So you might buy even this old international truck. It's super cheap. Not going to cost us too much. This actually looks quite nice. I like the look of the truck, but that's not going to be super helpful for calling logs. 
Well, we can get that. And if we go down to trailers here, down to forestry, if I can find it, forestry equipment. Um, in here, I have some auto load trailers, which this one is plenty big to start with. It's an auto load. Um, we can we can do trailer hitcher, and it doesn't matter. But anyhow, it's an auto load trailer. So that is kind of one of the new technologies in the area, logs that load themselves or trailers that will load themselves using some magic technology. I know that's a stretch, I apologize. But regardless of that, that right there could be our setup for that. And then we could even get just a chainsaw to just chop down trees to start. And I think that'll get us going right off the bat. So I think to start, uh, well, we also have to buy the land. Um, I think, goodness, it's gonna be expensive to get some forestry land. Um, what's a cheap one? 306 is the cheapest so far, 490, 787, 755. 424 for this one over here is not bad. And it has that area up at the top. So 424 for that, 45 is actually pretty cheap too. So I may drive over and take a look at field 45. I don't know, I'm gonna look around at some of these plots and I will bring you guys back in in a minute after I've taken out a loan for what we need. And I did talk at the bank, I did stop at the bank. They said that they can give me a loan above um, above the amount that we're allowed to get. They said that anything over $100,000 they lend me, the interest rates are gonna start going up quite a bit. So they said for the first $100,000, it'll be 3.5% interest. And then after that, it's quite a bit higher. So obviously I don't wanna, we can always pay off the higher amounts sooner. So. Um, we just kind of have to have a way to make some money. So let me get some stuff going here and I'll bring you guys back in in just a minute. All right, I just got done at the dealership here. Let's go out and see what I got. We got our truck and trailer that I mentioned and then I did decide to go with just a chainsaw. I think that's gonna work out just fine for us. So let's hop in here. And we also own a couple of things as well. If I go into here, we own Go down. Oh, well, I'll play it alone here in a second. If I go down here, we do own the production facility. I can deactivate all of those right now because we're not doing anything with anything right now. Uh, but we can start making some furniture, hopefully. That's the plan. Now, we do have to transport the furniture, so we're going to have to address that, which I think, a good way, actually, that's, let's just address that right now. I think if we go, is there miscellaneous? Might be the thing I'm looking for, might be under miscellaneous. There is an auto load trailer. That again, it's fancy technology that will auto load stuff into the back of our trailer and it can be hauled with a semi truck, which is what we have. I think it's in here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Furniture's on there at least. I don't know if it'll do all the fancy products. Auto, auto load stock trailer pack. Yes, yeah, so I think we'll go with. Hmm. They should both be fine, but I think this one will do the trick. So, yeah, we'll just do uh, we'll just do the standard. Costs us money to change that? It does. Well, we can't afford that. So yeah, and uh, I actually think for this one, because we are low on money, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lease this, and we can make payments on it. So uh, if we go down here to lease, we can always uh, purchase this for whatever's remaining that we owe on the trailer. So for now, we're gonna lease that, and the reason being, we have to pay off our loans as we're going here. Which again, they actually just were very nice to me. They did two hundred thousand dollars as long as I did a short term. They were able to go up to two hundred thousand at three point five percent interest. So we have to pay fifty nine hundred dollars a month for that, uh, for three years, thirty six hundred dollars or thirty six months until two hundred thousand is paid off. Then for the four hundred thousand, ten percent interest, so quite high. But the payment is lower because this is paid off in one hundred twenty months or ten years. So we have ten years to pay that one off, and yeah. So payments will start coming out of our bank account starting. Uh, well, it's August. Of it should be. I'm pretty sure the way we did it is, let me make sure. I wanted to set it, I might've forgot to do this. I wanted to set it to two day months. Um, let's go into here. I might've totally forgot to do that. I think I did. Seasonal growth, yes, two days per month. Okay, yeah, yeah, so two days per month. Everything's good there. Um, okay, so let's go get some logs hauled here. I don't have start. I don't have start and go breaking turned on. Let me turn that on real quick. These are all the things I forget to turn on and off when I start a new series. Uh, stop and go breaking on. There we go. That means basically if I start to go forward again, it will start to go forward on its own. I don't have to. Yeah. Anyhow, it just makes my life easier. And then the land that I bought. So, couple things. 
a few plots. I bought this one. That one was at now, of course, it's worth less. We bought we paid 434 for it. All the forestry land was overpriced. This one I didn't want to pay for it because it's 31% above what it was supposed to be versus this one's like 15 or 16 percent above. This one, um, well, of course, that this one was actually a little bit under. So I could have bought this one for about 20,000 more and saved a little bit of money, but there's nowhere for us to really park. This one actually has this property here, which has some fun stuff on it, which we'll take a look. It's literally just right next door to the store as well, which is another thing. So it's closer to where we're trying to get to and kind of the store and everything like that. So it's nice out here. Um, I did pay some extra for some kind of off-road tires on this, and I'll show you why that is going to be very necessary in a second. So if we turn in here, this lot is ours. There's some dirt all over the place, so we got to drive around and deal with that, which so far this truck is doing fairly well. I did buy, pay for an upgraded engine as well. Um, we have a crap ton of dirt just sitting here on the property that we bought. That must be why it was so cheap. The construction people, I think, have just been dumping it out here. Uh, but we do own that chunk of land. And then this goes across kind of into our forestry area. And this whole, we're going to have to get something done about this dirt and clear some of this out of here. But for now, we need to start making money ASAP. Um, I don't know if the dirt's worth anything or if we can sell it, but it's definitely not going to be worth a lot. So the land up here is a little treacherous. It's not the most ideal to be working in. You can see we are struggling to go up the hill here a little bit. But thankfully, we shouldn't have to haul anything. If we get off the road, actually, it might be a little bit easier. Yeah, that dirt is just really, really just mugging us down there pretty good so we'll just do what we can and then of course yeah make sure it doesn't roll away we do have our beautiful chainsaw so we can do whatever we need to do here um let's see if we can get this to just fall so we should be able to cut some things down i'm actually going to keep the time at about five times i think that's a pretty reasonable speed for us if i have to speed it up more that'll be fine but i'm going to go with not slowing it down if at all possible of that little chunk there now at some point we're going to probably want to plant some more trees because we want to well we want to continue our money making Did i get that little piece there there we go get all this hopefully off of here real quick so this tree is actually fairly large which is going to be great very helpful for us there we go I'm not, it's not doing a very good job getting it. It could be mostly my fault. Not all, but mostly. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we can see the whole tree here. Get this last little piece here. So the way the auto load should work, you'll be able to pull up next to it and just auto load it onto the trailer. Now that that tree itself is going to be too long. And I'm going to have to open up my help menu definitely to uh, start this. Uh, show in loading position. Show, I haven't used one of these since Willamina. Uh... Yep, we're gonna need to adjust. I'm gonna need to play with this uh, auto load right or left. So it should be oh, yep, to the auto load to the right, auto load to the left. Okay. Change number of piles to max six meters. Yep, that's just uh, turning our engine on and off. So I might have to change that one. Uh, if we go into our hotkeys, we should be able to adjust that a little bit in here. So there's probably, there's probably quite a few things in here, honestly. Um, okay. So, vehicle front loader crane, placeable camera game gearbox, vehicle lights radio, platinum expansion, go VO pack, pumps and hoses, bail stacking, arena mode. Good lord, there's a lot. Pallet auto load specialization. Horse play, legal timber auto load. Okay, so turn on and off. Okay, this one has to be changed to, we'll do, can I do let's enter on the numpad. I don't think that did it. Let me, uh, are those gonna show up the same way? Yeah, I think so. Let's remap that to keypad five and see how that goes. Um, okay, show hide, rotate on loading position, resize on loading position. Shift unloading position, unload marker, toggle unload switch pile. Yes, yeah, so let's try that. Let's try that. Um, and see how that goes. Um, okay, save controls. Okay. So now we should be able to. Yep, there we go. That is perfect right there. Piles two, it should change on there. But yeah, that, that's the size we want. So now we just need to cut this guy. 
be about that size and see how it goes. So let's see how that goes. Okay, now we hit auto load on. So far, this is not going well. Nothing's dancing up there. Hmm. This might be something I have to, of course, play with a little bit. So let me try to get this figured out, and I'll bring you guys back in in a second. All right, I solved it. I got one to auto load. I need to remember to probably strap that down as well. So this one is probably a little too long here as well. Let's get right up to about there. Let's see if we can't cut that. Right about probably there-ish. Good news is it's getting made into furniture, so if... Oh, oh it automatically auto-loaded that because it's on. That makes sense. This one I can lift, though. That's nice, and it should have automatically, I think, auto-loaded that as well, as soon as it got in there. Is it not going to let me get in there? This is going to be a pain. Let me get into the, the vehicle. That, <laughs> they're not going to let me get into it? That is going to be obnoxious. I've had this issue before, so we'll see. But anyhow, okay, we can turn that off, and I think we can uh, hide that. So I can do, there we go. That's also the unloading position. So that was just, I used it to show me the unloading position. But there we go. We have three logs on board, so... I'm going to keep chugging away until hopefully I've gotten a full load off of a few trees here. Um, and then we will haul this down to our beautiful carpentry facility. Get this bad boy unloaded into there to get the production rolling. And then hopefully we can make enough money. And worst case scenario, we can sell the logs. I just would rather not because obviously we'll make more money off of doing our furniture. And I did say we would start off by doing a production of some kind. We could have started off doing farming or something like that. But uh, again, we're only going to sell goods farmed goods and stuff like that, um, or things we produce such as logs if we are desperate for cash. We're absolutely desperate, and that's the only option we have. Otherwise, we are going to try to stick it out with only making money off our productions. But there we go. I'm just going to chug away and keep working. All right, load one is done. Let's see if we can work our way off of our land here without hopefully getting, oh boy, like rolling it or anything like that. That was about to be a bad day right there. Get my GPS open down there in the bottom corner. I think I know where I'm going, but we will see. Yeah, our truck is parked outside the carpentry, actually, so that's a good marker on the map. And yeah, there we go. And once we get on the roadway, it should be a little bit uh, easier. But for now, a little bit treacherous getting this around here, but I think this is a good equipment setup for us to start. I'm hoping this is a decent amount of wood right here. Um, it didn't take us too long to get it, so it should be hopefully pretty good, pretty decent. I do have to be careful. I want to make sure I don't violate any laws or anything, because, again, the F-12 patrol will come after us if we do that. Um, yeah, so hopefully being kind of on the edge of the map and kind of out of their way, we won't have to worry about them too much, at least right now. I don't want to pass these guys or do anything crazy. Um, I'm not sure what we're waiting for here. Yeah, I'm not honking, but they are. Okay. Boy, they're just taking their sweet time. Well, that guy's trying to turn. There we go. That guy at least went. This guy gonna go? There we go. Nope, nope. He's turning right. Yeah, you're both turning. One of, yeah, if one of you guys would go, then I can just turn into here. Perfect. Okay. Easy peasy. So, I think right there at the front is where we need to kind of back these guys in a little bit. Let's try to do it. I mean, we own this. We don't own this land, actually, technically speaking. Yeah, that's fine. I can save that. If we go up here to the top, I think we can we buy the land here that this is on. No, we can't. So I guess I'm going to go with, for the purposes of what we have going on, we own the land. This, the carpentry point is on here. So we own this land, and we own the building on it. So we can do kind of what we need to do here. Actually, it might be easier to back in from the roadway. We can do that. Yeah, just back back out here. I hope this guy's not going right. Just gonna, there's the police right there. Need, oh goodness gracious! Hopefully they just keep moving about. He stopped. Oh boy. I feel like that's kind of on him. Well, he doesn't care that much. Nor do the police. Maybe they do. I don't know. All right. Well, they kept going that time at least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right after, <laughs> right not to get in trouble with the police. That was not a good uh, start there. All right, I don't like blocking the road, but it might be. That's our lights. Where's our flash set? There we go. I remember the hotkey there. Let's get out here and uh, let's get this stuff put in. Let's do some of it. That dot. Well, that's at least enough to get us backed up a little bit more. Let's get out of the roadway here. 
There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see here. How is that production facility looking? Um, okay, they got more room for more wood. Okay, good. So I want to make sure. Now let's go ahead and activate the uh, furniture as well. Um, that's quite a bit of wood, so we'll see what that makes for furniture. It should start spawning it out and doing all that sort of thing. Let's go around here. See if we can't get the rest of this unloaded. There we go. Okay, how did that do? That about filled us up, so we definitely don't have room for our load. Now, what I would like to do, though, is get another load loaded up. That way, we can do anything we need to do with that um, and everything like that. So that's, yeah, that way we just have it ready to go for when this needs more. So I'll keep working on that. Um, and that's that. I think uh, that's, and I'll go get the trailer. We can park the trailer out back. Um, I think we'll use this probably as our main parking yard for now because, well, it's kind of a disaster over, I mean, on our, our working area. Yes, we do own the land here, but... Right now it's a disaster until we can get that dirt. And I want to clear this dirt out of here as well, at least up for towards the end of where the land we own, which is up over here. So I at least want to clear the dirt so that way it's easier for us to work up there. So we may look into doing some of that one. So all I've done off camera is fast forwarded into the next month. We are at the beginning of the next month here. And I've gotten one load of lumber here. Um, and if we take a look, let's go over. Where's the, oh, it's over this way. That's right. Um, if we take a look in here, open our production menu. Our furniture factory is slow but surely making furniture that is great however um i made a very serious calculation error and i'll explain that error now um well there's no furniture out here yet which is just the way it is there's no furniture out here yet um and the month has produced a thousand liters of furniture um and if we look at the production menu itself it will produce um 288 times five that is about 1440 i think is what i calculated 288 times five which will make us about five to six thousand dollars a month if we're lucky so the problem with that is if we go to our loans um paying off our two loans is more than five or six thousand dollars a month so we're gonna quickly be bankrupt before either of those get paid off uh this could take so long to make furniture so that was my bad so i went back to the bank i explained what was going on i said we have a good uh, venture here everything's going well by the way we did make one payment that's why those amounts are down and I begged and pleaded, and they gave me a $100,000 extension on my 10-year loan, basically. Still 10% interest, so we're screwed. But thankfully, it only added $1,400 extra a month we have to pay. So we are, yeah, we need the money. And the reason I got that $100,000 extension is because we have no choice, I think, but to buy the sawmill up here. We can get forestry products going, but we need, we need to actually be able to make some money. So the forestry at, or the sawmill should be able to make us enough. And again, I can sell logs if I wanted to sell some wood, but I think that we will also run out of logs at some point if we keep relying on that to pay back those loans. So, um, yeah, I don't want to rely on that. Again, I said I wanted to do this through production. So even though we're a little stretched right now, um, and the bank knows that, and the bank is, I think, a little nervous about it, but uh, we are going to make this happen. We're going to make it happen. We need to take, yep. And then we need to take, I think this road on the left is theoretically quicker it's straight back over to the sawmill yeah we're gonna have to go off-road anyways eventually so we might as well that might be quicker let's just go for it see how bad this is because obviously we have to yeah the dirt here and then this is just more dirt we're gonna need to clear which again i don't know if we're gonna be able to clear any dirt this episode we'll kind of see um there's probably gonna be a, a fair amount of this series since i'm trying to keep the series uh short in terms of episode amount so i don't want to have like 100 episodes of this series which easily on this map you could have 100 episodes again i want to stick to about 20 to 15 to 25 is kind of my range i'm thinking we're going to be pushing it i might even be unlucky and have to go to 30 but again i want to keep the series short and the only reason for that is i want to be able to get the series out there um, enjoy it get to play on the map as much as i want to and then hopefully move on to more maps because there's a lot of nice maps out right now so that's kind of the goal here. So there might be a lot of stuff that kind of has to happen off camera. But again, you guys don't really want to probably watch. Some of you guys actually, I think, do probably. But for the most part, I think most of you guys don't want to watch me just log away for 12 hours and 17 episodes and us not make any progress for 17 episodes. This is a problem. Come on, you can do it. But yeah, you guys want to see progress. You guys want to see how we're going to do this. How are we going to make this multi-million dollar industry? How are we going to be industry giants? Which I decided to name the series that. The industry giant series so we're trying to become an industrial giant and that's why i didn't want to sell the logs as just logs i want to sell them as a product i want to make them into something that's the purpose of what we're doing this we're gonna have to clear some of this it's gonna be ridiculous um we could i guess theoretically just shove it off to the side of the road 
Which actually, I don't know if it'll let me collect this. I might just have to get permission to collect some of this stuff up here. But uh, anyhow, here we are. Miller's Sawmill, which is great. We need we need the money that this place will hopefully produce for us. Pull up here. Open this gate up. and Let's go in here. Let's just purchase it while we're out and about of our car. So I think right there we should be able to purchase it. Yes, we will purchase it. Okay, 100 grand. So now, why can we just access it right here? Uh, 3120. So these are going to go through logs a lot faster and produce a lot more products a lot quicker. So I will do the math on which of these. I'm going to deactivate all these for now. Um, I just want to do the one that's going to make us the most money for right now. Because I think if we do multiples, um, it's going to divide the profit. So I'll do the math on that um, off camera to decide. They're probably all very similar, actually. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll do some math on which one's actually going to make us the most money. Um, but let's get this in here. I think if we just pull across this, it'd be much easier to unload here. We can obviously get some of this dirt out of the yard. Um, I think... I think you, you have to buy the land to move some of this dirt. You that It's all off. That, that part, at least, is not on. So I'm hoping we can pick it up. It's not our land, but I'm hoping we can pick it up. We'll have to see. Uh, okay, we put all that wood in there. So now, inside of our sum... Let's just... Yeah, let's just go this will be easier here. Um, inside of our sawmill this can hold also a lot more wood too so we can probably get in our three loads and log those into here um so i can keep working that'll give me something to do off camera as well um and do all that sort of thing but yeah i'll do the math and see which one of these is probably the best option for us in terms of what we should do but i yeah unfortunately we just have to have both of these guys running or we're not going to make it we're just not going to be able to do it so we own two production facilities and we are seven hundred thousand dollars in debt uh so yeah and we have enough money in the bank to pay one more month. And the next month, we will be absolutely out. So we have to make a sale of some kind. So hopefully, we'll have enough produce to at least make a couple payments or make a payment um, and kind of break even. So we'll have to do probably a partial load of just whatever products we got. And that just might have to be what we have to do. And we'll have to make it work. And then somehow, we need to clear the stupid dirt out of here. But uh, yeah, so I will keep uh, working along. I'm going to get that sawmill filled up with some stuff and maybe look into a solution for the dirt. But again, the priority right now is to make sure we don't completely go bankrupt right off the bat here so uh yeah i'm gonna keep chugging away i'm gonna keep doing some more logging and get that stuff done all right everyone it is uh the end of october and we do not have enough to make our loan payment tonight so this is where things are going to get interesting i think we should have enough products uh, if we go over here we'll take a look here so we have three pallets of furniture but that is it that is it this thing is making furniture which is great it's taking a long time to do it but it's doing it um, and if we go into the production menu, which if I go over here, we should be able to do that. Uh, open production. What can you do in here? Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, we have plenty of wood here. It's still producing what it can. Um, it's doing all that sort of different stuff. And then furniture is slowly getting made, which is great. So it's happening. It's just taking a while. So we're going to grab these three pallets of furniture and sell them off, which actually... Um, and the other thing too, I should say, we've been manufacturing planks. Can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but this one you actually lose money, I think it is. Yeah, this one you actually lose money producing beams um, as opposed to selling the wood. This one you just don't make a lot. This one you make the most, which still isn't great, but it's pretty good. So um, there we go. We're still producing a lot of planks. We have a lot of planks up there. I did fill this all up to 109 with my last load, um, which is great. So we have plenty of wood in there. And honestly, it's not going through the wood that fast. So this will last us actually quite a ways or quite a long time. So uh, everything's doing good, but we need to find a place to sell both of these. So if we take a look. um. Go up here. Oh, and the other thing too about pallets, I didn't even think about this. You can sell them for six hundred dollars per thousand liters, obviously, but I you actually also can buy them um, in the in the store under pallets in here for five or what is it, thousand dollars for? I think it's thousand dollars for a thousand liters. I can. I gotta go check here. Let me scroll down to them. They're not very far up the, the row here. Oh, we're already way past them. I bet. Yep, 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 yep. They're right here. There we are. A thousand dollars for a thousand liters. Okay, so a thousand for a thousand. So a dollar a liter, basically. So any of the other productions that required uh, pallets, we could probably do that pretty easily as well. Okay, thirty nine sixty is a good price. Um, the best price is the supermarket right now, which is probably what we're gonna have to do. Um, so the supermarket is where at on here? Um, it's got to be close to us, I would think. Oh, actually, it might be over here. Supermarket. Okay. So we might drive the furniture over there, sell it, and then come up here to pick up our pallets, or our planks, excuse me, up here. I'm betting the supermarket does not take planks. They do not. Um, and what's the best place to sell it? Carpentry. 
well, we can't really sell it and hurt to ourselves. Uh, the construction site would be the next best one, so they probably want the planks. That makes sense. And then export by train is terrible. I also talked to some people about the dirt. So if we go down here to dirt. If I can find it. Dirt. There we go. Um, the construction site says I'll buy it on here, and then there's the Northern Railroad, which if I tag that, where is that sell point at? It should be. I bet you it's outside the. Maybe it's not. No, it's up there. Okay, yeah. So that's railway to the north. Is there two railways? Railway sell points? No, just railway to the north. So the railroad. So we have to sell it. Uh, that way, the, let me untag that real quick because it's bothering me. Um, we have to sell it there. I talked to the construction site. They don't want any more dirt. They, the reason they dumped all the dirt out onto our property before we owned it was because they didn't want it. So um, anyhow, and all that junk that's next to our property, they said that they can get that removed for us um, at some point. So um, they said, yeah, they said they'll get that removed for us since we bought the land. But they said, yeah, they're going to they're probably going to have to charge us for it maybe. So we'll see. Hopefully they don't charge us too much for it. But uh, yeah, so anyhow. Let's get this furniture sold off, and then let's get those planks picked up and sell those off because I think that's going to be what we're going to need to do um, to pay our bills today. So we'll sell what we can. Um, and actually, you know what? What we could do, since we don't have a lot of furniture, and I think the planks will be sufficient. That's wait, or yeah, that's wait until we get a good price on furniture. So let's actually not even sell the furniture off right now. Um, let's just go. I keep opening course play. I'm actually probably going to remove course play and put auto drive in here because I think we're going to do a lot of. Um, deliveries and such like that. So that's probably gonna be what we were to want instead. Um, but yeah, oh wow, there's a lot of uh, a lot of congestion here at the gate. Let's get going here. We'll get this way. Uh, but yeah, we'll drive up. Let's go pick up all of those planks, and then we're gonna go ahead and get those sold off, which would be great. So um, I'm gonna drive up there. I'll just you guys have seen me drive. I'm just gonna bring you guys back in once I get up to the the sawmill here in a second. All right, we're pulling in here, and I also have done some thinking about our dirt problem. And I think I have a good plan to at least get the bulk of it out of the way. So I'll talk about that here in a bit. But let's go ahead and grab all these planks. We have a lot of planks here. Um, this should... Oh, X to turn on auto load. What a roller coaster there. Um, yep, I don't know. There might... Oh, it is auto loading them. Okay. They might just be really far away from... Okay, this works definitely different than the one I used on No Man's Land. But that is a okay. Um, if we can't get those guys loaded up. There we go. Which is fine. This does not matter. We open, take a look at it. It says we can open the curtain, can't we? Um, see, the curtain's opening anywhere, but there are pallets. What well, kind of pallets inside? Uh, but it doesn't matter as long as they're on here. Um, that is fine. That is a-okay. As long as they are on here, um, we have... Oops. Get back in there. Turn. Here we go. Turn on. on. Okay, perfect. Auto loads off. Okay, so to the construction site, we go 18,000 liters, which I think they should sell for, what is it, just over 2,000 pieces. This should get us like $36,000, which will be plenty to cover the next few loan payments, actually. So that's good. Our uh, factory is doing well for us. We should have just originally invested in the sawmill, but that's fine. Uh, the other thing I thought about, too, that we could do is... I can stay on the road here. Oh, the dirt's driving crazy. The other thing I thought about us doing, too, as well... I think, obviously, our next project is going to be clear the dirt, which the dirt's not going to make us a crap ton of money or anything like that. We're not going to become wealthy off of selling the dirt. But I think the next thing we're going to do after that for productions is maybe do some greenhouses. And then I'd also like to, at some point, maybe buy a multi-fruit silo and then start knocking out harvesting contracts and then just keeping all the leftovers... So eventually, when we have something that can uh, produce something with those products, um, we can do something with them. And we have plenty of room. We should be able to put those on our plot. And then we also need to maybe plant some more trees um, on our plot to be able to continue our forestry work as well. Um, because obviously, we're doing pretty good on the forestry stuff right now as as it's going about. Um, we also can build more factories. There's nothing against that in my rules or anything like that. Um, this actually looks like a really nice area for like a factory right there. That would be a really good place for us to maybe build our own sawmill setup, maybe? I don't know if you can even buy that land, to be honest with you. Um, right next to that, right there. Oh, you can. Beautiful. It's only $60,000, and that's with the price jacked up a little bit. So that might be a good spot to just build some production facilities or something along those lines. It looks like you can buy most of the land here. And that, that I think, is a farm. But I don't, I don't know if since we didn't start a new farm mode, if it actually is set up as a farm uh, right now or not. Sorry, I muted my mic for a second, so I had to sneeze. 
happens. Okay, I just set up as a farm, which is nice. That means there's a silo up there. So if we bought, how much does that cost? 55,000, that's what it really jacked up. We might actually just buy that chunk of land and accept the silo on it. That might be cheaper than building our own silo, to be honest. Um, okay, the construction place. This is, one of these will take the materials. Um, one of these will. Um, I've seen people play on this map that have had some issues, and one of them will take it and one won't take it, or whatever the case may be. But here's the stuff that the construction company is going to clear out. Uh, maybe I'll ask him how much it's going to be when we sell this stuff off here. Um, let's see. if Let's just go right. We'll try right first, and then if that does not work, we will go somewhere else. All right, let's see. I don't think, well, we don't want to maybe do that. Let's see if this will sell them here then. I don't care if I have to manually put them in there. We have liftable pallets in, so it's not a big deal. Pallets not accepted here, or planks not accepted here. Okay, let's get these next to the truck again. And let's get the uh, auto load turned back on. There we go. And that one that's on its side is not gonna load up. They don't like that. This one looks like it's out of range, so there we go. We should have 18,000 back in here. Perfect. Turn auto load off. So now we can just probably back out, I think. I say that as if that's going to be easy. It's definitely a difficult place to sell stuff, dude. That camera collision is going to drive me over the edge. All right, there we go. That was actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself on that one. Okay, this one actually, they should just, I think they just sell directly out of the trailer. Let's try this. Yep, there they are. They're selling directly out of the trailer. That's good. Oh, the curtain's open. That makes it easy to... Oh, they're, they're selling all the way back there perfect, so I don't have to move this anywhere. They're just going to keep selling. I also need to get some gas for this truck, too. This thing's burning through fuel like it's going out of style. All right, yeah, we're doing good now. All right, that, that makes me feel better. That means that we can actually uh, make it, and we can actually survive off of our factories that we're doing right now. Okay, there we go. Those are going back up. $39,000. That is fantastic. So, and the curtains are back up. Beautiful. All right, so now we have 48 grand in the bank. Um, so, my plan for dirt, my dirt plan. Um, I thought of a few different plans um, here, but I think this one's going to be the best one. So, I think we should be able to buy, theoretically, if I can find it. Actually, it may not be in here. Yeah, I think it's under miscellaneous down here. So, if we go to miscellaneous, I think... Uh, well, one of the things I know for sure is in here. I just don't know if the other thing is or not. So one of the things I'm thinking we buy or we can buy is one of these containers. So these containers, they're both the same, I think. I might We might just go with the gray because I think it looks a little bit cooler. Uh, but yeah, they're both containers. We can get them in this unrealistic capacity of 150,000 liters. And then there should be... Again, I don't know if it's in here or not. I thought it was. There's a trailer back. That theoretically, I hope it's not in there. Oh, is it under low loaders? I don't think it is. No, it's not under low loaders. It's got to be under regular trailers. So it's a trailer that is designed to hold the containers. It's a container trailer. There we go. Okay. It's not terribly complicated or anything like that. Let's see if I can find it. It's red, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. I may have just not gone far enough last time. Um, yeah, there it is right there. So. We're looking at 45,000 for this. I'm pretty sure that's what this does. I'm pretty sure that hooks up to this. I could be completely wrong. And then we can use this. Yeah, so this is a tipping container trailer. So we should be able to put um, a 20 or 25 footer on here, which would be great. Can we do bigger than that? 25 foot truck, 25 foot tractor. Okay, that's cool. You can rearrange that. Um, we'll do a 25 footer. So I think we will... I'm, I'm curious to see how this goes. Obviously, we don't have a lot of money. 
Um, but I think if we lease this, that'll be good for that. And then we can buy one of the containers. The container's only like 3,800 bucks. So we can buy one of the containers. We can lease this guy. Um, and then what we also can do to get the stuff actually in there is if we go to belt systems, and this is actually a mod I've never used. I think Mr. Slip, he used it on his series to move some dirt at some point, but uh, this is a auto load belt. Um, so this one, I it should automatically pick stuff up off of the ground around it. Um, I've never actually used this mod. I've installed it a lot, but I've never actually used it. So uh, I'm curious to see how this will go, um, but we will probably try that and then we can lease this as well. So. Um, leasing shouldn't be too much for both those probably about five six thousand dollars plus four thousand dollar trailer and we already have a truck to haul stuff so i think that's my plan for dirt that's my plan i think so um let's move back here and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here because that might be a process and then we're gonna keep chugging along we're still making making money off of doing what we're doing and then i think next episode will probably be our primary goal be probably clearing some of that dirt out um, you know what? Actually, we might even do that this episode. I think we can probably do that. Um, we need to make some progress. I think we're going to do that. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to back this guy out of here, get that stuff set up to move some dirt, and I'll bring you guys back in after that. So I think we can afford it, and we should be able to make our money back by selling the dirt, even if we have to rent the train and go that route. So um, we'll go ahead and get that going, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, so far things are going to plan. I did test out the belt, and it's doing great. Um, I started driving it in and it, you, you can kind of I mean it only drives at three miles an hour So it's kind of a pain and it will take a while to clear stuff But it does pick it off the ground in a pretty wide swath. So if I just pull under it right now that should Pick up I've already picked up all the dirt off the entrance here. So that should theoretically start dumping dirt in Maybe If I get it under actually there we go. Okay, there we go dirt is coming in and as soon as that stops giving me dirt, oh wow, it's picking up from very far away, which is great. That makes our lives easier. And it's already, yeah, we already got a crap ton of dirt on here. Um, I think this thing was 150,000 this thing holds, I think is what it holds. But uh, yeah, okay, then we get in. And then as we're driving, oh, it's picking up gravel now. Well, I don't know where it's getting that gravel from. Oh, from over there. Is there gravel in here? There is. I will be darned. Well, we need you to focus on the dirt. So we're gonna try to do we're gonna kind of do a cheating number here. I'm just gonna let that go on the ground there. There we go. That's fine. I can pick that up later. Okay, there we go. And nope, oh, quit unloading it. Yep, there we go. Should be hopefully only picking up dirt. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I just don't want it to override and do anything cr crazy or weird. That's the only disadvantage to having such a wide pickup. Okay, it's picking up all the dirt around. Great. It's going to switch to... don't like that it missed that little chunk of dirt there. Let's see if we can grab this little bit of dirt here. Since that's closest. Nope. Grab rocks. Darn it. I knew that was a risk. Um, let's put these rocks back over there. There we go. <laughs> oh, what a pain. Uh, but on, oh, I mean, I'd say that, but it's, uh, it's actually really not. It's is actually really easy to use for the most part let's try to get maybe if we get a little dirt on it it'll be able to pick that up a little bit easier because it's going to target the dirt did it pick up rocks again are you kidding me no it's picking up dirt there we go okay i'd say it is removing it from the dirt pile now if we go back over here it should only be able to pick up that dirt. Okay, good, good, good. It's getting only dirt. Picking up dirt. It's full right now, which is fine. I'm going to pull it so it can only get dirt, or at least it only has dirt in its immediate vicinity. There, that should be fine. And then we will pull this under. Okay, and that should just load right up all the dirt that we could ever want. And beyond. 
Now, the only painful part is going to be hopefully getting this on the rail, because this doesn't actually tip back. I'm assuming I can open the... Uh... I'm hoping I can... Yeah, it says I can unload here. Okay, so it should be... It should be something I can unload into something. Get a sip of my coffee there. Now, the train rental, I probably don't want to pay a lot of money for it, so I'll probably just rent it, dump this off. Oh, goodness. I just drove over that. But, hey, we have a load of dirt, and I think I can drive that uh, belt system up the roads we need to get it up. Now, the problem is I don't have a way to tow it. I haven't tried with the truck. Does the truck have a hitch on the back? doesn't so of course can't and i did try it i tried it with the pickup truck pickup truck would not tow it so that's kind of a pain but uh okay yeah so anyhow where do i need to go to load this into the train um probably i might just jump over here real quick so i can take a look what do we got going on here for train loading no this is just a silo i don't think i can put stuff this is a train silo well, let's say, no, it's not a train silo. Okay. Um, what about over here, this area? Okay. No, no, no. This should work. Mm, maybe. Um, I'm going to hope that this this works. That looks like a railroad silo there, right there, though. Now, the question is, does the railway silo hold dirt? It does. That means it holds dirt. So we can just load it there. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, which means we probably can put a bunch of it in there first and then unload it onto the train afterwards. Worst case scenario, we can always dump this on the ground and have the belt loaded on the train. That's just a bit of, that's just a lot of extra work. Get rid of the dirt, but uh, if we have to do it, we have to do it. So, um, I like that Jake break. Might be a little loud for you guys though. Let me turn that off. There we go, okay. Um, oh, oh, do I need to go farther? No, it's in this it's in this lot here. Okay, let's turn into here. 150,000 liters of dirt. Let's see if we can't. And I know that there's recycling bins and other things. Oh, I can't get through here? This is... That is a true disappointment right there. I can't get out that way either. Well, that is... Isn't that something? Isn't that something? That's pretty typical, I feel like, with my luck, though, so I'm actually not super surprised by it. I'm going to drive around. I can turn around here, potentially. Um, yeah, we need to drive around and get this unloaded. Let's go ahead and do that. I would like to end this episode with us selling, like, a massive load of dirt, or as much dirt as we can get on the train, so we can load the railroad silo all the way up, and then what we can do from there... This way. I think this would be the best way to go. But yeah, we can load the railroad silo all the way up, and then we can get another full load of this next to the railroad silo after it's loaded up, and then we can use that to go ahead and get it taken care of. Yeah, okay, so how do I get in there? Um, okay, yeah, the entrance right around the other side. Okay, perfect. So I'm assuming this is going to go in to the railroad silo for us, which actually the other thing is, I know this is a little bit cheaty, but we can use the railroad silo for storage if we'd like to. Because we, yeah, because we don't have to own it to use it. This is problematic so far. There we go. Thank God. Oh, it is. On, it does tip back. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that'll teach me to think things. And we are putting dirt into somewhere. Let's, let's make sure it's actually. Yep. Okay, good. I, again, I don't know how much it's going to hold, but there we go. We're dumping dirt in there. I'm going to keep working on picking up dirt and getting dirt loaded into here, and I'll bring you guys back in after we have a lot of dirt. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, so the silo is full. It actually only holds... Oh, that auto save there. Um, it only holds uh, 500,000 liters. So 500,000 liters of dirt, and then I have 150 in here. Um, so let's go ahead and... Where's that train rental point? I think it's just up... Here it is. Here we go. So, $5,000 an hour. Okay, and it is 5.4 kilometers, 5.3 kilometers away. So I am going to wait patiently and put another cut in here so you guys don't have to deal with me waiting for the train. So I'll see you guys in a second when the train's actually here. 
All right, and it took a little bit to get here, but there it is coming right now. I don't know where it's going to stop. It actually might stop up here. Okay, perfect. Well, we are going to go ahead and start it up. And I think it will hold everything, but I could be completely wrong about that. Let's get these covers opened. We'll see how much it holds, which is kind of part of the experiment here as well. Because um, I wanted it to get everything that we have, obviously, on board. Easy does it. There we go. All right, let's put... Uh, I should go the other way. Probably be easier. Holy smokes, this thing will load... This, this silo will hold a lot of everything. There we go. Dirt. Okay. And then while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and hop in here and start the unloading process for that. There we go. Okay. That should be doing its thing. And we should be able to back up. I think backing up and out that way because this is... That's the cell point right there. So we're going to try to just back out so that way it saves us on having to go all the way around the map on, well, not just uh, time, but also just on rental cost. Oop, no, 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 slow down. Oops, that was my bad. That was my bad. There we go. Okay. So four cars at 90,000 a piece, and actually we're not going to be able to put it all on here, which is fine. If we get a full load out. I think that'll be a good end of the episode. And then we also know what the train holds, which should be, I think, going to be 360,000 based on the math I just did in my head real quick. So we'll see about that. Um, yep. Yeah, it's looking like it's only going to be 300,000. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think that's all it's going to be. And then we will wrap up the episode at that point, I think, just selling off some of that dirt. And I think that's where we'll call it for today. Um, and obviously tomorrow we have to pay a loan fee, but we have plenty of money in the bank because we sold some stuff off. So we're doing good, and I think we'll make a decent amount of money off of this as well. It won't be a lot, and I like the concept that we have to use the train because, well, the dirt wouldn't be everywhere here if it was worth money. People would probably be picking it up. So in terms of the storyline, it just has to go somewhere else. 390,000, does that sound right? Oh, each of these oh, each of these back ones might actually hold 120,000 based on the math that that has to be that way. So it should be 420,000 total because each of the first ones were 90,000 each. And then that one, I think, because we we're at 180, and that puts us up to 300. So if that math does, if I'm if I'm math incorrect, this should max out at 420,000, which is better than I thought it'd be. So that is good. Yep, we're already over the 360. So yeah, I think 420 is where this is going to get to, which is great. And that means that, uh, yeah, I'm just so used to the train on Michigan. I think that Michigan Farms I play on there that has so much extra room. So we're going to try to back off the map and see if that works out effectively and pays us appropriately. We should be able to just back out this way. It should kick us out here in a second. There we go. The train will not drive another turn on the other side of the map. Do you want to sell? Yes. Okay, $488, not bad for the leasing. We actually did pretty good in terms of being very quick about it. I think that was partially because we backed it off the railroad, which worked out great. And we got almost $37,000 off of that. So that was real good for us. And is this guy empty now? He is, okay. So I think I'm going to call it a day there. It's getting dark, too dark to work, probably. Um, there is a nice little shortcut, actually. I don't think I showed you guys this. There's a nice... I'll hit the wall. This uh, little road back here. I know it's not as fun to see during the nighttime as it would be during the daytime, but it still is there. Um, this here road just right past this kind of residential area, which I'm sure they love me driving trucks right past them, especially this late at night. Uh, well, I guess it's only 6 o'clock. And then... Puts us right back out on this road, and then that first right you see right here is onto our property. So it's actually a really good, uh, easy way to get dirt over there. But there you guys go. I, today, am going to keep doing some dirt. I'm going to get all the dirt that's on our property off of our property, at least. Um, I don't really care about the rest of this path. And then I also want to see if I can't... Um, my goal today would be to do that. Get some of the dirt off of our land down here would be great as well. And then I also want to clear this trail all the way up to here, just because those are our factories in there. Um, I think that would be useful for now. Well, still, I think, so obviously we are leasing um, some of this equipment here. So I think for now we'll hold on to it. As you can see, our money has gone up like 12 grand or 13 grand is how much we're paying a day or every month, excuse me, not every day. So I think it'll be nice to get a little bit more money from the dirt. Um, I don't need any trees right now because, well, we have plenty of trees in there. So I think this is a good use of our time. So. I'm going to keep rocking and rolling. I will probably bring you in each time I sell 
um, I sell off a load of dirt will probably be what the plan will be. So, yeah, I'm going to just rock and roll and see how much dirt I can get cleared. All right, it's already just past 11. <laughs> Running this at five times speed is cooking through time pretty quick. Uh, but we are getting ready to sell 420,000 liters of dirt. So we'll get that out of here. And should be, there we go. Yes. 37,000 and a pretty cheap leasing fee. So there we go. We sold some more of our dirt, which is great. And how is the price actually looking for that? Uh, yeah, still, yeah, it's actually on its way up, which is great, but I don't, that's pretty, yeah, 90 is the high, so I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much about that, but we have how much in storage? 109, well, probably 110,000 liters technically, but, um, we are going to keep rocking and rolling. I've cleared all the way up to here. Uh, it actually won't let me clear. It didn't let me clear past that point, which was kind of, uh, kind of concerning because I might, that means I might have to own all of this land to clear it which will be really obnoxious so i'm hoping i don't have to do that or i might just buy it under a different i don't know we'll figure it out we'll try it i don't think it's going to work great uh but uh we're going to do what we can to get it to do things so that's the plan but for now we are if i hop over here oh i also spent a thousand dollars on cast for semi truck costs a lot but uh, yeah, now we're working on this pile right here. So we'll get rid of this. And we'll probably clean up as far as the construction site has let us go just to get this cleared out. This is our land here. And then uh, I did talk to them. They are going to come hopefully get this cleared out uh, so we can see what's going on here. Um, they're going to get this cleared out today, which is going to cost, they said, a thousand or a couple thousand bucks. They're going to come over here and get this cleared out. Uh, they said they put it on here. Um, again, they sold the land as is, so they said that. Um, their boss wanted to charge us some money to get rid of it. So this in cars costs a couple thousand dollars, but it's not a big deal. Uh, they'll get rid of all this junk off of here and they'll leave the gravel. Uh, but they're just going to get some of the big chunks out of here. And then the gravel, we can kind of decide what we want to do with it. Um, stones. Yeah, metal limestone factory. So we'll probably hold on to it until we can afford that factory. Because I think the stones will be really good for that. Um, and I know obviously there's a... Well, there's mining and different stuff like that we can do on this map. So we'll probably do some of that at some point, I'm sure. But uh, for now, I'm going to keep rocking and rolling with the dirt. Oops. That's where I was like, do I own a chainsaw? I do own a chainsaw. But anyhow, I'm going to keep rocking and rolling with the dirt. They're hoping to get this cleared by the end of the day. And I should have at least probably two or three more train loads here, which is honestly quite ridiculous um, that we're going to make that much off the dirt. But that's okay. We could use the money. So that's what we have going on. And that's really all we have that we can do right now. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, so a little bit more time has passed. I haven't sold any more dirt, not ready to sell any more yet. But as you can see, they cleared all the junk out of here, and I cleared all the rocks out. So all the junk is gone. They charged us 10 grand to do it, which is a bit excessive, I thought, but that's all right. We paid it. And then here's all the rocks are sitting in here. I'm going to dump them in a corner somewhere, but I just wanted to pick them up. We have a lot of dirt, so we're going to make plenty of money off the dirt, uh, more than I was anticipating. So, yeah, there's that. But this uh, land is fairly uneven so i'd like to flatten it out and i'm going to do that with you guys here in just a second um at least start the process of flattening it out uh, but one other thing i'm just going to run up this hill real quick to show you guys one other thing oh if i can get up there i added in i added this bridge in it was a thousand bucks not a big deal it actually does make it a little easier to go over that so to me that was worth it um okay so get in build mode I figured i'd do this disaster with you guys here i did save the game so if things go really south, we can always uh, can always load back in. So I basically just want to flatten this out, and I want to use that height right there, I think is what I want to do. So um, is that a little... Di how different is that from... Okay, I don't want to go too crazy here. But yeah, this is the height I want to jump up to. I think this is about where I'd want to be. Okay. Here again. Okay. Try to get right up to that without I don't want it to make the fence look bad. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks fairly normal-ish. Yep, let's get all that filled in. Because I think in a second here we are going to put in a silo. Um, and I'll explain why I'm gonna build our own here. Um, instead of doing anything else. I don't want to necessarily landscape over the dirt. We'll actually get rid of that. 
Oh, and actually just flattens it out there. Now, again, I also want that ramp to the construction site to still be there, so I don't want to get too crazy over there. Um, now let's do the smooth tool. Yeah, let's smooth that out. And then I want to smooth, actually probably a little less smoothing, but still smooth the edge along there. Smooth along there to make it look more natural. Ooh, that does get rid of dirt, so you gotta be careful there. Not that that's a big deal for us to lose a little dirt. Um, there we go. Okay, so it did cost us some money. Not a lot of money. Does this look fairly normal-ish up here? Yeah, that looks... Uh, yeah, that's not great, but that's okay. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Uh, but yeah, so I'm thinking we're going to put a silo in. Now, I honestly wanted to put the silo like kind of back in this area, but this is going to take us a long time to get this dirt cleared. And one of my other projects that I kind of talked about I wanted to start was getting to, and there's also a lot of these guys here, which are nice pallet storages. So uh, we could kind of, this could kind of turn into like an industrial area for us or industrial yard. Now the pallet storage um, in the game, the base game one that just, or just bales, just bales. It doesn't do pallets. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can put in here, I think. And I think that'll be good for us to start kind of getting our own area set up. But there's a lot of nice uh, multi-fruit silos in here that are pretty cheap. I'm actually going to spring for a more expensive one for no reason other than I think it's too cheap otherwise. This one's quite large. It holds 20 million liters, which we're never going to even use most of that capacity. But I think this is a reasonable one for us to use. Um, and I actually like how this flattened out. So I'm going to save the game actually real quick. In case when I place this down, it just is a disaster. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to place one of these down. Uh, it's 50 grand, so it's still not bad. Now, the reason I didn't want to, because I talked about, if I go up to the map here, sorry. I talked about purchasing this because it comes with a silo. Uh, it's only 40 grand, but it's not going to be a multi-fruit silo. And then I also talked about using the the, the grain, or not the, the, the train silo. There you go. Words are hard. Train silo. Um, do we own that? It does say we own that. Interesting. Armor cop, bale and pallets. So we do can store bales or pallets there. Interesting. That's interesting that we own that even though we don't own the land over there. We obviously own that. That makes sense. This house. It says we own this house too. What in the world? Uh, but anyhow, there is a silo on there, but we're not going to use it. So um, yeah, that's, that's strange. Sorry, the stuff that we own is strange. Yeah, we own that. We should own that. Okay, nothing else weird that we own? Probably there is some other things, but that's fine. Um, okay, so yeah, I think this is just a better option is kind of where I'm getting to. Um, that one's way too big. Uh, let's just harvest, because this one almost might be a little big for what we need anyways, too. We wanted to pay more for something that had less capacity, quite honestly. Or had a uh, smaller blueprint or area that I took up. See, we're, yeah, we're getting into some bigger stuff there. What's that one? Yeah, just a basic silo. So that, honestly, that I did think about going with that one, but that one actually is almost too big for us. Um... Uh, for ooh, for stones. This actually might be. We might actually build this, but stones. And I don't know how that's gonna look. Yeah, that looks quite frankly kind of. You know what? It's not bad if it'll let me landscape over that, which it might. We can fix that up. Maybe put this over a little bit. To, well. Honestly, that's fine. I think that's fine, actually, there. I think we'll make that work. That's still a path if we need to go into the construction area. So I think that'll be good enough there. Um, that was quite expensive, though. I wasn't even paying attention to that. How much did I spend for, on that? Yeah, I think we don't need that one yet. I think I wasn't even... I would just was curious if it would work. And uh, spoiler alert, it did work, or it will work, but... Um, what? Char so this is only 25 grand there, but it charged me... I think a significant amount to place that. Yeah, I think that it charged me. I think it had to have charged me more than 25 grand to place that. But, uh, yeah, I think it did. Did it? Yeah, it had to, like, charge me a lot. So, but yeah, value sell. Is that what we just paid for? Yeah, that, that puts us back to where we were at. So, we can place something there in the future, but I don't think we need that right now. Um, well, actually, this might be kind of cheating. 
Where, where's that stone one again here? Stone pile. Now we can place it for 25. That's kind of cheating a little bit, but I think that's okay for this case. Oh, geez, Louise. That move that bumped that over. So we gotta we gotta landscape this here. I gotta make sure I can landscape that and uh, make sure that's gonna be reasonable. Um, let me open up the help menu here. Okay, so if I open that up. Okay, yeah, we can landscape over that. Okay, yep, that looks fine. I'm good with that. Okay. We are burning through money, but we're going to make... We don't have to pay a loan fee tonight, so if we spend all of our money now, it's fine. Um, now, silos, back to silos again. I did think about, like, there are some pretty cheap multi-fruit guys in here. That one's, that one's a little too cheap and a little bit too big, even, maybe? This one's a multi-fruit. This one is... It's not bad. We might actually go with that one. Um, then there's like Omatana ones. Uh, that says Twin Tower. That says Multi Fruit. It's not very. That one's almost too small. Old silos. Uh, tower silo Multi Fruit. It says Multi Fruit. That should work fine then. Now, if we put that. Right there, I think, would be good. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, there we go. We just spent a bunch of money. Now, one thing I do want to check real quick to make sure this is actually a multi-fruit silo before I cry. <laughs> we should be able to dump rocks in it, theoretically. I'm not going to put the rocks in there. Yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. We are going to put the rocks over here because we have this beautiful silo designed to hold rocks, and I think that this makes more sense anyways. There we go. Oops, I, oh, no, it's good. Okay, it's going. There we go. And we should have... If we go into here. We should have under stones. Yep, they are showing up in the storage. There's just not a lot of them yet. Because how much is this thing... That thing has to hold quite a bit, I think. If we go... It doesn't say on there. It doesn't say how much it holds, but... For many thousands of liters, over a hundred thousand. It's gotta hold more. You think only a hundred thousand? We might have to put some of these. It's gotta hold more than that. That's gotta be like. Yeah, it says fifty-two percent full. Um, this is gonna look real weird with like no stones in it. Um. <laughs> this pile you think would be a lot bigger since it's already almost full. And this thing only holds only only holds a hundred thousand. Yeah, honestly, that's quite that's quite ridiculous. I think we'll get rid of this thing. I think we will. Alright. Just think that that's There we go. We'll pick up the rut. I think that's just that's just a little too uh, ridiculous that it doesn't you can't do hardly anything with it. So I think I'm going to load the game back in. I'm not going to place that there. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to place that right there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we're just going to dump these into our multi-fruit. So I'm going to load the game back in. I will see you guys here in uh, just a little bit. Uh, probably when I'm getting ready to sell off another load of uh, dirt. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right. We just loaded up another train. Um, and I have some good news, some bad news, all sorts of news. Well, good news is we're going to sell this load off here. The bad news is there's a new rule in place here at the train yard. So I guess with them having a lot of other materials for French ship as well, my dirt shipments are kind of clogging up the uh, clogging up the system a little bit. So um, that is our last sale of dirt for now. We can sell one load, one full train load every month. So that was our one for November, or I guess our second for November, but that's our last one for November, regardless of how you look at it. Um, we can still load this silo up. They said they don't really need the space that we're using. Um, I guess they have like a 500,000 liter storage limit per person. So other people are using it as well, but our limit is 500,000. So we can still load it up with some dirt. There still is um, some dirt in it right now. We scroll down here, theoretically. Uh, 140,000 liters. So I also get this one filled up all the rest of the way uh, with dirt using the dirt from our area. Um, but as we drive back here, I'll show you, we now have our silo set up and no weird rock silo that doesn't work very well. So, um, but yeah.
that way I, th I i kind of i mean if i'm honest i added that kind of rule with the trains so we're not making too much money too quick uh because i do want it to be a challenge that's part of the the fun of the series and we want to be making most of our money not from dirt so i thought that it was a reasonable thing to do um okay i'm still going to keep picking up this dirt because i think we can throw it in our silo so i think that'll be helpful for us so i'll still uh try to get this uh dirt off of the uh, field here and then we can still see how much we have but we have a silo here there's just some rocks in it. It holds, what was that, 2 million liters? Well, maybe we're not going to put a lot of dirt in it anyways then uh, because we don't want to fill it up with dirt when we want to put other stuff in it. So what are we going to do? I know I talked about this a little bit. We are going to start accepting um, harvesting contracts. We're going to have to borrow the equipment, obviously. Um, maybe not cotton ones, but we'll accept the uh, harvesting contracts to try to get... Um, there's actually quite a few cotton ones out there, though. Maybe we'll do some cotton. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to do as many harvesting contracts as possible and then keep all the leftovers in here so we can use those in productions later on. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start kind of doing that, I think, off to the side. Um, so if we take a look here, this one, we're we're going to have to borrow items, obviously, for each one. So sugar beet, that one's going to take a while to do. Um, we'll probably actually just use our trailer because these trailers aren't going to do a very good job for us. Um, leasing is not very much for those. So borrow items. Um, that one's good to go. We'll get that one. That one's on. I didn't even check what field that one was on. Field six. Hopefully that's not any crazy spot. Uh, oh, right down there. Okay, not too bad. 17 would be great if we can get a harvesting con. 17 should be available, I would think. Um, it is ready to harvest. Maybe it's not just, maybe it's just our luck right now. It's just not available. Uh, yeah, I don't see it in there. Uh, 15. Uh, let's see. For grain ones, that's... Either one of those, we can probably just accept one of those. That one has a lower reduced fee. So we'll, what we'll do is we will borrow items on that one, and then we will accept this contract because we can do that one as well with that same equipment. So I know it's kind of a little cheaty, but not really. I mean, it's just we're just using the same equipment. Um, it's still owned by the other people, so it'll all work out. Uh, oh, that's not. This one is definitely designed for pulling that actually no i think actually the other one is technically designed for pulling that because it needs the narrow tire so it doesn't the crops doesn't get destroyed but that shouldn't matter for uh, contract work for what we're doing i want the i want the better grip with these tires here we go so we'll get this one underway and then obviously we'll just keep working on getting some contracts done it's already getting late in the day so we're not going to get too far probably on too many contracts but i would like to get as many done as possible um, and that way, the next day, we can start making a little bit more uh, moolah and stuff like that. So we'll make a, we're not going to honestly make a lot of money off the contracts. The point of them is not to make the money. The point of them is to get the products off the fields. That way we can keep them, um, or at least as many of them as possible, the extras. And uh, yeah, that way we can have some extra products uh, laying around. So yeah, I'll probably use the... Uh, I'll probably use our truck with our trailer for the sugar beets because there's gonna be a lot of sugar beets off of that field. So I think that'll just make it a little easier. Um, and it's just, there's, this dirt is just everywhere. It's gonna be a pain if I can't pick it up, uh, pick it up without, um, oh goodness, what's the words I'm trying to use? Pick it up without owning the land. That's gonna be a pain. So we should be able to, uh, let's lower that down. Oh, oh, I hired a worker. Well, I don't really want you to go that way. Let's unhire you. Crop destruction's not on, so we should be fine to do what we need to do and drive over stuff. And, well, I guess it's a contract field anyway, so that doesn't matter. Loop around this pole. That didn't work out too good. Oh, hopefully they don't mind their, their equipment coming back a little beat up. Maybe I just need to back out of that situation there. Okay, let's get a worker hired here. I'm going to go up and down the field this way. And we'll see how they end up doing. Okay. There we go. Yep. They're going to get quite a few sugar beets off of this, that's for sure. This is quite a large field. It's going to take a while, but that's okay. Uh, okay. Now, other things we could do. We obviously want to probably do that contract as well. But is there... Is the Russell Master the... Which one's a better harvester is a great question. Is a Rossel Masher the top liner? I don't, honestly, I have no idea. Um, let's see here. Top liner holds 8,500 liters and does six meters. 
Loralsa Mash holds 4900 liters and does 5 meters. Okay, so the Deutzfar, the top liner, is definitely a better one. Uh, we still have stuff we're doing right now anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. At least over here, there's plenty of room for him to turn around. Um, but, okay. He's going to work on that. Let me hop back over here. And back over here. And I'm going to haul this, dump this off of the train silo, and then get ready to go unload that guy down there. Um, because that's going to have to get done. Okay. Things are happening. Things are happening. I am going to start knocking out some contracts. I will see you guys at some point in the future. I don't know when exactly that's going to be, but I'm going to get some work done off camera, get some of these contracts done, um, and see if we can't uh, get a bunch of stuff put in our silos. So um, the other thing, too, is I'm trying to find a good balance. Obviously, I'm trying to make this series be less episodes, but still uh, make a lot of progress. So I'm trying to do a lot of stuff off camera so you guys don't maybe get bored and try to kind of bring you guys up in for updates. But again, you guys also want to see some of the process. So uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about in terms of what that balance is supposed to look like or what it should look like for the series. But yeah, just let me know. All right, I'm going to keep rocking and rolling. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, welcome in, everyone. The train is on its way. It is December now. Uh, so our money has gone up and down and back and forth. Um, a few things have happened. Um, we are about to load the train with uh, our a shipment of dirt for now. Um, however, oh, here it is. Speaking of the train, backed all the way up into here. Beautiful. Should stop here in a second. Get rid of that help menu. Maybe if it does stop. There it goes. All right. So we're going to load up some dirt. A few things have happened. First off, we've done eight contracts. Well, contract number eight is still underway. Obviously, now it's winter time, so there's no more really any contracts or anything like that. Um, so I've done, yeah, again, I've done, oh gosh, I was coming in way too hot for that one. Way too hot for that. Easy does it. Let's go ahead and back back up. Okay. And we'll load some of that dirt in here. Beautiful. Okay. And I'm going to dump some of this in there. So, um, yes. So what are we doing? We are clearing some stuff. Um, down here, we currently have a contract on field 17, which was nice. It finally popped up, so I wanted that one. Um, what do we have in storage outside of our dirt? What have we gotten off of contracts? Not much. Um, wheat? Did we get that much wheat, actually? Oh, no, that must have already been in our storage. I'll talk about that in a second. Sugar beet, corn, soybean, and sunflower. So we haven't done any wheat contracts. So just these guys down here. They might ask, where in the world did that wheat come from? Well, it leads me to my next point here. We actually purchased this chunk of land. Um, of course, now it's worth less, but it was cheaper. It was only $27,000 to buy, which was 18% off. So I decided I'd buy it since I wanted it eventually. And I also noticed all this land's been purchased by a different farm. That is the government. So I talked to the government um, about some of the dirt that's on some of these paths around town. And they said that when they had an excess of dirt, which they still do at this point, and this is when they didn't have anywhere they could ship it to or anywhere they could send it to, they said one of their methods of getting rid of it, in addition to just dumping it places, was trying to spread it out on some of the dirt roads. And they said that it kind of backfired. It made the dirt roads actually really difficult to uh, drive on and it didn't really kind of soak into the ground as they expected. So um, they said that they're happy with me clearing it for them. Um, so they purchased the land basically so I can actually have access to it to clear it. And I'm using their equipment to clear it um, because I think I have to pick it up with their equipment. So I did buy um, them a thing to pick it up. I've already made it all the way up here and around this corner. I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to work my way up out this way. And I'm not going to get all of the dirt roads. I'm just going to get some of the ones I think we'll want to use. I think this one I want to get as well so we can actually drive around the map that way. Um, that one I think is kind of a big deal. And then getting this one around here. And probably some of, I mean, there's just a lot. We don't need to maybe go around that way, but this into here, maybe into here somehow where it loops up. But yeah, there's some paths that we, the ones we're going to try to drive on. I'm not going to get too carried away into that. Um, but since the dirt is worth something, we're using their equipment. They made a deal with me. I have to give them 50% of what I earn or what the sell price is. That doesn't include any of my costs or anything like that. Uh, that extra 50% that I get to keep is for my labor. So I think that's a pretty reasonable deal. Um, let's hop back over to our train here and get in our our set loaded up so i've been keeping track so far i've only loaded um into this silo i've only loaded uh then all did i get all out of that i think i did yep okay i've only loaded uh 300 000 liters into this silo that belonged to the government and the other good thing is if i'm hauling dirt for the government it doesn't count in terms of a train load for us so i still get my one train load of my dirt that i can sell every month in addition to all the government's dirt that i'm getting rid of so that's kind of nice uh, this train load that we're going to do right now is going to be for 
um, us. It's going to be our personal one because I've only put 300,000 liters of government dirt in here so far. Um, I just have to make sure when I sell that, I actually give them their their portion of it. And the nice thing, what I've decided to do as well, as our productions continue and make a lot of planks and stuff for us, I'm going to put them in here since we're not desperate for money. Um, I'm just going to put all of our furniture and planks into this storage since we, for whatever reason, own the storage. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go from there. I'm going to put it all into here until we actually have like a really good price. And then we're going to sell it off since we're not desperate for money. Um, I've also, I haven't checked today, actually. I've been keeping an try an eye on the sales. Because uh, at some point, I want us to get us some farm equipment and stuff like that. But uh, for now, for now, we're just doing our thing. Um, let me get another let's pull forward here so we can load the last train car of dirt. There we go. And obviously, some of this dirt that I loaded up is uh, is government dirt, technically speaking. So I'll make sure I put the some of our dirt in here in place of the government's dirt. So that way we have they're getting their money. Uh, but yeah, so. We're making money on the contracts, doing a lot of stuff. We're making some progress. Um, I've done some more forestry as well to get some trees kind of prepped for when it's time in between, you know, waiting for harvesters to be ready to unload and stuff like that. So I'm getting a lot done. I know it doesn't maybe feel like that, but I feel like I'm getting a lot done. and I'm spending a lot of time on here getting stuff done. Um, so we're just going to keep rocking and rolling. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series again. I don't know at this point. I just posted episode one like an hour and a half ago. Um, as I'm recording this segment right now. So we'll see what you guys think about it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep working on clearing some dirt from where it needs to be cleared and stuff like that. Now, obviously, this whole load is our dirt. So here's our one for the month. And let's see here. Boom. Yep. Go ahead and sell that. And there's 37 grand for us. Um, so that's our one for the month. Let me mark that down. We have made our shipment for December. So now we can do stuff just for the government. Now, we still have to pay the leasing costs for the train. That has to come out of our pocket. That's part of our cost to ship it out of here. Uh, but at least we can clear some of the dirt and we don't have to use our equipment, which is kind of nice. Other than, well, I guess we have to ship it with our equipment. But um, there you go. I'm going to keep rocking and rolling. I'll bring you guys back in here in a little bit and we'll wrap up the episode here probably with the next little segment. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right. Welcome back in for the last little segment of this episode as we wrap it up. Our money's gone up a little bit. We've so far done two loads. Um, we've done two loads for, of dirt for the government, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, yep, that's what we got going on. And it's December, December, not good Lord, December 2, the second half of December here. And this setup right here, I have the Lizard Tardis on the back, John Deere, and then a pickup on the front. That setup will allow me to pick dirt up off of land I do not own. So I've been able to clear some of this out. Um, and then I just go back here and I dump it on the ground on our land while the government's land and it gets loaded into the truck. So I'm still going to keep clearing stuff just because, well, I want to get some of the roads cleared um, just to do that. So if we can knock some of that out pretty early on in the uh, series, I think that'll be good. So that's what I got going on. I'll probably do a lot of that off camera. Uh, by the time the next episode starts, it'll probably be, oh gosh, maybe March or so. Uh, but yeah, so our money's still slowly going up, which is great. We're slowly paying off our loans, which actually, speaking of which, we have a hundred grand in the bank. Um, we could potentially pay off this loan here because it has such a high interest rate but unless it's just 1300 a month so maybe we'll hold off for now it would be nice to get some of these payments down obviously this one is the lowest priority because the interest is not very high um and it's not a very big term so that one can kind of pay off itself these two are kind of the higher priority so this one's one we can easily knock out and then we can do something like that so um but regardless um we are making progress slow but sure um here yeah so it is march i did say that was when i was going to see you next and that is how it worked out um i did two kind of in a partial load of train worth of stuff of the dirt for the town or the government i cleared this path up to here this path this path i didn't bother with this one i cleared this path all the way around these paths here i stopped here and i did this path all the way down here and then this path so there's still a lot of other paths <clears throat> excuse me that we have to clear eventually possibly if we want to do it but I figured that was good for now, so I stopped doing that. Um, I also purchased our box trailer. Where is it at? Right now, it could be anywhere. Uh, oh, it's here. I, I purchased this, and I actually switched it out for a different one, a different mod. Same thing, same price, just a different mod. Um, this one just works a little bit differently. It auto-loads the pallets instead of loading their material into here as a volume. So I'd like that system a little better. I also put these two guys in here. These are just pallet storage for... Um, or just uh, pallets of whatever, of either uh, furniture, clothes, or planks. Um, and why does that, why does that say it makes them more? 
I don't understand it. Anyhow, it didn't actually make them more. I've got what's in here is what I put in. Uh, I don't actually really like them very much, so I'll probably sell them. They're only like a couple thousand dollars a piece, so not a big deal there. Um, but yeah, so we're going good. We're slowly actually making quite a bit of progress on our dirt pile here. It is slowly going down, selling one load a month um, on the train. We've already done our March load, uh, but that's, yeah, we've been just doing one load a month, trying to get rid of it, and we do have uh, some in storage right here. And actually, um, and also too, this time-saving stock mod is great. It works really well. I am well aware of these things that are on the map um, that could be collected and potentially worth money. I'm not gonna worry about those right now. Uh, but in terms of what we have, this is also a great place to see it. We have wheat, sunflower, soy, corn, and then after I finished that sugar beet contract, we had a lot of sugar beet off of that, which is great. Um, then we have some wood chips, planks, furniture. We have a lot of planks actually right now. Um, we're waiting until July to sell both of these, so we'll sell both of those off in July, and I think we're gonna do really good off of that and get a lot of money from that, which is gonna be great. Excuse me, we really need that. So um, yeah, the rest of the stuff we're just kind of holding on to for now. But we do have a, a few just kind of minor food items in here um, that we can do some stuff with and some sugar beets in here. So I think the next production that I want to start working towards is the food factory over here, which if I just run down the road. It's right up the road from our home base, so it's kind of nice and close. It's 160000 to buy, um, and we can do different things. And we can also get a greenhouse built that makes tomatoes, and then we can use the tomatoes here. However, the tomatoes also require sugar, which is why I wanted to use our sugar beets for that make sugar from our sugar beets and then make tomatoes at a greenhouse and put those products into here so i think that's kind of where we're going to go as well i also did i hauled two loads of wood to our factories just to kind of refresh them and get them a little bit more loaded up um so i did that as well and oh also too our the thing that we own over here our pallet storage that's on here we actually can't use it i think because we don't own that chunk of land which actually i want to check the price of I've been waiting to try to buy this. I did buy this because this one eventually was a good price. So I actually got it at a decent price. It was only a little bit, like a couple percent off, I think. But um, it was always really expensive. So, And I'm always looking for these guys to see if they're cheaper. This is not bad for that one, actually. Because eventually when we start farming, I figured this little area right through here would be good to start. So, um, And then actually, I haven't checked contracts yet today. Uh, weeding. I'm not going to do any of those. I'm waiting for um, the harvest and mowing ones, which I figured there wouldn't be any. Here. So food factories where we're going to start heading next. The other thing I thought would be a really good way to start going is doing um, fabric and clothing, which we can do from wool, um, which I thought would be really good. And obviously, we could do it with cotton as well, but wool, I think, will be a little bit easier, and we can use some different modded pens to do that. We could put some sheep out here somewhere on the hill, and uh, I think it'd be great. However, um, we don't have anything to feed the sheep, and we would need to get either equipment to make it ourselves, or we'd need to buy it, and it would probably be fairly expensive to buy. So this year, as we're going through the year, instead of uh, focusing on getting fabric this year, this year we're going to focus on getting our food factory up and running. And I'm going to start doing baling contracts and saving the silage and hay bales um, that we get as extra to be able to put them in there. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to buy... Yep, go ahead and save it. I wanted to buy um, this chunk of land right here because then we get access to that uh, pallet storage as well. Worst case scenario, we can just build our own pallet storage over here or something along those lines. But... Yeah, so there's a few things I want to... Well, there's actually only one thing I want to put down in Field 65. And in addition to trying to get the food factory up and running, I also would like to buy the pallet factory because, yes, we can buy our own pallets, but it's going to be much cheaper if we make our own. So since we already are producing wood and it would be pretty easy to fill up this guy with some wood, I think that would be a good option as well for us to start um, doing that. So if we go in here, hop over that. Um, these metal chunks everywhere. Um... By the way, the metal trunks, like I should say, the ones that we will eventually use these to make different things. However, we're only going to use the ones that are on property that we own or factory areas that we own. Um, so Palico, I think, can be ours pretty easily here. Um, we'll own this whole kind of complex here. So I think we're going to go ahead and use them. Do they know? Okay. So I think we can probably go ahead and buy it. $100,000. There we go. We own that. We open the production menu. It's just going to take trees to make pallets. So no big deal. I can get this loaded up with some wood. Um, and it can start making some pallets, so we have a lot of pallets ready to go and we're ready to do some productions. Now, obviously, we own this chunk of land here. So one production that I think is going to be perfect for making our sugar, let me scroll through here. I also thought about doing some different wood products with the, the premium, or excuse me, the platinum expansion stuff. So I think those would be good as well. But if I go back down over here, we should have one of these guys that makes sugar from sugar beets. So... I've used these before. These are by Omatana. This is a very small, easy to use production facility. And honestly, we could tuck it away in like a corner, like 
just like right there would honestly be perfect. So um, I think I am going to place this down. It's right there. Um, there we go. This actually this be, this looks pretty flat. Um, so in here, um, we will start making sugar from our sugar beets, which is great. Um, yeah, we don't need to do anything else with this stuff in here. We can do stuff with potatoes if we ever get any. But the main thing I wanted was this to start running and do that. Um, so we can haul our sugar beets over here. They all fit in here. And then the sugar can just hang out in here until we have the food factory ready to go. So I can get that underway. And then the other things that we can build as well under production greenhouses here, um, we could do all sorts of ways we could do tomatoes. Now I, now, I know these ones don't require as much, but I'm going to try to use the Frontier modded uh, facilities in here. I did think about using this to maybe make some more uh, to make some more um, sugar for, or sugar beets for sugar. But uh, yeah, anyhow, we are going to use the Frontier modded ones. They're a little cheaper to buy, but they do require more materials. And I think that extra challenge is going to be good. Now, the other thing, too, is that we will start using these guys as well. I think instead of planting more trees, I think these will be easier. These guys, you put materials in, you just get wood out. Now, it says you can get wood planks out, which is kind of nice. But I think we'll just focus on getting wood out. And again, I've never used these, so I don't know what the production ratios are or anything like that. But our greenhouses and all that sort of stuff. All right, you know, I'm flying across the map here. I would like to put in this area. So one thing I want to start doing this episode is getting this kind of... Well, it's not it's not great for anything right now because it's not super flat. So I want to flatten some of this out, which is going to cost us a lot of money. Um, and maybe do like a tier up here and a tier down here. But this area right here could be flattened into a pretty big area for placeables. Um, we just got to get the stumps out of the way first. So speaking of stumps, we need to buy something to do with that. And I think I've got the plan. I think this Fiat Agri would be perfect. Um, we don't need, uh, the, it has 180 horsepower, which the stump remover I want is going to require, I think, 450 front weight. We definitely want a front weight on it. Uh, yeah, 900 front weight. Let's do this. And then I don't think we need anything else on it. No, this is perfect. So we're going to lease this. We're just going to make payments on it to start. Um, so I'm going to lease that guy. And then I'm also just, I know we're gonna have to make some other uh, expensive changes here at some point soon. And then if I go under forestry equipment in here, we are going to go ahead and lease this bad boy right here. So now we have those two guys leased. Should be able to tab over to my new vehicle. I parked uh, the government stuff over here in their little facility, I guess you could call it. But here we go. So now, did I buy the wrong one? Oh my gosh, I did. Um, how much should I pay for that? My lease stuff. I guess I could return it. Oh, return. Yes, I bought the wrong one. That's frustrating. Well, we just threw a little bit of money away, but that's okay. This is the one. Slightly more expensive, but that's fine. There we go. Hey, look at that. That's the one I can actually use. Okay. And now we have a tractor. Which, if we started doing some stuff on our farm, if we get a farm up and running, which I do want to eventually do that. This is loud, sorry. I'm noticing that. This is a very loud tractor. This is holy. This is very loud. Okay, I will I will drive this over to the farm here later. I'm just going to pull it off the side of the road for now. And kill that very loud engine. Um, okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to keep working on doing some of that stuff, get some of that stuff switched over. Um, and I will probably bring you guys back in July when it's time to sell off all our planks. So that's going to kind of be what's going to hopefully drive us into um, drive us into uh, getting ready to do the food factory is getting those those planks uh, or getting, excuse me, getting those planks sold and making good money. So I'm going to do the sugar beets, get the sugar sugar production started. I'm going to remove stumps off camera. I'm going to keep selling, obviously, dirt every month as I can sell a load of dirt until we get hopefully all that dirt off our, our property. I think we won't have that done until the end of this year, but um, it's still an extra like 30 grand every month. So um, that pays our loan fees at least and gives us a little extra money to spend on stuff as we need it. Um, and then the other things I'm going to do is keep an eye out for contracts. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out for the land to see if the land that we want to buy ever gets cheap or anything like that. Um, and then I'm also going to go ahead and... Uh, Get some land leveled, and what else do I want to do? Oh, I need to get wood over to, wood over to the pallets as well. Um, so I'm gonna get all that stuff done. But yeah, I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. I'm gonna get some stuff done. And I'll bring you guys back in later on. It has been a hot minute since you guys have been in here. I'm just gonna get this worker on this contract hired again. 
There we go. So currently we have two contracts, two harvesting contracts. One is actually completed, but I'm using the least equipment on the other one, so I'm gonna hold off. Um, I did a bunch of bailing contracts. These are all new. I don't need to do any more bailing contracts. I did 10 bailing contracts, which is every single grass field on the map. And if we hop over to here, this will work. Um, this is our extra bales. Use silage bales, and all of these bales are 9,000 liters each of hay. So we have a total of 342,000 liters of hay and 52,500 liters of silage. So on that note, I am not going to worry about doing any more bailing contracts for now because we have plenty of food to feed anything for a long time. So that was very effective. It worked. It took me probably five or six hours to do all those, like in real time. So it took forever to do it. Um, our money has gone up because the bailing contracts actually pay really well. Um, in addition to that, um, I also did, uh, I've been selling a load of dirt every month, and it is also now July, which is time to, of course, sell, well, actually, I need to check field price. I already told you guys about this one, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, uh, ooh, 10% off for that one. That's only 5% above right there. 10% off, I think we need to buy that. So I think we're going to buy that just because it is 10% off. Um, but this one, oh, we're getting so close. It's been going down, so I'm hoping that drops down again. But uh, yeah, and this one has been terrible. So we have some fields for when we want to actually use them, but let me jump over to our truck. We have some pallets here. We have pallets and storage there, and we're going to sell them at the construction site. That's the best price. And oh, actually the furniture too. Um, now, yeah, you can see carpentry is actually the best for all, technically the export by train, but I'm not going to even bother with that. Carpentry is actually the best price, but we own that. So the next best is $25.64 here. These ones are our storage facilities. So these are actually the only three options. Then this one goes away. So construction is actually the only place we can sell stuff. <laughs> so never mind. It doesn't even matter. But the oh, it's going down. But anyhow, yeah, obviously the price is going down a little bit. So we'll get it sold off. Uh, furniture. The price could get a little bit better, but uh, $39.74, I think is, yeah, that's, where is that at? Where is that? All the way down there. Okay, so uh, we'll get that sold off. So I wanted to bring you guys back in so we could, you guys could see the massive amount of money we're about to earn, hopefully, on planks and everything. Um, I do have a load of planks sitting down here in our little yard. Um, I put some down here just to store them. We have none at the sawmill right now. I hauled all the ones down from the sawmill just a little bit ago. Um, let's get ready to do, yep, just auto load for that. Our sugar has been slowly getting made, and we also have a lot of pallets, which I can show you that in a second here. Whoa, wait a second. This was, well, this is a little bit of a glitch, I'll be honest. Let's go ahead and just, uh, I don't know what's going on here. I did have a full 50,000 liters here, so let's go ahead and just, uh, well, we have, well, let's just spawn the rest of them in. Um, yeah, wow, that was strange. Um, I had a whole load here, so let's go down to here, spawn, general, that should be fine, planks, let's see here if we can find it, planks, at the right one, yep, one, so one, two, three, four, five, so I need 45 more, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 20, spawn a bunch in and then that's auto load these guys up and then we'll see how we're kind of sitting here in a second they'll auto load them in whatever can figure out it's auto loading great 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 okay and then how are we doing 39 so we need 11 more okay and that should do it Fifty thousand. okay that was weird i honestly have no idea what it was I did have some a, a glitch, so I had to reload the game, so that might have had something to do with it. But uh, regardless, we have 50,000 liters of planks now. That's all these what you can see. We have some pallets out there. And speaking of that, if we go into our production, just so I can show you where we're at, um, these guys, I'm going to sell these two things off. I'm going to get rid of them. I honestly hate these little uh, pallet storages, so I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, furniture, we've slowly been making furniture, not using a lot of wood. Uh, We've been making planks. We actually could reload this a little bit with some more. Um, pallets are pretty much done. They've cooked through all the wood I gave them. 
There's 20,000 there, and then there's another, what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11,000 liters out there. So we have plenty of pallets. So that should be, yeah, deactivated. So hopefully it's not billing us for the production. Though the production is not actually that much money. So I'm not super worried about it. All right. And actually, since we're right here, let's go ahead and get some gas. This thing really burns through fuel. Now, given we have driven it for 10 hours, but it does burn a lot of fuel. Let's get that in there. And perfect. Okay. So we'll get all of our planks sold off. We should have couple hundred thousand and selling them for like 2,500 bucks a pallet with 50 pallets in here we should make yeah we're gonna do okay I think we're gonna yeah we're gonna do just fine we're gonna have a lot of money sitting in the bank which would be perfect it's what we need now I don't know which one's actually gonna take them I want to say over here we'll take them it's tricky to get into these cell this cell point in here Oh, it is selling them. Okay, well, that works. Perfect. I didn't know if I'd have to unload them or not out of the back of the trailer. But it seems as they are going just fine. Okay, so, so far, we're doing really good. And if we go into our finances here... Uh, that was our land purchase. It should show 128,000 in sold products so far, which is real good. We haven't even sold our furniture yet, which we don't have a ton of furniture, to be fair. But uh, we have enough that it's worth selling, and it's a good time to sell. So it won't be quite a full load, but it'll be a decent amount. All right, let's get these guys loaded up. Well, let's go get the try to get the wood out of these pallet storages and as you can see our dirt pile is slowly dwindling actually it's pretty much almost done we've been making really good progress getting rid of that so we actually have a good yard here okay i'll go ahead and open that sure go ahead and save the game uh spawn items um where did they spawn they spawn there that's obnoxious uh, open production menu, spawn items. Let's just do, can I not do all of them? There we go. Oh boy. It, it does five at a time as well. This still has, wow. Are each of those full? I guess I should note as well. Thousand, 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 thousand. Okay, good. They better be. So, this is obnoxious. I am hoping this auto load grabs them off the top rack. It's not, is it? Of course it's not. Why would it do that? This is, these are the worst. This is the worst. Just this, I do not like this uh, mod whatsoever. Um, nope, I don't want to go towards me. That doesn't even make any sense. Can I, I wonder if I can go into fly mode and make this easier. Yep, sure can. Maybe. No, I can't click things if I'm in flight mode. Let's play it okay. If I'm up here. Oh, it actually might be full right now. That's okay. Oh, well, we're up here. That one disappeared. Never mind. Never mind. It sells room. Okay, and then let's go into here. And let's spawn. I. Oh, they're going back. Oh, God. One. Let's tag this one. Is that this one? Okay, this one is ready to be sold. I have had enough of this one. Um, yeah, sell that. These things are the worst. Um, okay. You. It says you don't have anything. No, that was the one that we didn't want to sell. Darn it, I sold the wrong one. That one had, oh gosh, how much did it have in it? <laughs> oh, it had, uh, we can only get four out, so it had 13,000 left. That's right. Okay. Um, so we can add in 13,000. So. Theoretically. 
that actually add that in? I don't think that added anything in. There we go. There we go. Okay. And that cell, let's just get rid of this other one. These are just the worst. These things are such a pain to use. I do not recommend using them. I don't try to talk bad about mods, but those things were absolutely, absolutely horrific to use. Um, yeah, those things were terrible. Okay. 34,920? That doesn't even make a darn bit of sense. Um, I think we got robbed a little bit, but we'll just, we'll just deal with it. Because I think we should have had... Oh, we still have all these out here. Okay, we should be fine. I about to say, I couldn't remember about these guys. 34? We didn't have 34,000 in there. Oh, boy. We had 18 plus something. We definitely didn't have 34,000. Okay, so... To make it fair, I don't think we had 34,000 in there. Let me get rid of a couple of these. Boy, I tell you what, this is just, what a chaotic, what a chaotic way to go about things. Um, oops, did I turn it on? Nope, I did not. Five, six. So we'll have 34 in there. If I get rid of six, I put seven on 28. We had 18 plus. Okay, we need to get rid of two more. I think that'll be right where we should be. Okay. If I am off at all, let me know. I have not been keeping that good a track. Let me know and I will uh, fix it in uh, the next episode if we have a little too much money. Um, holy smokes. I feel like I should get a little bit for my trouble because that was obnoxious. Okay, let's see if we can drive in there now. we go and I, I knew we'd make a lot of money that was uh that was what i knew would happen oh boy this is not going great this is not an easy sell point to go into either oh boy okay to be fair that is like years of like a year of planks or more okay Let's auto load these planks on board here We go thirteen thousand. All up there. Okay, so so far I'm sure we are doing absolutely fantastic in terms of finances. Let's see if I can't back out of here again. So we will sell the furniture off, and then I think we're gonna look into doing our, buying our food factory. I think our food factory will be a great, a great investment for us. Boy, oh boy. I did remove some of the stumps on that hill as well. I did not flatten it at all yet because, well, I knew that it would cost, I didn't know how much money we'd make, so I knew it's gonna cost us an arm and a leg to flatten that and get that set up the way we want it but uh yeah okay let's go pick up our first oh gosh we just t-boned a police officer and just, just destroyed that poor car oh my gosh and then in a telephone pole we are having a heck of a day i tell you oh my goodness good gravy oh good gravy this has been wild All right, so there's definitely plenty of furniture pallets in here, theoretically. Yep. All right, fifteen thousand liters of furniture. That's actually going to make us quite a bit of cash. Those all up front. Yep, they are okay. 
Now we are going, we have to go that way. Sell these, correct? Right, where's that? Uh... Pretty sure it was over there. Let's go ahead and retag. Where are we going? American parcel. Okay, perfect. So let's drive this down there, hopefully without any more collisions and not T-boning any more police. And then we will take a look at what we can afford having finished that out. Uh, the other thing I am going to start doing, I think, off camera as well, is start slowly cleaning up some more of the dirt on the map for the city at our current rate, just because it is obnoxious. There's one of our contract fields right there. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of dirt on the paths and the auto, well, the AI worker driving to different places feature that kind of relies on those to be clear. So might clear some of those just to just to get that stuff out of the way, make it a little bit easier. All right. Okay, 51,000. So I think 51 plus, we can get the other two. There we go. There we go, get them both out of there. So 51 plus, what else we got? 779. That is almost darn near paid for. Oh gosh, I just hit that. Almost darn near, darn near paid for our. What are they going there? Get out of there. Almost darn near paid for our. Uh, Uh, furniture factory so we're doing real good we are doing real good um and we have a couple of fields we have uh, some land um but this food factory i think we go ahead and purchase it 160 let's do it and then we open the production menu the things we can make are quite extensive quite honestly so we have a few of these products which we'll get over here with some pallets um, and then the one thing we're going to be making is, I'm, well, I'm going to do some research. See if ketchup or tomato sauce is better um, in terms of money. Tomato sauce, five to one, four, four, two, and one. Five, one, and one. Probably this one. Is there any, like, significant uh, price difference? Max price is 71, 8,000. Ketchup is worth a little more, but not by much. So let's go back down to the production menu. Yeah, ketchup, it takes more sugar, which we don't have a lot of. So we are going to make tomato sauce, which actually, let's deactivate all of this. So we're going to make tomato sauce is going to be the plan, which is great. And I can also go down to this production, and I can set this to um, distributing. So it should distribute over to this factory, which has an input for it. And, well, I don't want to put 50,000 liters of pallets in here, probably. So, well, I guess we can do it just for uh, a second. Let's change this to distributing. And then if we fast forward time just a little bit, just over the hour, and let's slow it down to five. Um, how many did it move over? None. Let's move none over here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, I want you to distribute those. Why won't you distribute those? Is it not going to do it for me? Okay, now by now it's got it's bound to have distributed something. No, none of that has moved. Why are those not getting distributed? Those should easily distribute up to here. It's the only place that takes pallets. Maybe I have to activate something. If I activate that, will it distribute them? Does it have to have a demand for them? It does. Yep, now it has them over there. Okay, perfect. So that's what I had to do. Um, I can deactivate that now. Good lord, we have plenty of pallets in here. And sugar's in here, so now we just need tomatoes. Which, um... You know what? With you guys in here, we might as well do this. Let's go over to here. Well... I wanted to put the greenhouses over there. Never mind. Greenhouses will be what we'll do next episode. That is where we're going to end this episode. I think that... It's greenhouse time. Our contracts are still underway. It's the next day from when I left off with you guys. But we need to get some greenhouses put in. So the trick is going to be leveling this out without using literally all of our money. So that's the plan. Let's go ahead and save the game and turn auto save off. So 
I'm gonna go onto the bridge, so I'm a little bit out of the way. So I think the level we want to try to keep. Jeez, I'm already all over the place. The level we want to try to keep with is this level, kind of like right here where this is at. So if we go landscaping. Try to go out. I don't want to go too crazy up that road because the road I actually want to maintain itself. So it's going to be in there where it's going to start costing us. Actually, so far this has not been that bad. Okay, and then I do want to smooth that out before I forget real quick. Okay. So back to this. So I think this is kind of the tier I want to work off of. Which if this is... Okay, so far not too bad. I thought this would be um, a lot more devastating to us which this might still it's might still be but so far it has not absolutely decimated our bank accounts i like to go pretty close up to the river here here's where we're going to start getting trickier yep that's where it's going to start decimating it a little bit we can go just along here okay i so still we're a lot cheaper than i thought we'd be so we're still doing real good. Okay. I figure this is a big enough change. You guys should probably see how it goes down. Okay. And I think just right up to there. So yes, actually not too shabby. Um, let's smooth out some of these edges. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Obviously, the river is right there. We need to go all the way down to the river. Some of this stuff along here can be smooth. I also want it to look good. I don't want it to just look like just the worst garbage you've ever seen. So, okay, that's pretty good. Now, the next plateau will probably be up here, which we'll work off of, which I'm not going to worry about um, that just now. Now, if we go down to painting, this here probably needs like a rock texture. That's a perfect rock. I like that. Nice and dark. Doesn't really stand out too much. I think that's perfect. That's the perfect rock face that I like there. I think will work really well for this. Okay. And just like that, we're good to go. Now, I do want to put a little bit of grass. Actually, we can put some torches down here. What do we have in here? We don't need anything. These are pretty cheap, so we can just put some of this stuff down along here, along the river. Those were those were pretty cost effective. Okay, so now that that is beautiful, um, let's see about our greenhouses that we're going to put in. So we go to production greenhouses. So big important one is going to be this wood one. This one. I think we can stick kind of towards the back here. Uh, okay, how did that do? Okay, I didn't, I didn't like that it did that, but it has trees in the background, so I'm going to allow it. It kind of looks... I really don't like that. We can see that. Yeah, I, I should have saved in between doing that. So let's go ahead and... Can we sell this for thirty grand. Okay, we did spend $4,000 on that. I am going to reimburse us a little bit of that money. We're also going to fix this here. Um, landscaping. Nope, I don't want it. I just need that stronger. There we go. So there we go. It doesn't have to be, like, really good looking back there. Um, okay. Now. Um, okay. Let's get that back leveled out. Kind of how we want it. Put the thief pistol on there. I did do a little bit extra there. Okay. So let's go ahead and just save right there. In case I make a mockery of that again. Um, production. Let's go to greenhouses. Okay. So I'm going to try to do this. Right there it says it's not doing a lot to change the... right there okay a little bit 
We might be able to fix that though. Let's see if we can't landscape over that. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go, okay. And I'm happy with that. Okay, I can live with that. That is perfect. Okay, so we are down some money, but not actually as much money as we'd think we'd be down. Uh, back to greenhouses, we need something for growing tomatoes. And I'm gonna use these greenhouses because I think they'll be better for this sort of thing. So I think, I don't wanna block, I, I should be able to not have to come in here to do anything with the greenhouses and I'll explain that later. But it's still gonna, it's gonna be a little tricky. I think right there is probably fine. Yep, and then let's start with one. We honestly don't know what that's gonna do for us. Let's start with just one greenhouse. So this is good, this is good. We go in here, open production menu here for the greenhouse. We're gonna activate the tomatoes. Um, they need pallets, of course. So the pallets should distribute from where they're at now. We are gonna have to just make a crap ton of pallets. Now the other, this one right here, okay, wood slow, wood fast, water wood fast. Wood plank, we don't need water, water wood. Yeah, water slow, water fast. Um, it's half the speed, but let's go ahead and activate that and we'll just get some uh, seed in there. I don't have manure available to me, so that's gonna be tricky, or slurry, so I think that's gonna be best right there. Now they need water and they need seeds, fertilizer, that sort of thing. So the other thing I wanted to do, this guy will do fertilizer, seeds, and water, and manure if we get it eventually. So this is the distributor. So this is actually just gonna go, that's how you get stuff out is on the other side. So we kind of want that to be, I guess, available for people to get stuff out of if they need to. No, we're not gonna ever have to get stuff out of this. We're just gonna be putting stuff in. So let's go ahead and just, we're just gonna put that right there. It's only $1,000. Um, so now what we can do, we do need to haul water, but we can haul water to this and it will distribute. So if we go down here, um, we can activate all of this. The production cost is zero. Um, so if it's running, that's great. Um, and then we need this set to distributing for all of these. Um, and I'll put all of these materials in, not that many of them. Um, and then that should distribute them over to our greenhouses and get that up and running. Uh, there you guys go. Um, just I'm just gonna cheat real quick here. I'm just gonna delete these objects. We just wanna get rid of them. Is this a stump that I missed? There we go, let's just get rid of that. Okay. Um, I, oh, there's another chunk of wood. Chunks of wood, or is it a stump? It's kinda hard to tell. Um, but anyhow, well, that is one we can delete as well, floating there. Uh, so yeah, this is a good start. This is a good start to our greenhouse area. Um, let's go ahead and what do we have for different materials in here? Um, that gravel I actually really like. That one's a little too extreme. I kind of like the base game gravel, but I don't see it in here. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go with, I think we're gonna have to go with this gravel, this darker gravel. So we'll put this just down to there, just across there. Now, obviously I know we're not gonna be actually in here really needing to do anything with it, but it still looks nice. If you, it looks like you can come in here and work on it or do whatever you need to do. It still always looks nice. I like I like I like things to look nice, so there we go. And then we can make it a little bit bigger. We can go across here. And then we will make just a just a simple, it's not these aren't the landscaping's really not that expensive for this. Just get a nice simple path in there to our greenhouses for now. Obviously I have more room in here so we can put more greenhouses in uh, as we want to or even some productions or whatever we need to put in here. But we have some more room. And we're not going to worry about leveling out the next tier yet because this is plenty of going on for now. So I actually am curious though, how much wood does this make? Point, so every month, this will make half of that. So make 4,000 liters a month about. That should be enough to keep everything afloat, though we probably will need to get another one of those at some point. 
Um, I actually, you know what? I think we're just going to want to get another one rocking and rolling right away, especially since we don't have a newer. Because um, we don't really have, I mean... It'd be twice that if we have manure, but we don't have ability to buy manure. Really. I don't think there's a manure anything in here. Oh, maybe there's that. Let me see here something. Uh, TMR. There are mods that allow us to buy manure. So let me actually look into those. That would actually just be better instead of building that. So I'm going to add a mod into allow us to buy manure, and I will, I'm just going to do some work off camera, and I'll let you guys know. Kind of where we sit here in a bit okay so i've gotten a lot done bought thirty thousand liters of manure sixteen thousand liters of seeds sixteen thousand liters of fertilizer um and i also bought a little tanker trailer which i don't need to be going that fast which is over here it's a little lizard tardis which i can tell you when it's full of water it doesn't get pulled well by the truck but otherwise it worked fine um okay so um, we have the distributor there, which I put in a lot of the materials. So in the distributor, we have a lot of water. We have seeds, fertilizer, and manure, which you can see it's distributing. Um, the food factory obviously has got its stuff. And then tomatoes, they should start producing as soon as we get pallets in there, um, which right now we don't have any pallets in there. This is still manufactured blanks. That's fine. We need to get more wood here, which is going to happen from this guy producing uh, wood out the bottom here. And it should, oh, I need to set that to distributing. Let's make sure that's all set. This is set to distributing. Pallets are set to distributing. Um, planks are set to storing, good. Tomatoes, set to distributing. Um, and then here, this one's not activated yet because we need tomatoes. Well, I might as well activate it. So what do we decide we're gonna do? Um, I think we decided on this one because it's less sugar, more tomatoes, which we don't have, we have only limited supply of sugar. So we'll activate that one. And then these guns are obviously all distributing. That's good. And then furniture is storing. Okay. So what we are going to do is drive over to, oh, by the way, what did I spend on that? I'll tell you as I drive over there. Obviously, our money's gone down a fair amount. Um, we're going to drive over to our pallet factory because, ooh, that was almost bad. Um, we do have some pallets that are sitting outside there. And I'm just going to drop those off at the greenhouse or drop some of them off at the greenhouse for now. now we have some stuff going on there so we can get that production started. It's gonna pass this cop on the shoulder. Oh goodness, it almost caused a collision. Oh boy, oh boy. Don't ever do that in front of a police officer, that's for sure. Um, okay, yeah, so all these pallets that I put out here. Um, actually, we can probably, does that not hold down? Oh, maybe I have to, no, that's the door. That's the other door. That's that one. What about this? Um, open back cover is Y. What a strange, what a strange setup there. Uh, okay. Oh, I can't lift these. Oh, my liftable pallets doesn't work on these. Well, don't look. Everything's fine. I'm going to just get these guys loaded up. They obviously, obviously what I could do in real life is load the pallets one by one, which is basically what I'm doing instead of loading a pallet of pallets. Um... That's not going to work super well. So let's just put that on top of there. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure that's totally normal. That's how you typically would load pallets that high up on there. And I don't know why the other one fit just like kind of perfect. There. That might just be how we have to do it. I wonder if I can get a little bit there. So it would be nice to have. Yep, that's okay right there. We'll call that good. Um, these guys. Again, totally normal to load pallets this way. Then I don't know if I'm going to be able to strap any more in on the back here. But we will try. I'd like to put our two pallets in there. I don't think there's straps back. Definitely not gonna go if there's no straps. The mouse is having some issues. There we go. Fixed it. I hit the button that slows down the mouse cursor. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, there are there are there are ones back there. Okay, we're good. Oh wow, this is heavy. Okay. What we should do, maybe to make it more suitable for this process, 
is put this guy over the cab. This looks strange, but there we go, it's strapped in there. That can go forward, and then this can go forward as well. There we go. That way the late is moved forward. Look at that. Still quite heavy. So you need to be very careful driving this down the road. Because we can roll at appears to be 10 miles an hour, which is not helpful for us. Drink a coffee while we're going. But yeah, once we get this over to Tomato Greenhouse, the cop is still there probably waiting for me. He's probably looking at this like, this guy has been just trouble since he got into town. It's a rock. Very careful here. <laughs> I don't want to tip this. Get through this deadly intersection as fast as possible. Okay. Sharp corner. There we go. We made it. Perfect. And then after this, everything should kind of just kind of work the way it needs to in terms of pallets and everything like that. And wood getting made. So that's the plan. Assuming I can just pull over. There we go, yep. First few pallets in there. There we go. And that should be enough to get that thing rocking and rolling. Should be nothing in there yet. Okay. Now we can close the tailgate. Okay. So now these guys aren't going yet because they're waiting for wood, which is going to come from this guy once it gets distributed. Um, so the other thing we need, honestly, we need, well, we're producing 8,000 liters of wood a day. This thing, I wish this thing didn't hold so much because I actually don't really want to get that many. Uh, that much going on. Now, if I turn off the, uh, if I deactivate this after like everything's full of pallets, it won't accept any more stuff, but I mostly want the wood to go to the sawmill, which is got, of course, a lower capacity, but worst case scenario, we just have a lot of pallets. Um, it's not too expensive to do it that way, but if we have to, we can get another, uh, another one of those wood, uh, greenhouses set up, but I think we're good. We also can still harvest wood. We still have plenty of wood that we can get, which I will probably still do some of that off camera, get some of that done, but, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, it is second part of July. I will see you guys in August, and we'll see kind of where we're going. Um, now we got our food factory underway, and we got some greenhouses rocking and rolling. I'm just gonna park right here next to the TARDIS for now. And uh, yeah, I should be able to do another load of dirt too uh, tomorrow, which will get the rest of this hopefully unloaded out of here. So uh, there we go. I'll see you guys uh, in August or in the future. So we'll see. All right, welcome back in everyone. So. It has been a while. I have done a crap ton of stuff off camera. I did a bunch of harvesting contracts, and this is just some leftover corn from it, just to put it in our food factory. Um, I've done so many, so many of them. I did a bunch of potato ones, oats, wheat, sorghum, soy, sunflower, a bunch of corn ones, um, a ton of stuff. We have to now accept a whole bunch of them. Um, so these ones are all ones that are done. This is not all of the ones I've done either. Let's go through and just accept all of this stuff. There we go. Yep, there it is, just like that. Um, yeah, also, some good news. If we actually go up to our, I think I should be able to tab you right here. All of our dirt is gone. I sold it all off. Every month, we obviously got a load we could sell off. I also sold nine loads of the city dirt. That's why our money went up a little bit, uh, because I've been selling a lot of the city dirt, just because it bothers me that's on the map, so I've been trying to get rid of it. Um, and in addition to that, I finally, if I go up to the, I bought, this chunk of land right here finally got a good deal on it this one has still been overpriced we might just actually have to bite the bullet at some point because i do want that piece of land so i think that'll be great for well honestly we're only really buying it because we want this guy we don't really need that so we could just build our own somewhere which boy is it under silos remember where where it would where it's at Straw storage, that's great. That does bales. Yeah, so maybe it probably should be under here. Yeah, here we go. Bale and pallet storage. So I do want one of these somewhere. But yeah, only 30 grand. We could sneak it somewhere 
I don't know. Well, that's the problem with that. So that's going to mess up with that landscaping. The landscaping in here is really rough because it has it goes up. If that was flat with us, that would be much better. Um, we could put it over here, potentially. I don't really want to. So the goal is to not have to drive in here really at all. So I actually probably don't want to do that. Um, I mean, actually right here or somewhere like that would be fine. Um, maybe just kind of tucked away. But anyhow, we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. Um, we made some good upgrades to everything on our farm. Um, and yeah, things are going good. We're slowly paying off our loans. So these guys are getting done slowly. We probably should pay off some of this at some point, but I'm just going to leave it alone for now because really the only one we can afford to pay, I guess we could pay this one off, which would save us five grand a month or six grand a month. But I'm not worried about this one because it's such a low interest rate. So these are the only two that I want to pay off early because we're paying so much interest in those. Because uh, yeah, we started 400,000 for this and we've made, um, raining, we made 14 payments so far, 14 payments of 5,400. So if we look at that, 14 payments of 5,400, that is approximately $75,000 we put into that, though we've only paid off $31,000 of it. So that is one that we really want to get cleared. Same with this one. So this one we could clear right now, but I think I want to get rid of this one just so we can get rid of that big payment as well. But um, on that note, so let's take a look at our productions. Our productions have been, actually, they might be a little full. I didn't check them last month, so I need to check those guys. Tomato sauce, we're making some good tomato sauce, getting some recycled trash in there. Um, we also have a little bit of sunflowers, a little bit of soy, a little bit of corn. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do anything with them just yet. The soy I'll probably turn into soybean oil. Since we have that, let's go ahead and just activate that. I think that will be fine. Uh, canned corn is probably going to be what we're going to want. Uh, there's no water in here, but if we activate canned corn, um, that should be fine. Um, soy milk we could make as well. Soybean oils, two soybean to one soybean oil, six soy to four. Let's look at those prices for soy milk and soy soybean oil here real quick. Um, so let's see, soybean oil, soy milk, max price 4,000. So that's six to four for that one. So three to two, and this, where is it at? Then this one is 53, that one's, oh yeah, let's do soybean oil. That would be worth more, I think, to us. Let's go back in our productions though. So um, there we go, we got something going on with some of that stuff that we got. Sunflowers, I can't even remember what we can do with sunflowers over here. Oh, sunflower oil, of course. Um, I think that's the only thing we can actually do. So we'll go ahead and activate that as well to sell that sunflower off. We didn't pay for the sunflower, so that's nice. Uh, the tomatoes have been doing okay. Actually, they've been it's been struggling to keep up um, with all of that. So, um, but that's always been doing good. Plenty of uh, plenty of wood in here. Um, not a lot of wood in here. Premium potatoes. I put all of our extra potatoes in here. So this is where all of our water's at right now. So we need to get some more potatoes rocking and rolling through here, which they're trying. So premium potatoes actually work more in French fries. That's why I did premium potatoes. We're gonna get some pig food, which is fine. We'll just sell it off probably. Um, and then down here, this thing is still trying to do its best to make some make some wood. Now up here, let's take a look. Furniture factory still doing good. Uh, the distributor needs more water. So we probably should get some more water for that, which I'll do that off camera. So we get some more water for the distributor. I'm going to try to use something else to tow this. I might try to use a tractor because this does not tow well with this because it, as soon as you get past like 10, 20,000 liters, it just drops the truck or lifts the front of the truck up. So we'll try to get that and get some more stuff in the distributor here. Um, but yeah, so things are going well. I think our products are going well. We have some nice little greenhouses over here. I do want to see about maybe with you guys in here about putting in another wood one because I think that would be appropriate because I think we use enough wood. Um, let's go to production greenhouses down here at the end. I think we use enough wood that it would be worth it. So I think we can probably sneak this guy. I don't know how that 33 grand that's not too bad there um maybe if we sneak it back a little bit further i think it's going to level that yeah 39,000. it's going to level that a little bit so i don't really well honestly because the next yeah we'll, well we'll make that level up there so we'll let's put it we don't want it to level too much of that so we'll try to try to keep it away from that we can tuck it back in there a little bit though i think right about there is good yeah that's perfect okay and then if we do a little bit of landscaping around that um, let's find, where's the stone I was using? Was it this one? Yep, that's the one we're using. Oh, let's put this nice. Already get into that sometimes a little bit. There we go. Kind of curve that into there. Let's bring that back into there a little bit. Okay, so a nice little area. Um, 
for decorative purposes, I'm just going to paint over this just to make it look nice. I'm going to take a nice thumbnail shot of this, as you guys have seen. So I think if we do that, um, plants, let's see here. Do we have like a cheaper it's meadow? That is not really what I'm after here. Could do some nice flowers, I guess, but I think the grass is expensive. But that's, that's what would look good. So let's try to... I was only three grand of grass, actually, so that wasn't too bad. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, about eight grand worth of grass to get that all done. So, yeah, but it looks real nice over here, so I like that. Um, I even like having some of that meadow in there. Um, yeah, some meadow back there. I like that over where all the trees are at. Yeah, okay. That looks real good. I like that. And we can add another greenhouse here if we need to, and even another greenhouse right here. So our kind of little greenhouse operation is underway. And if I go into this one, open production menu, um, let's do wood fast with manure, because that's what we're doing. So we'll activate that. Um, and then that should, we'll go down here to wood. We're making wood, we're not making planks. We'll change that to uh, um, distributing. There we go. Okay. So now they should be loading up all the wood. And the wood is really cheap to do it this way, because we're just putting water and stuff in there. So it's not a big deal. Um, it just takes time, which makes sense, because um, wood production. So. There we go. On that note, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. We have made a lot of progress. I think the next episode, our goal is going to actually start harvesting. So next year, we're going to start actually doing some harvesting and some growing of our own crops. So we'll have to start looking to get in some equipment, which we have plenty of money for. So yeah, um, if you get first off, new tractor. So I've spent a lot of our money. I know you guys shouldn't be surprised. This is on sale. It was about 30 grand. And in the configuration that it was in, if we go into our garage. It was um 261 horsepower which is a lot better than the other tractor we were leasing so i returned that tractor so i bought that so we have that because we are trying to get enough equipment today uh to hopefully start farming our fields which we have through here so um yeah that's what we're going to try to do this episode is to start farming maybe get our first harvest done i think that would be pretty reasonable um now we can start stop doing so many harvesting contracts and just work on those um i also purchased a couple other things well first off i actually purchased this gas um the reason i purchased it is 50 percent off so, and I know we'll use it from productions later. So that was just kind of a purchase for later. Um, this little harvester is very cheap. It's only a few grand um, on sale. And then this is a really big direct drill seer. Huge, but it says it only requires 250 horsepower. I think it is 240, 240. And that means this guy should be able to pull it. No problem. Well, with minimal problems. So I needed the direct drill seeder, and this was a really cheap way to do it. It was 88 grand, which I guess is not the cheapest way to do it. Um, and I know we'll go in here just so I can talk about it. I know I can do this guy. It's a direct drill seeder, super cheap to start, but I always start with that guy. So I wanted to push myself a little bit different way and uh, try to do something different. And there's a couple other, a couple other options, four and a half meters. But since that was on sale and that's a really good seeder, it means we wanted to upgrade our seeder probably for a long time. So um, the first thing I'll probably get upgraded would be our harvester because you can't take this header off. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's stuck on there. So we can't do any corn crops, which is kind of a bummer, a bummer but this is a cheap way to get into... Um, just farming and this is a decent width for just starting out very small uh, grain capacity and all that but we are good to go in terms of that so um what should we plant is the real question um i'm thinking honestly canola maybe what, what can we do in our food factory is kind of the big what can we use the stuff for so um soybean oil would be great so i think we should do some soy um, I'd love to do some corn, but we just don't have the capability to do that. And we're actually out of corn, so we can, de we, can that. we can deactivate that production. The tomato sauce is worth a lot of money, so we should get actually a lot of money for all of our tomato sauce down here. So yeah, I'm thinking get some soybeans grown for some soybean oil. Uh, we could do some canola oil and stuff like that. Um, we could do some soy milk as well. We wanted to make that happen, so we have some different soybean options. So I think soy is going to be really... Yeah, honestly, I think we'll just stick to soy because right now that's kind of what we can do up here. Canned corn would be great, but that's, I think, I think we just stick to soy, which, can we plant that? Oop, nope, don't need, yeah, everything just happened at once there. Okay, there we go. Uh, can we plant that now? We can't even plant it now, so that's okay. We will get the cedar staged, though. Um, we do need to buy some seeds. Well, the problem is in April, when we're going to be able to plant that, we're going to have to pay our loan set of loan payments off, which is pretty much going to bankrupt us. So we need to sell some stuff off uh, in some way, shape, or form. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of great prices out there. So premium potatoes sell for a thousand bucks. We actually could sell those off of the Northern Railroad. 
problem is we have to rent the train and go through that process there, um, which is fine. And but I don't think we also we also have a lot of them. Um, oh, we have eleven thousand of them. Okay, yeah, that would be eleven grand right there. Uh, pig food. I'm not sure where we can sell the pig food off. Let's take a look at that real quick. If there's a place that even takes it, because if it needs to go to the railroad as well, that would be ideal. Uh, where is pig food? There should be there should be a pig food option in here. Don't mind me if I pass. It should be in the base game stuff up here at the top, I would think. Seeds, wood chips, salads, grass, hay, bread, flour, butter, cheese. Is it not in here? Ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. Maybe it's down. It can't be possibly. Well, actually, it might be because it is part of this mod. But uh, as well. No, I just don't see pig food in here. I guess we cannot sell a pig food. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. We're just going to hold on to it then for now. Maybe we can get a sell everything container place down somewhere. But yeah, so that's one thing we can sell. We have a lot of a boatload of planks. We have a crap ton of planks. However, those prices are not what we'd want. So I think I want to try to avoid selling planks for now if I can. Um, that's what we're trying to do. So maybe we sell off those potatoes. And if we need to, we can sell a few planks off. Um, export by train is the best price. So maybe we grab a few pallets of planks and sell those off. So let's go ahead and grab our truck. Back this guy out of here. So thankfully we we can move pallets around because we have little pallets and stuff. I this is just that was just that was hard for if you're a truck driver and you watch that, I'm sure that was painful to watch. Um I just need to set this somewhere. It doesn't matter where it's at. Oh, I totally forgot. I should have done some more forestry work in the wintertime. I've become lazy now that I have my wonderful forestry gardens that do all the forestry work for me. But regardless. Um, yeah, so I will probably put, let's just do 10 pallets of planks. I think that's pretty reasonable. We'll produce that pretty quick as well. So I'll grab 10, pile, 10 pallets of planks because that'll give us a couple months worth of, of goodness. Um, and then I'll grab all the premium potatoes and that should give us $30,000 if we sell all that off. So uh, I'm going to get all that over to the train and then I will bring you guys back in when it is time to actually sell that off on the train. We'll get it loaded up together. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, I just picked up the potatoes, which are in... 700 liter pallets instead of 1,000 liter pallets, which I now remember from Omatana's Productions that a lot of her stuff is in 700 liter pallets, which is fine. We'll get them all sold off. So you have 11,200 liters of premium potatoes. And then we have 10,000 liters of planks, which is 10 um, pallets. We also have still sitting up there, <laughs> I think it's 90 extra pallets of planks. <laughs> so we're going to do just fine on planks this year. Um, that's going to be a couple. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of money. So forestry, that's where the money's at, I guess. I would like to get some other forestry factories built at some point, because I think that'd be fun, but uh, we'll see. Oh, I should have wrenched the train. My bad. Yeah, 5.7 kilometers. So anyhow, we can start getting ready. Well, I'm betting, actually, this has to unload onto the left. So it has to go out the left side. That's how this trailer works. But I'm betting we can maybe unload it directly onto the train car. So we'll get staged for that. We'll see how that's going to go. Driving off. Oh, well. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We didn't want to drive off, that's for sure. Got out of the way. I think the train's a long ways off, so that's not an issue. But still, didn't want to do that. So I'll have to be right up against it somehow. Don't drive all the way off there. Betting it'll be close, but I bet we can do it. Okay, so this little work. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that should. Well, I think we need to be closer, actually, than that. I think we can get closer. My 7,000 point turn. Try to get as close as possible to the edge of this loading dock. Okay, this is probably probably as close as we're going to get. I think right there is probably pretty good. And I probably should actually try to straighten the truck off of that if I can. 
Yeah, right there, right there. That's perfect. Okay. So now, wait for the train. See how far it is now. Actually, I should have probably looked before I just kind of hopped off and hoped for the best. Is that in the... I don't know. Just... Oh, that's... Oh, that's wood. Interesting. Hopefully this actually sells. I am a little nervous that this is not going to work. Um, so maybe I save the game real quick. Um, yeah, we'll see. Let that save. And then I'm going to turn auto save off for now. Um, how far off is this train? 2.5 kilometers. All right, I'm going to put a quick gap in here. I'll see you guys when the train pulls up. All right, train is here. Let us pull forward and attempt. We're about to attempt here. I don't know how this is going to go. But we shall see. A little too far there. Get on up. Okay, let's go over there and uh, see what we got going on here. I think this will work, but um, part of me is scared that it will not. <laughs> that worked real good. <laughs> that is fabulous. All right, let's get in the train. Okay. Oh, I got to get back to that cart. There we go. 11, 2, and 10,000. Okay. I've never sold products on the train like this before, so we will see. Oh, we got gypped. We got gypped. All right, well, what we can do, since those things are gone, is we can just reimburse the cost. So if we go to, uh, let's do planks first, or export by train, 2,076. So we had 10 times that, 2,076. So that is 2,760, $20,760. We'll just do that to make life easier. And then we had 11,200, so 11.2 times the premium potato price. Where we have premium potatoes or are we down here actually? Yes. Okay, so we have 11.2 times 994, which is 11,133. There, sold it by the train. So we went through the whole effort for nothing. So good to know that the train does not like us. So here we go. Wonder where those pallets are now. Interesting. Well, if we ever have to sell stuff by the train, we might just role play it and delete the objects and pay us. Might just have to be the way that we do it just to keep things simple. But there we go. Um, I will bring you guys back in in April, I think, when it is time to actually start doing real farming. Finally, finally doing some real farming on here. Um, and mostly just do we have stuff growing in there? of wheat growing i don't really want the wheat so we're gonna plow that under but still kind of, oh jeez he just smacked my truck did you see that side wiped the bejiminis out of me just t-boned me straight up goodness oh well, anyhow what can you do you know i'm just gonna park this guy in here because we have a lot of space uh but yeah i'll bring you guys back in in april when it's time to plant i think just basically basically just do a big load of soy i think is what we'll do so um, yeah, I will see you guys later on. All right, it is time for us to start seeding, which is great. I'm going to disconnect that. We're just going to take a quick little shortcut this way. Not into that fence, but this way. And we're going to go pick up our seeder and get our fields planted. Obviously, I'm not going to keep you guys in for the whole time because it will take well. You know what? Actually... What might be nice, we'll, might, maybe we'll do a time lapse. I haven't done a time lapse on the series yet. Some of you guys like them, some of you guys absolutely hate them. So maybe we'll just do one and you guys can tell me if you hated it or liked it or whatever the case may be. But um, I do think, yep, this does fertilizer as well. So we're going to be able to fertilize at the same time, which is great. Um, actually, big bags are usually cheaper, so let's find 
Um, I didn't even check actually. Do we? How are we playing? I can't remember our settings in this game. Uh, we are playing with. Here I'm playing off. Fields on off. Weeds are on. We're playing with precision farming. Oh, we are. Oh, well, that is also a super important point. <laughs> we need to purchase uh, soil. Yes, that's thankfully those aren't very expensive. Purchase soil information, yes, and purchase soil information, yes. Okay, I totally forgot about that, but that's okay. All right, great. So yeah, so weeds are on, but everything else is off. Um, if we go to the map, they shouldn't require anything. Weeds are on that field now, but that's fine. They'll be gone in a second. Yeah, and then, oh, we do have to do pH. Of course, we have to do lime. I'm just all over the place today, guys. I, I just forgot how to do precision farming completely there for a second. Um, that's okay. We will deal with it. Um, we will buy, let's just buy four bags for now. And then we will buy some fertilizer. Um, solid fertilizer, there we go. We'll just buy, I shouldn't use as much. We'll buy four bags, just because we did. The seed, and obviously I'm gonna have to get something to, uh, well, actually this need two needs, uh, this needs repairing. Let's get this repaired real quick. It is a pain to repair here, so eventually we do need to oh, shoot, real fast. We eventually need to get our own repair set up, because here you physically have to drive in here and then go into here a little bit, which is extremely frustrating. Okay, uh, repair that, sure, and repair. Oh, good lord. Yeah, let's repair it. Whew, okay. Again, this is actually a really nice cedar. This is probably one of the nicest cedars I've ever started with on a kind of start from scratch style series. It probably is the nicest, honestly. And that was mostly just because it was on sale and it was all good. So let's get a little bit closer here. Go. Which one is the partial one that we haven't? Uh, not the full one. Let's get this in out of the way. So we're definitely grabbing from the partial one. There we go. Okay. And then we'll get some seed in here. Close enough or not, that's okay. Thankfully, these are all liftable. These are part of the lift. If you're on console, you can also have these. These are part of the liftable pallets pack by Yas Modding or Yos Modding. Um, good friend of the channel. And what we're saying we're gonna plant, we're gonna plant soy, right? That's the only thing that's really useful for us right now at this time. Get that, and then it's gonna take all of these seeds, which is fine. All of them, right? Should take all of them. A little room. Yep, a little bit of room left in there. All right, that's fine. That should be fun to get us started. So, um, we also need to do pH, though, which is a problem. So, we need to adjust the pH first. Um, well, it might be really bad, too. Does this do lime as well? Oh, goodness. 200 liters, though. It's a hot minute to do. Um, that one actually is not a bad idea. Eight miles an hour, but that's not not very wide. That will take a while as well. Um, that goes to the back of the gator. What does this one do? Lime. A thousand. This one's got a pretty good 4,500 liters for that right there. What we might actually do, since that does lime, it's um, honestly, it's more about the capacity for me. 21, that does 6,000 liters, 18 meters. This is 42 meters, though, so that would get it done quick. Um, this actually might be easier to use anyway. So, because we don't really need a super wide one to start. We actually might, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lease this bad boy and then we'll just make payments on it for now. Uh, but yeah, we probably actually should start with that. I'm actually gonna park this. I totally forgot we should deal with lime first. Um, well, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do the lime off camera because you guys have seen me do things. Um, and then you, the next thing you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna cut to a time lapse of me time lapse of me uh doing the seeding the planting of the soybean so that's what you're gonna see next so yeah i'll see you guys after the time lapse
right, so as you know, we got everything planted. I'm doing weeds right now. So a couple things. I actually returned the lime spreader we leased because I didn't like it. It just didn't have a very wide working width. So I got rid of it. We'll just get a new one later. Um, I also forgot a few things about precision farming. Um, I forgot that soybeans, for example, don't need nitrogen, so we didn't use any of the fertilizer we bought. Didn't need to buy that fertilizer, but that's fine. It's all good. Um, I also thought that the weeds should have... I don't I think this is just kind of a glitch that happened. The weeds should have gone away when um, when I direct drilled. They should have gone away since they were here. So it kept them, which is weird. But anyhow, we're dealing with them now. I leased this weeder uh, for like three grand. So we will hold on to this weeder. I like this weeder. And this one, we can also upgrade the uh, width of it later if we'd like to. And obviously it has spot spraying on it, which doesn't matter for this field because there's just, we're spraying the whole thing. Uh, those fields don't have weeds yet. They will pop up and we'll have the sprayer ready to go, which is great. Um, I also totally forgot that up over at that farm, we had a big pile of lime. So we had like 90 some odd thousand liters of lime. So we didn't have to buy any lime in the first place. But that's okay. I did go over there and pick it up um, and put it into the silo here. I also picked all the dirt up off that road because I forgot that road was there and sold that off for like six grand. So that was kind of nice. Um, but yeah, past that, the other thing I kind of thinking about is because, well, we have to make it until, well, harvest season for soy and or the other thing when we're going to do stuff, we have to make it until we can sell our planks off which is going to be in June. So we have a couple months. So basically we have two big loan payments that we need to make, which we have just enough to do it. So I think we'll be fine. But then I remember we have some tomato sauce to sell and it's April. So we should be able to sell it. Uh, 69, uh, it said 69.72 is a good price. Um, so we have some higher ones than that. So I think Hypercube Pizza really wants that stuff. That is a great price for it. Um, wow, where is the, where is that place at? Hypercube Pizza, you guys are about to get a shipment of tomato sauce. That is fantastic. So um, let's hop in the truck. Let's go pick up our tomato sauce. Oop, let's get that disconnected. There we go. Um, let's go pick that up and get that sold off. Um, that will be great. We're going to make a lot of money off of that, which is fantastic. So we are making money. Now, the other thing I thought about, so a goal for the series, my goal was to make a lot of money off of our productions. I think we have to set it so that for five days straight or some amount, if you guys think that's unreasonable, let me know as well. I think it's pretty reasonable. Five days straight, we profit a million dollars a day for five days straight. Uh, or we sell a million, you know, we have, we, we earn a million dollars a day for five days straight. The reason I say that is because it's one thing for us to get a whole bunch of factory productions all set and good to go and then sell them all off one day and get a million bucks or even, you know, three million bucks. But it's a whole nother thing to have a steady income of a million dollars a day. So I think that's kind of our goal. If I, that ends up being completely unreasonable, we'll change it. Um, but I'm hoping it's not. Let's get all these guys. There we go. Should have 9,000 liters. Do we have any more in this factory that we should grab? Tomato sauce. Negative. Okay. We will leave that in there then. We have 9,000 liters, which is 9,000 liters. And each of those 1,000 liters and sell for 8 grand. This is a lot of money. So... We are doing just fine. That should be our place. Yep, should be tagged up over there. So we'll get this sold off. After I sell this off, I will take care of the crops as needed. And I will probably bring you guys back in for harvest. Because I think that'll be uh I think that'll be what's needed. And I'll try to get some sort of nice thumbnail shot during harvest of everything. Um I also really hate our fields. They're not uh worker friendly, which I knew that, but they're not that big. They're good starter fields though for us. So I think we'll obviously we'll hold on to them for now. Um eventually we'll probably sell them off and move our farm somewhere else. I actually don't even think really we're going to use this lot here. I like our little lot set up here, but I think eventually we'll sell off this stuff. And I think that this area down here is going to be a really good area if you want to do a lot of farming. Um, this is a nice farm setup right there. So this might be kind of our new base of operation. We'll probably even clear. I think there's a cow pen there. Uh, we could either use it or clear it out. I'm not sure yet, but I think that uh, this will be a good operation for us. Um, I think next episode, so this episode we're getting into farming, which is great. Obviously, we have those silage bales and or hay bales and all that stuff. So I think what would be good as well to start getting some sheep underway to add kind of another production that we can do. Um, how am I going to get in there? Yeah, that's going to be tricky. That is going to be tricky, tricky, tricky. I think we just can pull them this way. Skate open. I guess we also could use the pickup truck to deliver this stuff more individually. But this is a good challenge for us already. We've hit something. we go burn in there yep um we are gonna unload it and then we're gonna put them in there individually we'll never make it otherwise Let's get rid of that so if we hit i and 
Let me unload. No, these are not artificial pallets. Um, don't tell Darren Duel. Just like this. Yep, eighty-one hundred bucks. Let's we get an environmental score. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, now that we're actually doing farming, that is really great. We are doing real good off of this. That is fantastic. Fantastic money. I'm glad we're making tomato sauce. And you guys have been leaving. I have been. Uh, I haven't been doing a lot of shout outs in terms of you guys' comments. You guys have been leaving good comments about different stuff. Um, some of you did make some comments about how long it takes for some of the factories to produce stuff. That's why we're doing so many different uh, factories. It is kind of a lot to manage. I will say that. That is one thing that'll be nice um, when I eventually in this series is not to have to manage 50 different production chains because it is a lot in the menu. But um, at the same time, um, that's kind of why we're doing so many different things is because it's, uh, yeah, that's what we kind of have to do because some of the productions either produce stuff slower or, you know, whatever the case may be. But, uh, yeah, it is part of the challenge. Part of the challenge is managing all the different factories. This is going to be a disaster to get this out of here, isn't it? This is already turning into a disaster, a complete disaster. Um, I'm wondering if I can... I make this corner now. This is a terrible spot to deliver to. I see why they pay so much, because no delivery company ever will want to deliver to them. Ooh, yeah, backing out was somehow the easiest option there, and that actually went way smoother than I thought it would. Okay. Yeah, please wait for me, truck. Yeah, that's more delivery truck size that they need to go in there. And eventually, we'll get, obviously, more delivery trucks and stuff like that. I mean, for goodness sake, we're making... That's a reduction series. we got to get some delivery trucks and such. Like, <gasps> goodness gracious, that car was really moving. Boy, and they really just doubled down, too. They just... Wow. They're not about that. All right. Well, now, guys, I will see you guys, I think, when harvest is ready to go. So, I think that's the next time I'll see you. So, I'll see you guys when it's time to harvest some soybeans. All right, welcome back in everyone. So it is time to harvest our soybeans, which is great. It's our first actual, our own crop harvest on this series, which is great. Um, a couple things I wanna note, I sold three pallets of canned corn because we had those and it was a good price. We made 12 grand on that about. Um, I also sold all of our planks because we got a good price on those. So I sold 129 planks, 129 pallets of planks, I should say. And we made $343,000, which is great. Um, I also restocked ourselves on some seed and manure. Um, I spent like 25 grand on that ish for what that save, um, for our distributor up here. Um, in addition to that, I also got ourselves a new lime spreader, which I'll just run up to the store to show you real quick because it was on sale. It was uh, 16 grand, 10,000 liter capacity. So this thing is fantastic. Um, it's a little damaged, but. Yeah, so we needed one, and that one came on sale, so I thought that was a great idea to buy that one. So now we have one for next year. But let's see how much I get annoyed with this harvester. Um, <laughs> is that lowered? No. There we go. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Only harvest at four miles an hour. That's already going to be a... Bit of a hassle, but we'll make it work. I'm at least gonna do one year's harvest of this because we did buy it. So yeah, I probably should have done some more research of this. This is definitely gonna take us a while here. But it's happening, you know, it's happening. We are making it happen. So that's about what you can help for, I think, um, is to have this, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, um, okay, I'm <laughs> gonna keep harvesting. Oh, I guess I could probably do a row around the outside here. It's probably a good idea. I'll say I'll, I'll get to get maybe a, a headland done here. But uh, yeah, so on that note, I, I do think we are getting close to kind of where I want to wrap up this episode. Um, but we are making a harvest. We are doing our first harvest. So what I'm going to do is keep harvesting. And then next episode, you kind of see where we're at. But yeah, we have finished our soy harvest. And you can see it looks great. Well, I missed, I guess, that little part there. But that's fine. Um, I also put more lime down, so the pH level will be better here. I can see the nitrogen is actually doing pretty good right now. Um, it bumped it up by about 50, because it was pretty much at zero. 
Um, so I actually think we'll probably end up doing another round of soybeans next year. We'll probably be the plan because we can keep bumping that nitrogen up um, using the soybeans, which would be great. So we save a little bit of money, which is nice. Um, so yeah, um, it's looking really good. Uh, but yeah, so as I was harvesting, I tried to use that harvester. It was slow and I was dealing with it and then I went to unload it and it, the pipe was so low that I would have needed like a miniature trailer to get it out. So I decided, screw that. I sold that harvester and then I bought this one right here, John Deere one. It was only 20 grand or 30 grand maybe uh, between both the header and this. And I think I leased the harvester itself. Um, so we'll end up buying all that stuff eventually. I think I, I think that's what I did. Yeah. Oh, I leased them both. Okay. So they're not that expensive though. So not a big deal. We probably should start buying some of this equipment off at some point. Um, but anyhow, we're making payments on it. So it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look at my, oh, I also got a new trailer because when that thing was full, which was nice, it still was not high enough off the ground to handle this guy. So I'll show you the new trailer in a second. Um, oh, and while we're over here, I also bought another greenhouse. I'll show you that real quick. Um, I wanted to make more tomatoes. So I did the math um, with one greenhouse. We actually weren't maxing out that production for tomato sauce. Uh, so I built another one and now we should have a little bit too many tomatoes, which is a good problem to have. So that is underway as well. Um, I also accepted a cotton harvest and that is on its way doing its thing as well. And then I also cleaned up the field edges here, added a little bit to that edge, a little bit around this edge and up along here. So we weren't so tight on the trees. Uh, I just, yeah, just added a little bit of uh, landscaping in there to do that. Um, and I also sold all of our premium potatoes off because if we go into the menu here, top down to, yeah, so tomato sauce. Yeah. See, it's using almost, well, five, it's using about 10,000 liters of tomatoes a day. And this thing is only producing, that ends up being like 6,000. So now it's producing like 12,000 liters of tomatoes between the two of them versus much less than that. So, which is nice. And actually I need to load this up the rest of the way with pallets. I have some just loose pallets sitting over by the pallet factory since this guy is done. I turned it off because we have plenty of pallets everywhere, at least for right now. Um, but yeah, premium potatoes are pretty much done. There's 22 left to get processed, but that's not going to make a full 700 liter pallet. So I'll turn that off as soon as they end up finishing that up. Um, but sugar beet is still getting processed into sugar, which is great because we need that. And then everything else is still working. But let's take a look at what we got off of our soybean harvest. So first off, here's our trailer. I It's actually really cheap and high capacity. That's why I want it. It's the, tar the TARDIS by Omatana. Really good trailer. But we have 25,000 liters we got. Um, not all of that is quite off our harvest. We had an extra 1,000 liters that I forgot about from an old harvest contract that was sitting in our silo. But I figured we could dump all this. Um, just into here right now. So 25,000 liters of soybean, which is great. And we actually did have to go into the second part of October because it started raining halfway through yesterday. So in order to actually get stuff rolling, I had to bump it up um, into the next day. Okay, so let us make, I'm tempted to make soy milk. Six, I have to do the math because if it's not worth it, if we're not gonna make very much, six soybeans to four soy milk. And then this one is two to one. This one also uses same same amount of pallets as well. So two to one. So basically it's a three to two or two to one ratio here we're looking at. So um, let's take a look at what is worth it in here. So the three to two is gonna be a uh, better ratio, which is the soy milk. So if I scroll up here to find that. That sells at its best at 4080. Um, and then what about the soy oil? Sells at its best at 5396. So they're pretty similar. So 4080 for the three to two, and then uh, 5396. So if I divide, well, let's, let's do some math here. I know my math is uh, spot on. So if I just wanna see how much we're making basically per soybean, um, if I take that 4080, we made two out of it. So if I, um, oh boy, let me do my math here. Divide that by two because that's our output, and then divide that by three. We're making about 680 um, per thousand liters of soybean. That is terrible if I'm doing that math correctly. 5396 um, divided by two. The yeah, other we're making 2698. Did I do my math correctly? Three soybeans and a two. Boy, I need to just sit down and do my math. I, I think my math is completely skewed. Um, so I'll turn that on a little bit. I'll do some math off camera to see. Um, I think I'm just doing the math wrong, which is, well, honestly, it's not surprising. So I'll get that figured out here. Um, but in the meantime, we're just gonna keep chugging along um, next year. I think we will probably plant again soybeans. So 
we'll see in our soy harvest. I really hate our fields, to be honest. They are not worker friendly. They're terrible to do. They're awful. I hate our fields so much. But I think we should still suffer at least one more year with them. Um, we're doing okay. So, oh, geez. Sorry, truck. Sorry, truck. That was my bad. My bad. Knock you back down. No, that's not going to work. Okay, well, as long as you guys don't tell Darren to do about this, we are just going to fix this right up real quick, like. Just like nothing happened. And then I'm going to turn that off. And then I actually need to go pick up some pallets. So I'll deal with that as well. But yeah, I don't know when I'll see you guys next. Um, I'll see you the next time something happens. But yeah, that's kind of what I got for you guys. All right. So I think we're just going to move right on to one of the kind of uh, main events, if you will, of uh, this episode. I want to get some sheep rocking and rolling. And I think that's probably going to be in the thumbnail if we do end up being successful at it. Uh, but before we get into that, I did finish out the cotton contract. I have one on field 10. Um, is one anywhere else? Nope. Okay. Anyhow, I finished it out on field 10. And uh, I think it was Farmer 279 that said to do co cotton contracts because you get end up making a lot off of the extra. Um, so yeah, and he was absolutely right. We made over double the products or over double the profit um, or double the contract value off of the extra. So um we doubled our money. Basically, the contract was like $2,600 and we sold the extra for almost three grand. So that was basically what I was trying to say, though I didn't say it correctly. So there's that. But uh, yeah. Um, OK, so I think we're going to put the sheep over here. I think that's a, a good spot for them. Um, the other thing we could is buy another piece of land for them. But I think three grand for that is way too much money. OK, so anyhow, yeah, we're going to put them over here on the chunk of land we already own. We also could actually we could put them up there. It's not a bad idea, is it? Oh, goodness. Yeah, that actually might be a really good idea because I don't have any other plans for this uh, chunk of land up here, really. Um, can we sell? We can sell the metal shed. Let's get rid of that. We don't need a shed here. Um, we can sell the farmhouse. Let's sell that. Boy, we just made some good money there. Um, we can demolish this. I can demolish a lot of this stuff, can't I? Yeah, we'll demolish that gate, actually. I don't really like the gates, to be fair. Uh, okay, um, and we also can get rid of this. However, we have wheat in there, which I don't want to get rid of. I want to hold on to it just in case we want to uh, do something else with it. Uh, but yeah, this would be this would be a perfect area for... We can demolish. Well, let's just close that gate. I don't think we need to demolish it. And this is just recycling we got to get rid of as well, which I don't know if these will auto-load or not. Um, I am curious about that. We have a bunch over sitting at the food factory, so I do need to see about getting rid of that. Is this another one right over here? Yeah, that one's right there. You do get money for selling them. It's like 200 bucks per container for selling the recycled trash. Um, so I don't want to just go around town collecting them, really. Um, I will, if I do decide to do that or something like that, I will, because, I mean, if there's, there's a lot. If we go down here, this is what I really like. If you use this mod, the time-saving stock, there's a couple things on this map, such as Recycled trash, it'll tell you exactly how much there is left on the map and in your productions as well. So be aware of that, it's combined up. But the big thing in here, I can find it, is metal to melt. There's 270,000 liters scattered around the map. Um, so that's how you can see if you've actually gotten it all or not. Um, I'm not going to worry about the metal to melt. There is some on different areas of where we're at. Um, we might, yeah, we're just not going to worry about it right now. We might be able to buy some off of some other people if we need to later, but uh, you also can import it too. But yeah, so I'll get rid of this. That's what I'll do. I think we're going to use this area. I'll move the wheat from... It's one of those... those. Bit. Never mind. We're not going to move anything out of there. No, because it has... Yeah, that's going to be way too much work to go get a belt to get that out of there. So we'll just sell that off. Uh, wait, wait a second. Did it give me... Do you want to sell flat water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, oh, we did get the... Okay, it was just separate. Okay. So we have this big open area. Um, just for now, since you guys are here, I'm just going to move this out of the way over here to this guy over here. I'm going to put them kind of in the way so I know that I need to pick these up and deal with them. But yeah, they're scattered scattered all around the map. I don't know if those will auto-load or not, to be honest with you. Um, they may not. But okay, we have this big area here. I like this. I'm going to get just so I'm standing out of the way. Um, and that's getting to here. I don't want to affect the ramps into here or anything like that. So I want to try to not affect those ramp areas. So let's see what we have for sheep pens. 
Um, we have these ones are... I don't want to have to provide them water if I can avoid it. How big is that? It doesn't show us, which is also slightly... Bearing. And I will use this to ship the products where they need to go. There's one that's fenced in. Still requires water, though. Still requires water. Water required. I, I do like these. These are by Omatana, so I do think these are a good... That would be like a good fit right into that corner there. Um, yeah, that would be great. It's double fenced, which looks a little weird, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. But at the same time, that one's a little too big for what we got going on for sure. Let's see what else we got. Improvised sheep shed. This is, it only holds 25 sheep, so that's not really a lot. Those are the open ones. Those open ones? No. Animal barn pack. That one's pretty good. See here, this one free range sheep does not require water, which is great. And I could kind of corner it in there and I could kind of fill the fences in the rest of the way. That actually, might be a good idea. 75, that's 25. Here's a large free range sheep one that does 195 sheep. That actually might be perfect to just snug away in this corner here. Um, or maybe snug it. Well, I'm trying to think of where all that is. That's the animal endpoint over there, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. I actually probably could do it this way and snug it into that corner a little bit. So maybe we'll do this guy. I think this will be a good one for us. Perfect. Okay, and then uh, landscape-wise, let's go ahead and put in... We'll just finish getting grass up against that fence there. I think that'll look nicer. Um, and then in terms of the fence, we should be able to find... Is that a fence that's in game? I don't know if it is or not. Um, let's see here. If we can find something that looks similar to that. Oh, that's part of the Frontier. What's this Frontier mod? Is that that fence? That's not. But this one is. There we go. We found it. We'll put that just right there to connect that up. Um, and then we can put a fence right across here. And then right down to, I don't like that it doesn't quite connect up the way I would want it to. So maybe if we do, all right, sneeze real quick right there. Just muted the mic. If we do that, and then if we actually, well, that's actually not too bad. That looks pretty good right there. I like that. Okay, so there, we have our sheep pasture. And actually, I think it looks really good. Um, let's change the landscaping a little bit um, in terms of the painting. I think we have this is just yeah the gravel texture so we're just gonna we're just gonna gravel over that so it matches fits in with what we got going on there we go okay now we hop out of there we have our sheep pasture ladies and gentlemen we are doing it um okay now i don't know if i don't think it actually matters in terms of any of these guys being good bad or whatever for that so we might just go with this these guys right here and we'll save a little money on them uh, 60 of them, 30, 13,800. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Just do 120 of them. Yeah, we'll do that. That won't be too bad for us. Okay. And so obviously we have some sheep now. Um, we need to get them some food. I'll let that do its thing for a second. That's always good. I actually blew my um, fuse a little bit ago because I turned the space heater on. Never had that issue. I've run that space heater before, but uh, anyhow, okay. So, oh, so silage and hay, they like both to be completely effective, which is totally fine. Um, I didn't know that about, I, I'm pretty sure that's got to be on this map and not, I can turn that, uh, those checkered boxes off as well, but I'm pretty sure it's got to be on this map, not anywhere else. But uh, anyhow, um, let's go back to animals. Um, sheep, we have this guy right here, which... I'm not sure where they're going to start spawning. Uh, wherever that is, I'm going to put that in first. Because I don't want to have to place two of them if I don't have to. So I'm going to wait until they actually spawn a pallet of wool. And then we'll place that in. Because then that will automatically distribute them where they need to go. Which right now, we don't have anywhere for them to go to. But we're about to. Uh, well, I'm going to wait till they start producing wool. But we are going to buy uh, the fabric factory. And then eventually, we're going to buy... The tailor shop and that way we can kind of have some clothing production underway and that should happen before the end of this episode now if we go over here obviously we have um all of our all of our bales and such over here so 
what I want to do, because I think it would be easier. Oh, I have super strength on. That's right. Uh, what I want to do, because I think it'll be easier, is I want to turn these into loose product. Um, and then I think that'll be easier to feed them using that and doing loose product that way. Um, so how to turn them into loose product is kind of the... It's kind of the trick. So I think what we should be able to do is lease a feed wagon. If we can find a decent one in here. That's a water tank. Um, okay, well, that one's not bad. Only 12,000 liters at a time, which isn't great. That one does up to 50,000 on the back of, um, what does that hook up to? Combinations. Hooks up to the 3,500, so we could lease both of those, and then 50,000 liters at a time is going to be better than probably anything else we have in here that's reasonably priced, I would bet. It's 18,000, 16. It's about $50,000 to lease both of those, so this one, 22,000. So there's one that's, yeah, that's going to be pretty much the best of the best. 30, 45,000. Yeah, so what we'll do is we will lease both those because then eventually we're not going to do any more bailing contracts in the future what we are going to do i think is um let's go ahead and we'll lease this guy uh, capacity unreal is a little bit more money lease that for 1300 bucks and then combinations we just need this thing in its simplest capacity so we lease that for 1600 bucks that was not bad to be like what 2800 dollars 2900 dollars uh, for both those that's actually just here we go and we should be able to hook this up. And then that way we can deal with loose product. In the future, we're not going to make our stuff off of uh, our, oh gosh, our whatchamacallits. We're not going to make, that, that was, it was hay and, sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained right now. Silage and hay. Okay, yeah. So in the future, we're not going to get our products off of um, contracts. So we don't have to worry about having more bales in the future. We're going to, this looks ridiculous with those wheels and that configuration. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We just need to be able to get this done quickly, which this will help uh, be able to haul it. So I will just, uh, we'll do the silage first here, and then I'll show you what should work. It should just be able to just, you put it right in there, and then it uh, just turns it into a loose product, and then we can unload this wherever we need to. We don't want to load them together, because we're not trying to make TMR. Well, apparently I do need super strength for these guys. Yep, okay, it's unloading it into there, which is good. Just is taking a little bit of time, which is fine. There we go. These guys in there. Yep, slowly filling up with silage, that's great. So yeah, then we'll put the loose stuff in the silo, because we have a multi-fruit silo, and then in the future, we'll eventually buy a grass field, and then um, we will just do what we need to do to take care of that, and we'll buy all the equipment for that and deal with that. And again, eventually, I think looking at it, I think this is going to be our kind of our main farm operation um, down here. We'll probably buy all these fields through here and start doing that. We already have a couple grass fields down there as well, so we could start off buying those guys um, and using those as our grass field, which I think will work really good for us. So that's the plan. But yeah, I'm going to do this off camera. I'll get our sheep fed. Um, I don't know what I'll bring you guys in next, probably when it's time to buy the, uh, the spinnery or one of those types of things. So I'll see you guys uh, when it's time to do that. All right, in my quest to get rid of recycling, I have determined that they do auto load into this. It just isn't, uh, isn't pretty. Um, but theoretically, this will hold 50 of them. Um, I actually might try this. Let's try, um, let's loading type control alt Z. Doesn't do anything for us. Um, I thought there was a way to. Well, maybe actually it would be a good idea to open this up. Uh, maybe not. Well, I don't know. We'll just. Uh... Yeah, you know, they're not actually really fighting it as much on that side, at least. So that's good. That wasn't really quite what I wanted to do. Oh, I came back into that building. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> back up, grab this one here. But uh, while I was thinking about it, I kind of want to get these eyes off the map because uh, I'd like the time-saving stock to eventually work really well for us. So 
Um, I've decided... Oh gosh, I have to get in here. There we go. I have decided that it'd be a good idea. They actually settle down pretty good when you belt them in like that. Um, but yeah, no, I've decided that we are going to go on a bit of a trash run. And what I mean by that, we're going to go through and hopefully pick up a lot of the stuff out and about. So we have 12,000 in here, plus a little bit in our silo there. So how many pallets of this is going to be around? This going to be a lot more than I think it is, isn't it? Um, yeah, so there's probably 60 some odd or 65 pallets out and about, but... Oh boy. We may just grab 12 and go unload it. This might be the extent of what we can should load and do a trailer. Um, so let's go... Let's go try to unload these guys here. Oh, we want the straps on. That made it worse somehow. Um, okay, yeah, so I did go around town. I'm gonna unload these first, and then we'll go pick up the first one. And like, like that, I put them out on the side of the road, all the ones from our stuff, and just anywhere I could find uh, recycling bins. Believe it or not, that one right there in the back of the gas station is decorative. And I know, obviously, the blue one is, but this is not one. That's what the rest of them look like. That one is not. That one actually is strictly decorative, which is just blew me away. Uh, but anyhow... Let's get these guys hauled. We're not going to make very much money, and that's why I'm okay just kind of hauling them for the rest of the town. Our labor will definitely not equal, especially if they do this 12 at a time. Our labor is not going to equal what we're going to make off of them. But it should go... <gasps> this is what I was worried about. That light pole saved our lives right there. Yeah, this is obnoxious, but it is what we can do. Um, there's probably... I could definitely load them up onto their own. Boy. There's definitely easier ways to do this in terms of hauling more or not having to deal with the glitching, but this is the... Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, maybe actually I don't want to have the tension straps on. Like, that's where a lot of our issues are coming from. Well, I'm just going to fix this real quick. This had no reason to happen other than glitchiness. Come on, truck. There we go. And again, we're not going to make very much money. It's fine. Mostly we just want to get rid of these guys. There we go. Yep, they're getting unloaded. Good, good, good. Yeah, maybe like $2,000 a load, if that. Uh, with environmental score, probably we'll be pretty close to that. If no, actually, I guess it'll be a little bit better than that, probably. But still, we are doing the community a favor by getting rid of their trash. I think it'll be easier to come in that gate next time. Let's get this one out of there. There we go. Okay, perfect. So I will haul as much of the recycling as I can just to get it out of here. Um, this traffic is ridiculous as well. Of course, it's right around. I feel like it gets, like, glitched out. Like, it's kind of just confused. Like, you see, it, like, I feel like this map needs, like, a good update to fix a lot of the problems that it has. But, uh, I don't know if the, they will get, we will get that or not. I'll just reset the traffic there. Hopefully that fixes some of the problems. Um, and I don't think, I honestly don't think that's gonna solve a lot of our issues having that open or closed so anyhow i am going to do my best to pick up some recycling and get that sold off um oh and our sheep are fed and we have a lot of uh they don't take very much food i'll see how long that actually makes them last but we'll see kind of how that goes and everything like that and obviously they're just going to slowly go up in value but in storage we don't have a ton of silage to be fair um if we go to silage we only have forty six thousand liters but we have a ton of hay we have 335,000 liters of hay so we're going to be doing just fine for a while. But uh, yeah, so they haven't produced any wool yet or anything like that. I will, again, bring you guys back in when that sort of thing happens. I'm going to head this way, I think. Uh, but yeah, there you guys go. I'll see you guys in a bit. And there is a bin right there. Speaking of bins. All right, let's close out this episode, I think, just because we have been recording for a while. We have some pallets of soy milk out here. Good to go. Uh, we also are slowly accumulating a lot of pallets of uh, tomato sauce, which is real good for money for us, as you know. 
Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing things. I set a couple things to selling just because we didn't have a lot of them. And also I decided to sell recycled trash, just have it sell directly off. It just kind of makes more sense to be able to deal with it, uh, quite honestly. Um, and I can turn that back to storing. We sold it all off. This one we're gonna make more of, so I'm not worried about it. This one we're making, we're making, and we're making that as well. Um, tomatoes and all that sort of stuff is good. Planks, I have the truck parked right over there at the trailer, so they're just auto-loading into there, so I don't have to deal with it as often. Uh, pallets, we're probably gonna have to turn this back on soon. Maybe not. Premium potatoes are done. Um, I'm just gonna set actually this to sell what we have in there. And then this, I'm gonna set to sell as well, actually, because we don't have anywhere we can take it. So I'll just have those two sell. That's distributing, and that'll take care of that. These guys are making wood, and we are making furniture up here. We have materials in here. We're running a little low, maybe. Um, though that, to be fair, have never restocked. That one will probably need a little bit more soon. But anyhow, that's all. Everything's working really good for us, which is great. And now at the very bottom here, we have our wool distributor, which has a little bit in it. Because if we hop over to or take a look at our sheep here, which I need to feed, um, they're growing up, and they are solely producing wool. And let's just hop over to where they're at real quick. So... The wool spawns right here and just now just goes directly into this, which I've never actually used this mod before. So I'm excited that we are using it now. And I think uh, I think that's that. I think uh, we will next episode, because I did spend a little bit of... Oh, I should show you what I spent some money on. Yeah, you guys may have some problems with me. No, everything's all good. It's all good. It's all stuff we're going to use eventually. So uh, well, at least I hope so, because we bought it. So first off, there's a nice Trans 70 trailer for 11 grand. That holds 70,000. It's always nice having our trailer, so I bought that. Really good deal. Uh, we also have this here planter. It's a 4.5 meter planter, so now we can do planted crops at some point as well. Um, also, this mower with a swapping setup on the back. We'll come out of our 10 meters in width. Um, when we start doing grass work, that's going to be perfect. But again, this was, I think, $50,000. So, But it was a really good deal. It was like $30,000 for the mower, than $20,000 to add the belts on um, since they didn't have that uh, on sale. But yeah, they were on sale, so it was a good deal. So I went for it. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead. We have the money. Let's buy. Let's just go over and buy the uh, the fabric factory. Yeah, this guy right here. So, um, so. Oh, also, I sold a lot of the recycled trap. Where is the thing for this? I sold a lot of the recycled. There it is over there. I sold a lot of the recycled trash. However, there's still five pallets somewhere on the map. If I go to the yeah, or four pallets. Four pallets somewhere on the map. I don't know where they're at. Um, I looked everywhere, I swear. Um, there we go, we got our production facility. And let's, let's go ahead and open that up. Um, this is going to need pallets, which is something I'm probably going to have to activate the pallet factory for. Um, we can deactivate this guy. That one's 1,200, so you use 2,400 wool a month, which really is not a lot, which is partially a problem. But we can deactivate that, at least for now. Um... It'll get wool soon because it'll be distributed to here. Um, and then the recycled trash, we're going to set that again to selling. And the fabric, um, yeah, that's good. That'll just start storing fabric up. Um, once we get some fabric stored, we will open a clothing factory, I think, will be the next thing we purchase. Um, so we can start making some money off of our clothing. But our, in our industrial empire is growing. Um, we're doing good. Eventually, we'll get outside the wall and get some oil production going. I'm hoping that's around like episode 12, maybe we have enough to start going that route because we'll make some really good money off of there. We we'll also have mining and a lot of stuff we can kind of start investing in. So um, yeah, we are doing really good um, in terms of everything. But uh, yeah, so I'm thinking in terms of, what was I going to do? Oh, we need to turn the uh, pallet factory back on. Let's go ahead and activate that again. So I can start producing pallets and then distributing them where they need to go. I also actually might change the wood chips to selling because we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with them um so there we go um and it is only one month forward from when the last episode ended we are now in the planting time for soybeans so i'm gonna plant soybeans and i think what we're gonna try to do this year if all goes well well obviously if all goes well we're gonna sell some tomato sauce i'm probably not gonna worry about the soy products yet but we're gonna sell some tomato sauce off and we have how much soybeans do we have Oh, we actually are low on soybeans, which is great that we're... Did I... Do I have any even storage? I put them all straight into here, didn't I? They might have already cooked through all those. That doesn't make any sense. Do we have soybean storage? No. Huh. Did we already... That doesn't... Yeah, did... maybe I took some out because it shouldn't have gone through... 
two times 2,400. I mean, it has been almost a year, or not a year, half a year. Not a lot there. So that, but that's, I guess, 8,000 soy. And that one for the milk to get, well, that's like, that's like another 1,500. So that's like 9,500. So I guess we didn't get that much soy off it, but do we have any, I gotta go visit this. Uh, did we put in the outside? I can't remember. Oh gosh. What drives me crazy is if I, I'm just gonna run over there. So my little, if I use the factory tool to visit a factory, I can't adjust my running speed anymore. Okay, we do. We have a ton of soy milk out here. Okay, we are good. Never mind. Never mind. It all makes sense now. So yeah, we have been producing pretty good soy milk. Okay, perfect. So that all makes sense. I forgot I did that. Um, yeah, so we might actually sell some soy milk this year. I probably should set a uh, target for that. So I'll show a mod that I haven't showed off, but I use on No Man's Land and they use on here. So the best price is 4066, which we should just... Oh my goodness, we should just sell it. We should just sell it right now. Yep, let's just tag that. Let's go sell this. Let's sell some soy. Well, we're starting off. Well, I'll sell it in a second. Excuse me, give me sell stuff. We'll sell the soy milk. Well, what I'll do is I'll go get it all loaded up in the truck and then I'll bring you guys back in. You guys don't need to see me do all that. Well, actually, you know what? That's screw it. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Why the heck not? Over here, I have 22,000 liters of pallets in this and I have two sets of 50,000 over there. Um, I'm just going to unload these guys right there because I will come back and load them back up in a second. Um, I've just been having this guy sit next to it because it just helps load the stuff up. But yeah, let's go pick up all the soy milk, sell that off. Wow, did not know we'd be doing that. Um, and actually, while we're doing this, what I can probably do is I'm going to hire a worker and we'll see how they go about getting at least this section planted since it's kind of straight. We'll see. Obviously, the workers aren't super excited about these fields, but I'll hire that guy so at least it's getting some work done um, while we're doing this. So yeah, we'll get us, we're going to sell soy milk off. And then also to this, this year, we're going to try to sell planks off and tomato sauce. I'm not going to worry about the soybean oil or the furniture, though we are getting quite a bit of furniture, which is nice. So obviously it takes a while for it to produce, which is, you know, that just is what it is. But uh, yeah, so we're going to get that done. We're going to plant all of our soy. And then I think as well, while we're driving down this way, I'm just going to set, I think we can just set cruise control and head out that way. If we go to here, we're planting soybeans here, which means we should be able to harvest them here which means we should be able to plant barley, um, excuse me, in October. So we're going to plant barley, and then we're going to use that barley that we're harvesting off of that um, to make seeds. And then we're going to rent the AGI equipment. Um, if you haven't used the AGI equipment, it has a thing that makes seeds out of it. And then we're going to use that for our productions. Where do I want to go? Straight, yeah. The food factory is over here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan, is to do that. If we can, that we get a double harvest. And then once we harvest the barley next year, um, I'm going to sell off, I think, our fields. I think I'm going to sell those fields and we're going to start upgrading because by that point, we should have a few hundred thousand dollars in the bank uh, if we're selling all of our products and everything. Um, and we should be able to afford. We'll kind of see, though. We can play it by ear. Oh, gosh. It's because that train is right there. There's no train coming. He's not moving. It's obnoxious. We'll just loop around it. I think there's enough space there for us to get around it. I was going to have to go literally rent the train. The train is kind of broken on the map, to be honest. Um, obviously it doesn't sell pallets. We know that from experience, but it's broken in other ways as well, but, uh, it's okay. We just will deal with it. Um, let's load all those guys up and then I'm going to move. I don't think tomato sauce has a good, oh, that's right. I can't. I have to do this. These guys, these guys don't work with the liftable pallets, which is fine. Because tomato sauce, yeah, I don't think any of those are good for you. 60, well, 69, we're going to the Denton Bakery. Fast food. I mean, they have a good 82, 84. We might sell everything right now. Holy smokes. Yeah, well, April actually, it says it's the best time for it, too. So actually, we're going to sell those in a second. We're just going to make all of our money right now. Goodness. All right, let's go back to productions. Soy milk, let's go ahead and spawn the remaining two pallets that we have in there. Um, and we'll load those up. Now, I believe... There we go. I believe if we go into here, we can check this. Tomato sauce is taken at Denton Bakery, but we want to sell it at Hypercube Pizza. So if we go to Soy Milk, they also take it at Hypercube Pizza. Okay, so we do have to sell these guys separately. I said we could load them up in the truck and try to do some finagling if we did them at the same time, but I think that will go very poorly for us. So we have 11,000 liters of soy milk, which is great. We're going to get good money for this. 
Um, and the bakery's up over there. Okay, so we'll head this up to the bakery, and then we'll come right back down. We'll grab our tomato sauce. That's just going to be how we're going to start this uh, episode off. It's great. Selling some stuff right away is always a good way to start, making some good money. Um, and he is done over there. I will... Oh, boy, he did not do great. Yeah, he didn't do great. I'll just deal with that. Deal with that off camera, fixing him up. Um, but yeah, we'll get this uh, sold off here. And then Hypercube Pizza, if I remember correctly, is a pain to sell out. This one looks like it's going to be much easier to sell out than the bakery. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. That wasn't ideal. Well, we made it. We're good. Everything's great. <laughs> um, yep, Denton Bakery. Perfect. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We'll loop around the other side here. Oh, goodness. I am just not driving, apparently. I just need to just not be doing that anymore, I guess. Holy smokes. Um, we also need to look into maybe a smaller delivery truck for small loads like this, especially since it would be easier to get at different places. See, oh, it's all right up there. Let's pull a little further forward so you can get that last pallet in there. There we go. Now it's all selling. Yeah, we're doing just fine in terms of uh, finances, that's for sure. Go. All those pallets are about to be done. Wait for this guy. And there we go. Wow, $56,000. That is fantastic. That's a good way to start off. We are doing really good off our productions and everything like that. So I think we're we're going to be able to meet that goal on the, on the series pretty quick, I think. Um, however, I do want to own all the factories and stuff like that. Maybe not all of them, but I want to own a lot of them. We can also start selling off some factories eventually. We will probably ditch the planks and stop. Where did they go this way? This was not smart. Um, that's okay. We'll get out this way. Um, but anyhow, sheep are doing good as well. Sheep are doing good. Um, yeah. And we're making lots of fabric. This guy looks like an idiot, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we're making lots of fabric, which is great uh, from the wool. So we'll probably have to buy the... We'll definitely have to buy the clothing factory today uh, to get clothing underway. But yeah, we will probably eventually uh, stop doing wood production and kind of go down from that. Though we do make a lot of money on the planks. It's just... We want to slowly upgrade to other stuff. That well, That's way down the road as well, I should note. Um, that's not something that's going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. Okay, let's grab all of our tomatoes. Might have to manually load some of these. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just throw these over there. It'll be just quick. There we go. And... Perfect. Okay. So we have how much I'm worth? 13,000. That is definitely a lot. Okay. And we were going to sell this at Hypercube Pizza. Let's just go ahead and tag that place because that's a great price for tomato sauce right now. That makes sense. They're making pizza, so they need a lot of sauce. And I'm pretty sure it's all at the front as well. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So just a good to know where it's at in the truck. And, uh, yeah, Hypercube Pizza, if I remember correctly, this sell point really sucks. And we had to unload it somehow out of the trailer, but we'll see what we can do. It would also be nice if it was at the back of the trailer, because then I could just kind of back it in somewhere and get it off the trailer that way. But we'll make do with what we got going on. Oh, wow, that guy almost smoked us. I usually am at fault for the collisions, but that one I would not have been at fault for. Okay, and we are just going to... Just don't worry about us. Oh, that light pole's killing us. Yeah, we need to get it right there, though. This is going to be a good idea. That truck's not going to be helpful for us, for sure. Let's see if we can do some finagling. This put us almost in a worse position somehow. Let's just back up over this, and we'll just have to make a nice wide corner again. We'll let that truck pass. See, I thought that was the last line of people. I were like, boy, this guy's crazy. We do not want to walk in front of him. Very smart people, those guys aren't. What are we hitting there? Corner of that building. There we go. This is why we need a small delivery truck. This will make it very, very helpful for us. Okay. And that was some of it. That was 50 grand for that. Um, can I load off the left side? Let's get a little bit more space. Do you have any on board? Nope. Okay. Yeah, 50 grand right there. 
craziness. Oh, we're doing very good off our tomatoes. This is all, all because we got some sugar off a of sugar beet harvest. Um, we still have plenty of sugar left to go, I should note as well. So this is, and our tomatoes are not that expensive, even using the, the modded greenhouses that require more materials. So this is just, this is great. Look at that. Okay, we are doing great. I am going to continue to plant the soy off camera. And I will bring you guys back in when something happens, I guess. Maybe it's time to sell some planks. Well, you guys have seen me sell those off before, so I might just sell those individually. But anyhow, I'll see you guys later on. All right, welcome back in, everyone. I just finished up doing some weeding. And as you can see, it is June, the second half right now. And our money has gone up a lot. So we had 150,000 liters of planks, which I sold for $415,000. And then we also got a good deal on furniture. So I sold the 34 pallets, which is 34,000 liters of furniture for $154,000. So that bumped our money up quite a bit. Um, I did buy this plot of land, the number 11. Yeah, this one right here. This plot of land right here I did buy. It uh, did not have soybeans in it and it had cotton in it. So I planted soybeans in it and I've been taking care of it as well. Obviously these fields are all good to go. So everything's been done on all of our land that we have, um, but yeah. So in terms of, I think next year in game, we are probably going to sell these guys off, these two chunks of land. Um, that one actually is good right now. That's a great time to sell that one off. But we have soybeans in it. So anyhow, 15% um, though. I can't remember what we paid for it. But uh, yeah, so we're probably going to try to sell these two off next year or whenever we get a good price. Anything that is a negative because that means that it's, well, a positive, I guess I should say. For us right now, it's going to be a positive. So anything over... A positive like five to ten is going to be good so we'll sell those off we're going to hold on to plot four of course it has the best price um but we're going to hold on to plot four because i think that's actually a really good area especially next to the sheep this is a really good area to build additional production facilities if needed so we'll hold on to that i think we're going to hold on to this long term as well um we can grab some more of the logs up here if we need to i don't know if i will or not we probably will grab some more at some point but um it is really nice with our greenhouses doing all the work for us this chunk of land we actually may not buy we really don't need it and actually this now is working somewhat for us to use. So I don't know what was wrong with that. But again, I do want to buy pretty much all of this, except for I don't want field nine, but I want 17, 16, all of these along here. And then I also want this guy, but this guy right now is 8% off. So we are actually gonna go ahead and buy that. Now, um, I know it has corn in it, which isn't super helpful for us, uh, but that just kind of is what it is. Um, we may be able to buy like a, we probably actually can get a deal on a corn header um, I'll keep an eye out for one, but we probably can. Well, actually, you know what? We can always lease one, uh, to be honest, like a six meter corn header, and then we can get some corn and make some canned corn. So we'll probably actually just do that. We'll probably just lease a corn header um, for the time being. Or, yeah, honestly, we could lease it for like a long term lease um, where we hold on to it uh, for the time being. But we have currently, these ones are going, these are, oh, these are the fast corn headers, the, the crazy ones. These ones are be too big for our harvesters. So, um, what harvester do we have? Let's see what we have for headers that we should get. Um, well, we have this, we have one of these guys. Okay, so if we, there's no combinations with it. This is part of the John Deere New Generation Combines mod though. So we can take a look at that. Uh, those aren't part of it either. So yeah, we'll probably get this guy. Six meters is fine. Um, I think our current header is leased, of course, um, but how much does it have? It's 5.5, yeah. So we'll just get that six meter header um, and we'll just probably just lease it and we'll harvest that corn because we can use that. Um, but if we look at, yeah, we'll let that save. Uh, if we look at the crop calendar here, so soybeans, we should be able to harvest right away. And then I want to immediately plant barley. I want to plant a big load of barley and corn, actually. Maybe we'll let us harvest in time. We'll see. I don't know when they planted it. Uh, so we're going to try to harvest all the soy and corn if we can, and then plant barley right away so we can get a big barley harvest. And then we're going to use all that barley next year um, to go ahead and make seeds using the AGI packs. I've never actually used the AGI pack in a series, so we'll lease the equipment and we'll make a lot of seeds, so we should be good to go. Um, and take care of that. So I'm excited about that. I think that'll be good for us. Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna keep rocking and rolling. Harvest will be hopefully soon. Um, sorry, it's a little glitchy right now. I actually have early access right now to the premium edition. I just can't release any content on it. It's not installed in this game save or anything. But every time you update a uh, farming, a game of farming similar to the game, um, it has issues like that. And this, this always drives me crazy. The train, oh boy, it always thinks that we own it. And it has stuff, it has dirt in it, but if I go to sell it, it doesn't give me any money for it, which is fine. It just, this is how it loads into the map for whatever reason now. So let me get this, uh, and it thinks we have 100 liters of premium potatoes on it. Go figure. Let me just get this out of the way here, so that way it hopefully 
well, first off, the roads will be open back up, and then, yeah, so I don't know, there's some glitches on the map, but nothing, I haven't had, I know there are some glitches out there, what will cause some uh, serious HCR money didn't go up at all, and it did charge us for at least cost, which is great, but there are some glitches on um, the map that will cause, like, some catastrophic game failures, but um, I've heard mostly from removing things using, like, the uh, signposts that you cut down and stuff like that, so if you're ever going to cut down a signpost, back your entire game save up. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be in that lane anyways, but back your entire game, save up and save it and all that stuff, and then um, cut that signpost down, then load the game out or save the game, load it out, and then see if that new game save with the signpost cut is okay. If it's not, go back to your old one and don't cut the signpost. So just be aware of that because you can't really undo that after it's done. But yeah, so everything's going... Oh, dear. That was close. Uh, everything's going well on our farm. We are making really good money. Our productions are doing very well, um, but I do think... I do think we need to potentially get, uh, I don't know what the purpose of this episode or what the thumbnail or things to be. It might actually be this. We need to get the uh, spinnery point, which where is that at? Or the, not the spinnery. We have the, there's the fabric factory. I think the tailor shop is up here. Yeah, let's hop over here. So this tailor shop, okay, put stuff in there. Where does the pallets get spawned? Out back here, which actually for clothing isn't a big deal because it's not going to make a lot of clothing. So I think this is what we need to purchase. So we're going to buy this for 100 grand. If we go in here, open the production menu up, uh, close. It does require pallets, which they will enter here um, very soon. Um, I do also like this. If you don't have this, this is the production like, add-on. It's like an add-on mod for productions. It's only for PC, unfortunately, but uh, it does work really well. So they should get pallets eventually. And then the fabric here is set to storing from the wool. I'm going to change that to distributing so distribute to our clothes factory so that way we can start getting some stuff going and this i'm going to change just changing this to selling is just makes way more sense because there's not that much of it and it's just yeah that just gets this helps kind of cover the production cost and this actually will go through 2500 liters of fabric a day where it has our uh our, that's the wool distributor our actual fabric manufacturer will only make 1200 liters a day so we may need to get another one of these at some point um we can always turn this off when we're not using it so we're not getting billed for the production cost but we do want to start getting that production rolling there so um anyhow yeah that's what we have going on i'll probably bring you guys back in when it's time to do the harvest and i think um just because i have a lot of stuff to work on with having premium and everything this might be a slightly shorter episode so i think i'll bring you guys back in we will do uh, our harvest and see kind of what we get off of that put that stuff into our production facility and maybe look at buying a delivery truck i think that might be what we end up doing so um anyhow i will see you guys later on um yeah when it's time to harvest all right it is the start of harvest it is october which is great and that means that everything should line up here now i didn't check to see if the corn was ready yet it is beautiful we'll do a huge barley harvest and if we can buy any other chunks of land right now that would be great else okay our money has gone down uh i bought another tractor it was on sale it's only 100 grand for this thing um which we honestly need because our other tractor can't do a front free three point so when we do start doing grass work probably next year or maybe the well i guess we have enough grass for now but you know the next couple of years we'll need that eventually and it's nice just having our tractor be able to do a couple things at once so i can have you know just it just makes it easier but uh yeah so now we have a lot of stuff to harvest. This is obviously our last harvest here on these two fields, and they actually are both above the mark. So I think we're going to sell them both off after we get that harvest done. Um, well, let me go. Where's this guy here? Yes, hop in here. Um, I'm going to get... Let's just uh, see how a worker does on this for a second. Um, we should do okay off of our, our harvest on all these different fields. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hire you. I think we go into the store here. Yeah, that'd be great right there. We don't need that. Um, we need to look at a couple things. Again, I said I want to get a delivery truck, so we need to look at that. But we also need a corn header, which I think I think this one will be fine. We're just going to lease it. Uh, if it doesn't work, we will get a different one. It's only 400 bucks. That's not a big deal for us. Um, now, in terms of delivery trucks, I think... Let's go to trucks here. There might be something crazy, special, cool. If this was an auto load... That would be a pretty cool delivery truck. I'm not going to lie, but it's not. So that's okay. Um, what does this guy have for the back? This one holds, yeah, that'd be great for like liquids and stuff, but not like a good, not like a good delivery truck. I don't think there's any real good trucks in here. These are all mods and stuff like that. Yep. These guys are all, I don't think any of these are going to have, uh, that, you know, that is a point too, actually. We could, 
we could get like a Phoenix. We've done this before with a auto loading back. We have done that before. Um, there is a lot of different options in here. So the nine, it wasn't the 9,000 we got with an auto load back, was it? Supplier X service frame, what can this thing put on it? Um, Boy, I've got a lot of trucks in here. I think we're just, yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back. I think the Phoenix is gonna be a good, good option for us. So if we go to any one of these, I don't actually, I've done the cat one before, maybe we do the CMS uh, would work fine, I think. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, I don't think I've done this one before. So combinations, we have a lot of different stuff we can put on here. Uh, we have logging trailers, different backs on here. Auto load, which is great now. The only question I have is, is it gonna do all of the products or just the base game stuff? This is what we have to watch. Okay, we got premium in there, all the premium stuff, okay. And are we getting some of the yes? Okay, modded stuff, that's ketchup. Just ketchup? None of the other, there's a few of the modded things in there. It might actually be fine. There might be a limit to what you can put on there. Um, I would, I hope it auto loads everything. Honestly, that's the biggest concern I have. Is it gonna auto load everything or not? So I think it's gonna be something we're gonna lease uh, to try out. And if it doesn't, then we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to figure it out. I mean, this is great for base game stuff, um, but goodness, yeah, don't. Cause that's not a base game item, nor the pallets or the cement. So like, it's just a weird mix of things in here that makes me wonder, you know? But I think we can do that. Uh, if we customize that, we'll do Unreal Capacity, of course, because that's just how we're gonna do it. I like the metal sides. I think, yeah, I think I like the metal sides. Um, that's go ahead and lease that. $408, go back. And then if we go back from there, we get to this guy. That's going here. We want the, um, no, we need the, what's the, we'll find it in here. It's one of the, one of the configurations that allows you to rigid. Um, I think it's just the rigid X2. I'm pretty sure this is the one we want. Um, we don't need a bigger engine or anything. This should be plenty good. Um, we'll keep it actually the standard color maybe. It costs us anything to change it. It doesn't. So we keep both a pretty cool color. Um, um, yeah, I have no idea what color we should go with here. Kind of like the, maybe with the green. Yeah, you know, I've never done like a green something like that. Let's just go with that. Um, well, no, it doesn't stand out enough. All right, gotta go with like a red, maybe like a brighter red. It's gonna be too bright. Just with the difference. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, we're gonna lease that. This one's gonna be a little bit more pricey. So yeah, obviously, we just gotta we just kind of gotta try it out. This guy's doing, you're doing not great, but you're doing some things. So that's there's that. Um, okay, let's go check it out. Let's go grab like something that wasn't listed on that list. Like tomato sauce actually wasn't on there and we should have some tomato sauce that can be auto loaded. So let's go check that out and see if this will auto load some tomato sauce on here. Cause that will be a really good, yeah. Turn the Jake break off, we don't need to be super loud. Um, yeah, if we open cover, oh interesting, okay. Probably don't need to do that. That one, nope. Just leave them all on. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, oh, we got to go back to the bed. There we go. Okay, activate auto load. So there we go. That's all set. Let's go over here and see. Oh, I hope this works because these trucks, if we could get just a fleet of these guys and then get maybe like auto drive in here and get some good deliveries going, we actually need to make a lot of money. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. It's not a good sign. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's not taking it. Not taking those. That is for sure. Man. We can still hold on to the truck. Honestly, it's still good for like delivering planks and stuff like that. It'll make like that sort of stuff easier and we can do it all in one trip. But I can't believe it doesn't do like those. Goodness, that is just a bummer. Um, there might actually be a mod pack that I have installed. I think it's this one, and I think this is where I own 
I own this trailer. So these ones will auto load literally just pallets, just anything. So we could do like a small trailer here. The problem is I don't think they're going to do very many pallets. Um, that's the only problem I see with this theory here. This guy would be great. Um, I should say four pallets. Yeah, that's not... Uh, you can turn the bales off. Uh, yeah, four pallets is just not going to be a lot, obviously. This one, um, how many pallets does this one do? 44 pallets is pretty good for this trailer, but it's still a pretty big trailer. Um, this guy doing 16. This guy is going to do 12. Man, that is just a bummer. Yeah, I don't know what this one will do. 32. So, I mean, there are some options on here that aren't terrible. 44 is not bad for a trailer, but, I mean, at that point, we might as well use this. How much does this one do? 20? 20 is actually not bad for that size. Um, that size of trailer right there. Still, man, that's a bummer. Uh, if you guys know of a good auto load that works, let me know. That would work really good for a delivery vehicle for us. We'll still hold on to our truck. Our truck's going to work great for the most part. But all the modded products that we're doing, those ones are going to be the ones that we're going to really struggle with. So um, are there any Frontier modded? No, there's not. It's just some. There's some some stuff, but not a lot. Well, anyhow, we tried it. This is a good-looking truck for sure. Um, basically, off camera, I'm going to get all the uh, harvest done. And we're going to get some planting done. But I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Um, corner. Um, but I wanted to bring you guys in. Last time we spoke, I got a new delivery truck and we were doing X, Y, or Z and blah, 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 and good stuff. Yep, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember everything we we're doing, but I remember where we we're trying to get to. So, um, anyhow, yeah, so we're doing the soy harvest. It's going well. I've got a worker working on it. We have a lot of fields to harvest still. He's up there. He's doing what he can. He's going up and down that here. Um, I am driving. We have 47,000 liters of planks and I'm going to sell them. The reason being, we need a little bit of money. Now you might say, well, we have 220, excuse me, $223,000. Why do we need more money? Well, I will explain that very shortly here. Oh, geez. Well, that wasn't great. Swing it now. Yep, there we go. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Be fairly well. But anyhow, we need a little bit of an influx in cash we're going to buy something. You might say, why in the world are we buying something? It'll all make sense in a minute, I think. Let's make sure we get all these guys sold, huh? Here. Or a little bit more. We're going to have to go further. These guys just go up there. There we go. That'll get them. And there we go. Okay. Being out of here is going to be a nightmare. It usually is. Oh, boy. Well, okay. I'll get figure this out later. Tag with it. I'll get it out of here later. Um, we'll just leave it at their construction site for now. So, um, yes, let's go to the map. So we own this field and this field here. We're trying to get all these other fields around here. I don't know what that one's at. That's actually a good deal for that one. We cannot afford that. This one, though, 28% off. I am going to buy it. That is a good deal on that field there. Um, there's nothing in it right now. It's great. But, yeah, it's all good. So uh, next year, we're not going to plant these three fields. I'm going to hold on to the land, I think. Yeah, because the land is, yeah. I'm going to hold on to the land through here. But I don't think we're going to do anything with these because they are kind of a pain to work with. And I do want to save a little bit of time because we need to focus some of our efforts on, well, what we have going on in terms of our production. So, um, yeah, we have these three fields so far. We may get some more fields as we go. We do need a grass field at some point, but in terms of deals, that was a little bit off, a little bit off on that one. Uh, I'm not going to buy this one. That field is just looks trash uh, just based on the shape. So, anyhow, yeah. So, yeah, I, I decided I wanted to buy that because I think that'll be good for us. Um the other thing, I did talk about this. I think what we'll do next year is I think all of our fields that we have over here, we're going to plant. Um, or do we have to do it this year? Let me go in here. We need to plant barley. That's what we're going to do. We're going to plant barley in all our fields. Then we're going to use the, if we go into the store here, we're going to use the AGI production. I think it's in here. Is this one the one that turns them into seeds? Which one turns them into seeds? This 
Uh, let's see. Fill up your silos. Um, I think it's the seed treater. There it is. So we're going to lease this bad boy. Um, and we are going to put all of those, all that barley through it and make a boatload of seeds because you can make some really good seeds uh, doing that. So we're going to do that. I think this episode, um, I think that'll be what we'll get to do in terms of getting that done. Um, in terms of everything else, we have soy here to harvest, soy here and here to harvest. This guy's, well, you can just unhire you. You're doing some crazy stuff. And then we have corn here to harvest, which we will harvest. I also just took on a contract here for corn harvesting that one because it was just, how can I not? It's a $10,000 payout. Um, and then I also took on a cotton harvest because those ones, will be, apparently, they pay out fairly well. Uh, and I might take on, there's a couple other corn harvests in here. I think, uh, is that sunflowers? That's corn there. We'll probably take that one. Um, I did think about doing the sugar beets. What's field 44 look like? There is 44. 44, where are you at? 44, that one might be a good one because we could use some more sugar beets for our production over here because this guy's done making sugar. So we actually probably will take that one on as well. So I'm going to do a few contracts to get some of that stuff still rocking and rolling and doing all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we got going on. Uh, I'm going to keep working on getting through harvest. I'll get a bunch of harvest contracts done and then I'll bring you guys back in and let you guys know kind of what we've gotten in total from all of our harvest. So I think that's where we go from there. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys shortly. All right, so I have not accomplished everything I promised I would accomplish yet, but we're doing good. It's obviously getting very light, so that's why I wanted to bring you guys in for an update. So first off, we did our cotton contract. We made uh, $1,500 off the contract and then $1,985 extra off of the cotton, which was great. Sugar beets, we made $1,897 off the contract and we got 1,500 liters extra of sugar beets. So not a lot, but hey, it was something, so it was worth it. Uh, soy, we did do all of our soy harvest. I harvested the soy through here. And on this field, and um, yeah, we got 36,000 liters, which I put into our uh, food factory to make soybean oil, which actually I need to activate that again now that we have some in here. Activate, boom, boom, boom. So yes, that will start running that now. Um, but yes, so that is all done. I'm harvesting a lot of corn. Um, we have corn on this field that we're harvesting right now with our harvester, and then I did a bunch of corn contracts. Um, I've completed one already, but we still have all these guys left and we're gonna have a, well, these two are done harvesting. I'm waiting for this one to be done harvesting and then I'm going to deliver what I have. Uh, but we should get some good extra off that. Obviously one of them was this field, one was this field, this field, and then, um, there was another smaller field up. I think we did 38 was a small field we did. We already delivered for 38, but we have 128,000 liters in here so far. Uh, we're still going to get some more off of this field here. And this harvester, as you can see, is full. So we're going to unload it real quick. Uh, but the other thing, I know I said I wasn't going to sell any land. But I have changed my mind. And I will show you why. So up here, I said we're not going to use these fields. But we're just going to hold on to them. Well, right now, plus 67%. That is ridiculous. Plus 17%. That's pretty good. So I think we bought that one at about that price. So we're going to get our money back. So I'm going to sell that. And then we're going to sell this. Because that's some good money for us. This one is also doing really good, but I'm not going to sell that because we are going to use that, I think, for more sheep. So I don't want to get rid of that one in case I want to use it. So I do want to use that. So uh, I've decided not to sell that one, but the other ones as well, I decided to sell. And then nothing new over here. Everything's still a little pricey. Um, so eventually we'll buy some fields over here, but we're just going to keep waiting until we get a good deal on them. And then since it is so late, I know I said we're going to do barley on everything. We're still going to do that. Oh, we'll let that save there. But we're going to plant barley on this field, this field, and this field tomorrow because we can still do that since we'll still be in October. So we'll be in the second half of October. And then we'll harvest the barley here, theoretically speaking, which means we can either plant well, another round of barley, but we really don't need that unless we want to do something with barley. So we either decide to do something with one of these crops up here, canola or something, find a use for one of those, or we're just going to let it uh, the field sit until we get to like March or April and we can plant something else. So, oh, and I don't have premium activated in here. I need to activate premium so we can do premium crops if we would like to. Uh, because there are some good production chains on the premium. Um, so we could do like some carrots and stuff. One thing I do think we need to do at some point, um, this could be in the next couple of years, is do a field of like sugar beets. So we can, oh, I think I'm in the way of this guy. Yeah, I am. Let me get out of his way real quick. But I want to do a field of sugar beets. Obviously, all the corn in here we get to keep. And any extra corn, I'm going to put in our food factory to make canned corn. But uh, yeah. So we need to do some more sugar beets so we can make some more sugar because I want to keep doing the tomato production and stuff like that. I think we're doing really good at that. We eventually will probably need to build a second one of these guys or build a legit sugar factory. Um, that's probably actually the better option is just building a legit sugar factory. Uh, so we'll have to do that at some point, but I still want to keep, we need to get more sugar beets, which we only probably need to do one or two fields, small fields, or even do one of these big fields and we'll probably be set forever basically, or pretty close to that. We'll be set for a while. 
So um, the nice thing about this I kind of really like is we're kind of trying to strategically plan what to harvest to put into our productions. Obviously, the goal of this series is to run productions. But uh, yeah, so things are going well. Um, I'll bring you guys back in probably... Um, I don't know, actually. I honestly just don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to get all the barley planted tomorrow so we can make some seeds. Maybe I'll bring you back in at some point in between. Tomorrow, while the harvest is going... Or not the harvest, while the planting is going on, because it'll probably take our seeder a little bit of time to get these three fields here done. Um, what I'm probably going to do is try to clear some more of the dirt off the map. Eventually, I want to get it all gone, so I might sell a little bit more dirt off the railway silo and get it out of here um, using our little... the government setup there. So um, we'll try to do some of that. But uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to keep uh, rocking and rolling, and we'll just keep getting things done. So I can't remember what I paid us. Let me get out of the way of this guy. I can't remember what I paid us for the dirt before. So I'm going to have to look back at an old episode and see what we did for that. But I will figure that out. But anyhow, that is what I got for you guys. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, everyone. So our money is up quite a bit, and I've actually spent some money too. So we are doing real good. Real good. So... Um, yeah, so off of the contract, after I did all of our corn contracts, we got about 14,000 liters off of that, and then we got 52,000 liters off of our own field, which obviously I put into the food processing factory to make canned corn, which is underway right now. We are also out of sugar, so we can't make any more tomato sauce for the time being. Um, that just is what it is, and I haven't checked. I don't think there's any... I wonder if actually... I, oh, by the way, our barley, as you can see here, is ready to grow. That's why I brought you guys back in, or ready to harvest, excuse me. Is there any sugar beets? 15, 10... 15 contract would be okay, 43 would be okay. These ones would actually be okay. So we might be able to grab a couple of those contracts. 10 I really don't want to do unless they give us a really good piece of equipment. But um, those ones are obviously not going to be ready to harvest just yet. But it looks like they'll all be ready around the same time. So I'm hoping to get some sugar beet contracts. Um, I've been clearing dirt off of the path. So I've been doing that. He's up over there right now. Um, yeah, actually, I haven't checked field prices. Are any of these good? None of them are great. Yeah, so I'm not going to buy any of the fields yet. Um, so we're not going to worry about that right now. I forgot to check a couple months. Um, so the sheep, I did learn. Um, they will not reproduce if you don't feed them silage and hay, but they will produce the same amount of wool if you just feed them hay, at least with this. So that's what I did. They did reproduce a little bit, obviously, before when I was feeding them both. So I've just been feeding them hay because we just need them for the, uh, the wool. So that's not a big deal there. Um, so I've just been doing that. Um, we did sell some tomato sauce. We got $126,000 worth of tomato sauce. I did sell six loads of dirt, and we get a 50% cut. That was what it actually was. And it was about twenty grand a load, so we did pretty good off of that as well. I sold $267,000 worth of planks and $77,000 worth of soybean oil. So that is what I got done as well there. Um, this also was on sale 60% off. It's just a mining, mining equipment, 10,000 liters, so I decided to buy it because eventually we are going to do that at some point. So... I just figured I'd buy it while it was on sale. Um, I also purchased, so I guess I should just show this on here. So up over here, up at, I'm going to leave this guy here to set to auto load the planks automatically on him. He holds 500,000 liters, so he should be able to sit there until ready to sell planks. I'm going to leave the truck here as well. Um, I bought a second one of those backs, and I put it over here because I stopped making tomatoes because we didn't need any more for tomato sauce at the time being. Um, and obviously, does this auto load while it's sitting here? So anyhow, you know, I'm producing lettuce just to sell because we might as well use the greenhouses while they're here. Um, but this guy is going to be our lettuce holder. It did put some in there. Interesting. I wonder why. Auto loads sometimes. It did obviously it auto load a little bit out of these guys. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. So I might buy another truck at some point. Eventually, we're gonna have probably a fleet of those guys running around. And then I parked this guy over here because this trailer can actually load the weird stuff. Um, this isn't the best for delivering to some of the places in town in terms of the size of it, but. At least it auto loads it, so that's still a time saver, I think, um, in terms of that. Now, if we hop up to the farm, we got this guy right here, which is 300, almost 400 horsepower, and we can upgrade it for 38 grand to 517 horsepower. Um, I bought it for $170,000 because it was on sale, so now we have another tractor, which I think is great. I can turn super strength off. I don't need to move anything or anything like that. And I also bought this big planter. We already had a planter. This one also does fertilizer just as that one does. Now we can do two. So this one's six meters. That one's five. Or excuse me, yeah. Yeah, five and a half, six meters. Um, so now we can do, we can have two planters running at the same time. It was only $10,000, so it really wasn't that much money. So I decided just to buy that, um, just just to have it. So I think that was that was a good choice there. 
Um, but yeah, that is the main things that have kind of changed around the farm. So quite a bit, as you can see, we did quite a bit of stuff. Uh, but now it's time to actually make some seeds and get that sort of stuff uh, rocking and rolling. Um, oh, and the other thing, too, we're going to buy another harvester. Or not another harvester. We're going to buy a new harvester. Um, I'm tired of our little one. But I am curious. We're also going to sell our pickup truck, I should note as well, because we don't... We never use it, and we have plenty of stuff to move stuff around, so we just don't need it. I'm just going to sell it off. Back it in here. Backs up really slow. <laughs> oh, right. I got to pull it onto the... Still not used to how this shop works. I think the area should be out here, too. Like, out in that area. I think it should be a little bit larger, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so we should be able to repair it. That should raise the money. Then eight. We should be able to get that. Yep. Okay, we're going to sell that. Boom. Got a little bit of cash off of that. Now, the other thing. We honestly need to get rid of our harvester here that we have. So I'm curious, and I think I'm going to test it on the header. Um, if we purchase it, are we going to get more than that back? Because obviously we've been paying into this thing. So I'm going to buy it, just test it on the header. So we buy this for $48.07. Um, I am going to need super strength, of course, now. Uh, I'm just going to carry this in there. So we just bought it for $48.07. Now, is it worth it for us to actually buy it since we've been paying, making payments on it, technically speaking? to do that and then sell it. I, no, I don't, nope, that wasn't worth it. All right, sell. So we're gonna, we lost money on that a little bit. Um, Cause if we take the 49 minus the 890 or whatever, 894 I put into it for running costs. So not worth it. So we're just gonna return this guy. Thankfully it's not really that big of a deal. Um, the purchase price is 15 grand. So um, no, I don't wanna purchase that. I'm going to return that, yes. And then I'm also going to return this, yes. And then also, I'm actually going to, if we go back in the store, I'm going to return, we're holding on to that, obviously. I'm going to return this trailer back and the bin that goes with it. It holds 200,000 liters, or no, it holds 150,000 liters, uh, which we have a trailer that does that anyways for easier than dealing with that. So I'm going to return that. And then we're also going to sell off, probably can actually just have it, yeah, I'm going to have that reset up here to the, stop, the shop. And then I'm going to just carry that in. I don't think this is worth very much, but just sell it off here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just, whatever. Yeah, we'll repaint that, repair it. Sure, sell it. Yeah, 2700 bucks or whatever. No big deal. Got rid of it, though. So, yeah, just kind of a little bit of condensing of our stuff. Um, obviously, we're going to need to buy some. I know it looks great that we have a lot of money. We're making a lot of money. It seems like we're doing really good. But honestly, we are... We have a lot of factories to buy and stuff like that. I mean, I want to get into the oil stuff, which is millions of dollars to get into that. Now, lease stuff, should we buy any of this just to own it? I don't want to make that big of a payment. How much is this? No. This, we're not going to do any more forestry, I don't think, so I'm just going to return that. Uh, belt systems, we really don't need... I'm trying to think of when we would need the belt. I don't think we need it. Um, how much is it? Yeah, let's just return that so we're not making payments on it. Uh, obviously all that stuff this guy we can this is nothing that's just purchased that so we own that um so there we go okay so we've solved some of our problems in terms of that we only have a couple of things out on these guys now the other thing i thought about doing too is paying back loans um where is the interest rate is 10 percent on both of these um we could pay both of these back actually maybe we'll do that so we don't have any loan payments um Oh, wow. Well, 280259.842. Nope, it won't let me do that. All right. So, yeah, we'll just pay that. Can I do that? Beautiful. All right, let me pay that off. And we will pay this one off as well. 7825. There we go. All right. So, we're down to 252000 but we are debt-free, and we only have a couple of leased items out. Um, and we're obviously... I was going to lease our harvester anyways for what we're going to do. So... Um, okay, harvesters. We need to get a harvester while we're here as well. So looking at things, we want a decent size. That one's not bad. That one's real good, too. There's some good ones in here, actually. Oh, wow. It's a good John Deere one. And they're not too expensive, and we can get a pretty big capacity, which would be nice. So I think that one does 22,905, 19, 22,905. Why wouldn't I go with you over that one? What does this one do? 19, 3. 80. That one's a lot cheaper, though. Um, plenty of horsepower. So if we do this, drink tank extension, does that bump it up to the max? Yep, engine. If we 
we did the bigger engine, that's an extra 48,000. We don't need the bigger engine. Um, I'm good with the wheel setup. North America's fine. We don't really need a rear hitch. Let's get the bigger pipe on there, though. That's kind of important. Um, no GPS need. All right, so that guy right there, 188, 949. Let's go ahead and lease that bad boy. Okay, and then it's not going to give me a combination. So let's go to headers and find ourselves a nice grain header. Probably preferably John Deere. How big is that one? 7.3. It's actually a decent size header. That'd probably be fine for it. Uh, we can go a little bigger, I think, than that if we'd like to maybe. That one, 13.7. I mean, it probably could handle it just fine. That's a big header. But it probably, it probably could handle it. That's going to speed up our harvest quite a bit. Let's go ahead and lease that. Sure. All right. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that can handle that header. Yeah, that's no problem. All right. Let's get our harvest underway. And obviously, we're just going to lease the seed breeding stuff. Because we're going to make seeds. That's kind of the whole point of what we got going on with our barley harvest. But let's get this harvest underway here. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Just, just to save time because you guys are chilling. Let's get them over here. Beautiful. All right. Now, if I activate this... Oh, well, you know, I'm full to harvester, of course. Oh, no. Don't hire anyone. Unhire. But you are unfolded now, aren't you? No, we're not. Okay. There we go. Okay. Good lord. That took a long enough time. I'm going to disable the straw swath because we don't need any straw for anything. At least right now. And yes. Look at that. That is fantastic. Yep. We're going six miles an hour, so it's not having an issue with that large header. And it looks pretty normal, honestly, on there. So we did make some big purchases just now. Excuse me. Especially with my tri. I mean, we had, we had like $800,000 in the bank at one point. So we were pretty close to getting to a million. Uh, which was great, but that's okay. And look at our, that harvest down there at the bottom that we are doing really good off our harvest. It's going to be green too. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of barley, which is great. I'm hoping this means we're not going to have to deal with seeds ever again. Well, we probably will at some point, but this is going to this is gonna tide us over for a long time. We get all these seeds uh, made. And we obviously we need them for our productions. This is a really good way. I did a test video using the AGI pack and the seed treater. This is a really good way to make seeds. If you've never done it, um, you can definitely save some money doing it this way. So... This is definitely worth it for us. I'm going to drive back over to that field over here and get started on it. Uh, but yeah, I am going to put a little bit of a break in here. I think what I'm going to do for the seed treating stuff is I'm just going to bring it out to the field. We'll just do it out here while we're harvesting. So I think that's uh, that's going to be the plan, and I'll get all that set up and bring you guys back in. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be pretty straightforward. Our Yeah, we'll just... Well, we do kind of need another trailer. I might buy another trailer. We'll see. Um, cause we probably need another, we have a couple trailers, but we might, I might just buy an Artardis trailer cause we have a couple of them already. Um, yeah, we own one of these guys already. I might just get one of these guys and we probably don't need the, ex well, we can actually get the extension for the harvester. I think that'll be fine. Um, I have one in red. Let's do one in like yellowish, something like that. Yeah, that looks, that looks decent. Maybe not yellow, maybe like. Orange, does orange seem better? No, I don't like it. All right, let's do let's do kind of this uh, bland red. I actually like that. Okay, perfect. We're going to go with that. That'll be fine. Um, that's, yeah, it's 20 grand. That's not a big deal. We're just going to buy that out of pocket. Okay, so I will bring you guys back in in a bit after we are ready to do some seed treating. All right, so we're all set up here. The other thing, before we get into this, that I forgot that we could easily do, and I don't know why I didn't think of this before... Uh, let's go up to the food factory here. Actually, we'll have a hop here. So, um, yeah, no, wait, the entrance is over here for everything. So we need to put sugar in this to make tomato sauce. So why don't we just purchase some sugar? Because we can. Um, it's better for us to do our own. But in the meantime, we might as well just buy some. There we go. That way we can go into productions. And we can make one of our most profitable things, which is... Tomato sauce. Let's activate that again because we have plenty of tomatoes in here. Uh, just a ton. So I'm not going to activate these guys to make more tomatoes till they start to run out. They can still work on their lettuce. But yeah, so that just kind of makes sense. We're going to make more off of that. We're not going to make as much money, but we're still going to make a lot of money. 
Um, so yeah, so far I've got 42,000 liters off of this field and he's our 58% full already. So the way this works, we should be able to put this here, hop in this guy right here. Um, oh, he's loading it up right now. Perfect. Um, so then as we dump seeds into here or barley, that's actually, that's changed that hole and that looks, that's going to look weird. We don't do the tip side grain door. There we go. That looks more normal. And then seeds are coming out the other end of it. So yes, it is taking that and it'll, it'll load that up as needed. Um, but we had 42,000 liters in here, so it'll take it a while, but yeah, see, it, it, does, it does take a while. So that's why I thought maybe we do this out here um, on the field, because he can just keep harvesting in the meantime. He's gonna be full in a second anyways. But that's okay. We can always grab some more. Um, 42,000 liters, I believe, will make 84,000 liters of seeds. I believe it doubles up with barley. I could be wrong about that, but I am really curious. Um, yeah, we're doing really good. So we had 42,000 some odd liters. If I stop this at 39,000, because I'm going to have to go unload him in a second here anyways. Yeah, it's not taking it very fast. It does take a while, but... Um, cause basically it's its own production chain running, just kind of, just kind of going for it. So yeah, it does take it a while, but yeah, right about there. That's fine. And let's see how many seeds we got out of just doing that. It's still going, still going, still going. Well, actually we can come back and see that. Let's go unload our, let's go unload our, uh, worker. Cause it does have a capacity. I can't remember what the capacity is on it. So we can have it just kind of running in the background while we're doing our thing. So we'll go unload him real quick. Yeah, this is a uh, a real good way to get seeds. Real good way to get seeds. We're gonna get a lot of seeds off of this. I will obviously I'm not gonna probably keep you guys in the whole time we do this take a while, but I'll bring you guys back in at the very end so you can see how many seeds we got off of all well, these three fields because we're gonna do six and then these two obviously here. So um, yeah, eleven, twelve, and six. We're gonna do we're gonna do just fine off of that, just fine I think. So then we won't have to worry about seeds for a long time, which will be good for us. It'll be good, 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 good. And we'll use the seeds for both our production facility where, oops, it's going to here. Actually, is there anything on sale? I need, no, definitely not needing that. Um, so we will use it on our production facility that distributes stuff. So we'll use it in this facility here, which is very low on seeds anyways. Um, we also could potentially look at a way to make solid fertilizer, but I'm, I'm less, less worried about that because I don't think that's gonna be as easy to do. But yeah, so we'll put some in here and then we'll keep some in just our regular silo storage our multi-fruit silo just because we can oh that's a good idea too while i'm thinking about it since we have this equipment leased we have some wheat some oats and some sorghum and storage that's been there for a while not very much but i might as well just make it into seeds because we're not how many plants to use especially those small quantities um i don't have any plans to use those or anything so i actually might i'm just going to do that to get that out of our storage as well um just because that makes sense so uh, there we go. We got him unloaded. Let's go check on our seeds. Uh, so I put about 3,000 liters in. So based on my calculations, we should have about 6,000 liters in the uh, in that bad boy in the trailer currently. So, but we'll see. We shall see. Make sure this is still on tip side grade door. Yep. Okay. We'll back this guy up there, and then we'll check. Go from there. Yeah. I'll just keep the operation out here. It's just pretty easy to do. Um, the seed treating fluid was like $3,500 for that pallet. So I'm hoping that's enough. We might just, that's the other thing too. If we, if we run out of that, we might just stop treating seeds because that pallet was expensive. Um, unless we have a lot left to do, then we'll buy another pallet. But if I'm not, if I'm not going to use it or I just need a little bit of a pallet, I'm not going to worry too much about it. But, uh, before I start dumping stuff into there, let's see, how was this guy? Yeah, 6,900. So we are going to double up our seeds. <laughs> So we're going to do just fine uh, on seed production here. There we go. Get that guy filled up. I don't know how much it holds, but it holds some. You can see it's going down pretty quick right now, so it's still kind of unloading, and then now it's back down to slow unloading, so that means it's just holding on to what it can produce um, as it goes through. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to need a lot. How much is in this thing? Um... 198 liters is in there and occasionally it'll just refill obviously the pallet from there so yeah i don't think we'll need 
more than that. If we do, we might actually need a second pallet because we have a lot left to treat, to be honest. So we'll probably end up using two or three pallets. But what, where I was going kind of with that is the pallet costs more than the leasing costs for this thing. So this thing is not that expensive to lease. I think it was like two grand to lease. Um, if I go to belts, and it's under belt systems. And it's part of the AGI pack, which is a DLC from Giants, which is free. So here is it right here, the FX seed treater. You just have to put this seed treating fluid in it, which is pretty straightforward. Um, the lease... Yeah, 1800 bucks. So really not that expensive to lease. So just be aware of that. But, uh, yeah, so. Yep, and I put the bigger trailer over here because that one has a smaller capacity. So I figured with seeds going into this, we might as well just do that and take care of that. So the first load I'll probably put into our distributor and then I'll probably put the next load into our silo. But uh, yeah, so anyhow, I am going to keep producing seeds. I'll let you know how many we get off of this harvest and those little bits of uh, stuff that we have back at the station so i'll see you guys here in a bit all right so it is the next day i did go pretty late in the night working on seeds uh but we did get it all done um yeah we got three hundred eighty-three thousand liters of seed off of uh well off of these three fields through here which is pretty impressive plus we got a little bit obviously from what we had in storage on a couple different crops but it was mostly obviously from our barley so in here, we have uh, 188,000 liters now, but I did put 200,000 liters in here, and then I put 180,000 liters in here. So we should still have just a boatload of seeds in storage in here. If I can find them, it should be just a really large number, actually. I should probably just look over here. There we go. Seeds, 183,000. So uh, we could theoretically sell those. Um, there's places you can sell them on maps and stuff like that, but there's no sense in that. We need the seeds. So... Um, yeah, that was a really successful mission, I think, to take care of all that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to kind of wrap up the episode. Um, if you guys are coming to Llama in 2024 in January, um, you guys can go on to, well, go on to my community page and you guys can register there to go to a community meetup, which is going to be a lot of fun. So if you go to the community meetup, um, there's going to be stuff for you to do there and hang out with some of your favorite content creators. So make sure you guys register for that. You have to register before the 15th of December um, if you're going to go to it. Um, the registration is free. There's not like a ticket charge or anything like that. And registering for Llama itself, which you have to do to go to our community meetup, is free as well. So all of that stuff is free for you guys to be able to go to it. But uh, anyhow, um, I am doing a soybean contract on, well, this field right here and i also am going to do a sugar beet contract on 15 and 38 i wanted 43 and 35 i don't really want 10 to be honest but i want more so we'll see if we get any more of that pop up i'm gonna get them just so we can start working on that um i've kind of done some i've kind of done some thinking and i think i have kind of a plan for us kind of going forward i'm gonna talk about that here in a second um one other thing i did buy was this field here it was on sale it's even better price now of course go figure um this one is 9.5 down is pretty good compared to what we normally have, but I can't quite afford that. So maybe we sell some stuff. We'll see. We'll see if it goes down a little bit further. Um, and then that way we'd have our grass field, which would be real good. So that's part of the plan with that. Uh, let me get this going this way. But yeah, so I have that field. It's a, a sunflower field. So what we're probably going to do is um, actually, is it ready to harvest right now? It is. So one thing we can do real quick, if you guys in here is we need to... I'm going to just keep this going, hopefully, um, while we're doing this. We need to get a, a, a corn header. And I think we're going to do a corn header because it can do sunflower and everything. So I think that's the plan. And I think we do this massive John Deere one right here. Um, so obviously, we can't afford that. So I'm going to lease it here in a second. I'm just going to get... I want to make sure this guy's going down the field good. And then we can hire him at the other side to work on this contract. Uh, but yeah, so I think that'll be a good uh, a good thing for us. and we Because obviously, we have our big John Deere harvester and all that good stuff. So I think that'll be a good header for us to have, um, which I'm going to just, let's go ahead and just lease that bad boy. Beautiful. And then we can use that for our sunflowers. And then whenever we need to do corn products and stuff like that, we have it available. And now we can pretty much just knock out any contract with this thing pretty quick and easy, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so obviously we have quite a bit of factories happening right now and things going on. Um, but the problem with the factories on this map, and this is nothing against the map itself, but for us trying to be big, massive industrial outputs, um, well, this factory can only, the food, not that one, sorry, the food factory can only do so much. So when you have multiple things running in the food factory like we do, because we're making canned corn, soybean oil, and we were making tomato sauce, when you have multiple things running in the factory at one time, um, the problem with that is, well, 
it can't really keep up that well um, because it's going to divide the productions between those. So it's not making as much as it could. So what I think we're going to do is reduce it down to one product once we get rid of the stuff in it and then use the other products we have, those other products that we're making or producing or whatever, um, to do other things. And I think that's just kind of the best way uh, to go about it. So um, what I think we're going to do is use it for tomato sauce since tomato sauce is really good income for us. And we obviously have our greenhouses and we have plenty of tomatoes and sugar is is hit or miss. We can keep doing sugar contracts right now. Um, at a certain point, we might get our own sugar factory, but we, I mean, honestly, we can because we make, we make enough off of the tomato sauce that one sale of tomato sauce for the year more than pays for a sugar beet factory. So, um, or a sugar factory. So we'll probably end up getting a sugar factory at some point and getting rid of our small one. Um, but yeah, we'll worry about that in the future. For now, we're going to buy sugar as needed and just keep kind of going about our business. But yeah, it'd be nice if that thing can focus on tomato sauce um, because, well, if we go into productions in here um tomato sauce 2160 it should make yeah it'll make a thousand liters a day or so which is great because that's yeah we just need more of it i think and that's probably our best our best option in there because canned corn it's not making a lot of it soybean oil it makes a little bit more but still we can find other things to do with our corn and soybeans so one of the things i was thinking with the corn is i still want to produce corn and use corn and stuff like that um we can make corn flour and then use the corn flour to make bread um we can make corn flour at the uh the flour mill on the map um, so I think that might be a good way to kind of start going with that. So that's kind of my plan for that and then put a bakery down somewhere. Um, we can use the bakery actually and obviously we can use the bakery built onto the map pretty easily. Um, so we'll probably end up doing that. But uh, yeah, so that way corn has a use. Um, soybeans, we're still going to be growing um, because, well, for one, we have soybeans right here. They're not ours, technically speaking, but we'll still keep growing soybeans because they're great for the soil and everything like that. Um, but in terms of what we can do with them, I, there's a few productions that are available. If we take a look here under production, there's, there's, I mean, there's quite a few productions in here. We could make like soy, I think we can make soybean oil. Can you make soybean? No, soybean oil is not a base game product. That's right. Uh, but there are mods out there for what you can do with soybean oil. Um, and we do have, I think we have some installed in here. Um, we could use, obviously we can use like one of the one Obatana's production packs to do some stuff with the soy. Um, cause I think there's products in here for soy. Yeah. Soy drink is an option. Uh, theoretically speaking, we can do that. Um, soy drink produces quite a bit, so I don't necessarily want to do that. I've done that before too. Uh, but that is an option, but anyhow, we'll find something to do with the soy. Um, this is a seed production facility. We actually could just make seeds out of the soybeans. That actually might be a good idea just to, yeah, that actually might be a really good idea. Um, I know we'd use our, yeah, we might just do that because we use a lot of seeds. We go through a lot of seeds with what we got going on. So that might just be a good idea just to do that. Um, but I'll think about it. So that's an option for the soy. And then we can use that for tomato sauce um, and kind of reduce that down. Now, the other thing I think the next thing we're going to kind of start going for is we have a really good uh, forestry output with our sawmills and everything like that. So I'd like to kind of expand on that more. And I think the way to go about that, I think we'll probably try to do it this episode, as I think we're going to place one of the platinum... Uh, productions which you remember was the forestry expansion with silver and forest and all that and i think the one i want to kind of go for is the flooring factory um and the reason i want to go for the flooring factory is because the flooring factory itself um is able to produce flooring from the planks that we're making so i think that will be kind of an, an improvement there which i don't know how much floor tiles are worth thirty four hundred dollars is pretty good yes yeah, so i guess it kind of depends on what the ratio is and that might be something i take a look at because if it's one plank makes two floor tiles. That's worth it. But if it's one to one, um, where are our planks up here? If it's one to one, um, it may not be worth it. Because our planks are actually worth a decent amount of money. Yeah, if it's one to one, well, I guess one to one, it still would go up because it's 25. I thought we were getting 30 for this. So yeah, I guess even one to one, it's still just kind of pushing it through in our production and making them more valuable as floor planks. Um, the other option we could do is uh, just kind of, well, I think that's a good way to go about it for that. And I'll do some of the math to see if we can make that or uh, how many flooring factories we need to have running to kind of get some stuff done. But uh, yeah, I think that'd be a good way about it. If I place it and it ends up being just really bad for us in terms of productions, I'll just kind of make us break even, get rid of it. and We'll call it a draw on that. But uh, yeah, so we got quite a things, few things kind of in the works here. Um, I'm going to get those sugar beet contracts done, get the soybean contract done, get our sunflowers harvested. And then next year, I think what we're going to do I think we're probably going to plant, um, we might plant like a mix of corn and soybeans. That might be kind of what we do is some soybeans and some corn. 
Um, we may plant some sugar beets maybe in one of our fields um, and kind of get some sugar beet equipment because, well, I guess that is one thing we could look into is how much sugar beet equipment is. Uh, we have some strange things here we could use. I'd rather not use those. We could use this guy, but again, it's not... I guess if we're only... We can probably just lease it. This guy and uh, this guy right here. We can probably just lease those things for... I mean, how much is that to lease? It's, it's five grand, so you could probably lease it. If we did like a big sugar beet harvest, we could probably lease that stuff and just go from there and uh, get it all harvested real quick. Because um, we probably only have to do it every so often, so I really don't want to own it. Because um, we're not going to... Because in order to make that lease cost be worth it, we'd have to... If we're going to do more than 10 harvests, which we're not, um, then we'd want to buy our own. So I don't think we need to buy our own, per se. Uh, so I think just leasing it's going to save us some money. But we could do a sugar beets. So what I may do is do a big field of sugar beets. Like maybe do one of these fields here. Like maybe 12 of sugar beets. Which, when do we plant sugar beets? Uh, right in March. Or I guess we could do everything in April. Uh, yeah, we probably will actually do it in April. No, we'll want to do it in March. So everything's ready to harvest in October. Um, yeah, because soy will be ready to harvest then. And corn will be ready to harvest then. So... We'll plant them all at the beginning of the planting, whatever window there. So yeah, if we did sugar beets here, um, and then we get a sugar factory, which we should have enough money for by uh, next year for that. Uh, what do I? Oh, I had my. I forgot I had my store delivery set up here uh, for. Uh, um, yeah, I forgot I had my store delivery set up here for the uh, seed treating fluid when I was ordering it when we were doing the seed treating. But regardless of that, so I'm gonna get that contract done um, and kind of just kind of move forward with time. Um, I'll bring you guys back in if something happens or something changes, but. Uh, or if we obviously if we build a factory, I'll bring you guys back in for that. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later on. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later on. That's what I got for you. All right. Welcome back in, everyone. So we are continuing getting stuff done around here. Um, we are going to build a new factory. I think I'm going to wait until we get a little bit more cash in the bank. But we are going to do that. Maybe a couple of factories this episode. Um, so we have 112,000 almost liters of planks in here, which is great. Um, and I also actually, if we go, yeah, let's get out of that. Um, this one has nine, nine, negative 19, which is the best we've seen. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. Um, yeah, we're going to just buy that. Um, we're going to purchase the soil information. And there we go. Uh, it's 50, of course, which is terrible. What is the reason for it? It's all the nitrogen. So once nitrogen is bumped up there, um... Yeah, so I might actually direct drill grass over top of the grass, if that makes sense, just to get this score up, because tillage is getting hit there, and we control that shouldn't have a problem with that for a little bit. It's been sampled, so that shouldn't be a problem, yep. Um, which one is it saying that we're not getting a good score for soil sampling? 1.5, it should be, we should be doing real good on that. But anyhow, overall, our MRL scores are doing pretty good. I think what we're going to do is a round of soybeans. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to produce with those soybeans yet, but we can get them started growing, which, can we actually do that yet? No, we got to wait till April, which is fine. So April will do that, and I'll also take care of the grass at the same time. We'll get that squared away. It is ready to harvest right now, but we don't... What do we have for equipment? So we probably, we want to do hay. So that's a forage wagon, actually. We're going to probably need something similar to that. But if we go to what we own, so what we own, we'll have leased. Do we have anything leased in here that we are hay-related? Nope. The mower, so we need to get a front mower to go with that. Um, that one, I believe, we don't want to sell it. I believe that one will, uh, let's go take a look at that one in the store. I'm pretty sure that one will uh, windrow. Uh, let's see here. So that's the Kubota one. The one we have owned. Oh, okay, yeah, so. I'm pretty sure we have it in this configuration with the wind drawers in the back. If not, we will add those on for sure. Um, but that's done a done deal there. What's the combination for that one? Oh, it doesn't have one. Ah, good. Is there a Kubota front mower of some type that would match that? Yes, that guy right there. It's gonna be that guy. Um, that's 3.2 meters. We might as well get a matching one. It's not gonna be that much more. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that guy to match up with that. And then other than that, um, we're going to need a tether because we're going to make hay. So we will need to get a tether for us, which that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Tethers aren't that expensive. We can even get a Kubota one if we really want to. Um, 16,500. Nine meters. 17. We really don't need 17. Nine meters is plenty, I think. 
rest. So I think we'll get the Kubota one there. And we want to go ahead and start going that route. And then we need something to pick it up with. The TARDIS, probably. Yeah, the TARDIS XL, that's what we're going to go with 100%. Okay, so then we'll use that to pick up our hay. Easy peasy. Um, that's the plan in terms of that. Um, this year, we're probably going to sell clothes, planks, and furniture to quite a bit of furniture. So we'll make quite a bit of cash on all of that. Um, yeah, we're going to do just fine in terms of all that. I will bring you guys back in for those sales and stuff like that. But in the meantime, I'm going to pass for a little bit more time into tomorrow and get some soybeans planted. So that's my plan right now. So I will see you guys, uh, well, in the second half of March. All right, welcome back in, everyone. So uh, I forgot to mention last time, I actually sold pretty much all the dirt on the map. Um, most of it, at least. There's a couple bits here and there, but pretty much all of it's gone. All the Everything I could pretty much get easily um, is gone. I, so I sold about five and a partial load on the train, which was nice. But now we're done picking up dirt, which is great. Um, I also did, the, after those four sugar beet contracts I did were done, we got 18,000 liters extra, so I put that away. I did spend 30 grand just now uh, buying fertilizer uh, because we needed some more solid fertilizer for our greenhouses and such. So I just wanted to stock up. And I also sold our sunflowers for 17 grand because I'm not going to, I don't plan on doing anything with the sunflowers. But uh, yeah, and it is April, so we are planting soy in these three fields here. And I'm going to replant the grass, as I kind of mentioned. But, and is there carrots on that field? Oh, wow, they're starting to do the new root crops now that I have premium in. That's kind of interesting. That's real nifty. So we'll see if there's uh, maybe some contracts for those. We could maybe do some. Uh, I don't want to do any contracts for those, let's be honest. Uh, I might do some. We'll probably do some at some point, uh, but we're not going to do contracts for them. So. Oh, yeah, because you can make a lot of money making soup, which is great. But anyhow, maybe not. We may not need to do it in the series. Um, okay, so I brought you back in because it is April as well. And it's the perfect time to sell clothing, canned corn, and tomato sauce. So we're going to make a lot of money right now. So right now, to, excuse me, to start, um, it is a really good time. Tomato sauce is still going up a little bit, so I'm going to wait on that one. And then canned corn. Let's see, what's a good price for normally? 4117 that one's going to be our best bet, and we'll wait for that to go up a little bit more before we sell. But if we go to clothing, um, it a good price is eighteen nine. This is twenty two on the way down, so I'm going to sell it at Vintage Visuals. I'm going to tag that place, um, which should be is it up over here? Yep. Okay. So um, now that's clothing. So that one we could theoretically pick up using uh, the TLX Phoenix or the TLX yeah the TLX Phoenix, um, or we could use our truck here. Um, however. This guy right here, as we know with the long trailer, it's difficult to do the tomato sauce and canned corn in some of these shops. So I downloaded a new mod. And I'm going to try it out if I can find it. Um, it's the Lizard Rumbler van. Um, I've never used it before. Refrigerated truck. Can auto load stuff? Probably not. Uh, anyhow, uh, so the Lizard Rumbler van, does it exist? Here we are. Okay, these are more expensive than I thought they'd be. Uh, it, oh, those do say products on them. Goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm worried that those are going to... They hold a lot, which is great. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I'm worried that those are not going to hold... Uh, diesel wheel setup that doesn't matter as much. Fillable uh, um, fillable pallet packs. Interesting. Packs fillable pallet fillable tanks. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I don't. I honestly don't think this is probably going to work for us then. Um. So. Yeah, it was worth a shot. I've, I mean, we may still use these because these are pretty nice in terms of delivery and stuff like that. But uh, if I'm doing something wrong, or there's some something that I could use to load all those random pallets, let me know down in the comments. I am behind on comments, so you guys could have already let me know. Uh, but anyhow, okay. So I think we're just going to go ahead and rock and roll with this guy. Well, yeah, why not? Um, I don't have anything. I don't have any better ideas. So um, we are going to drive this over to pick up our clothing, get that sold off. This will take us a minute to get there. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. I think this is just our best. Uh, I don't know why I went this way. This is a long... Oh, there's a copper. Yes, that was close. 
almost killed that guy. Sorry, buddy. Okay, here we go. So we'll drive this down there. We'll get it loaded up. Um, yeah, we'll get it loaded up with clothing and just kind of hope for the best, I think. Uh, we'll see how we are able to fit um, at Vintage Visuals. Uh, <laughs> sure, it's going to be great. Uh, worst case scenario, we will just uh, manually move the pallets in with super strength, and I'm not going to worry too much about it. But it would be nice if we had a auto load setup. I know there's one, I guess, that I could use that's supposed to just do anything um, that we're using on uh, Zalonka. If you've been watching my Zalonka series that we have on Yoss's, Yoss's farm and I, the Farmer Cop Disaster Farm. Uh, so that one would probably be just fine for this, but uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we're going to get this sold, uh, hopefully here in a second. Yes, it might take a little bit. See, let me look at, look at my episode time. We're about, oh, geez, the wheeze. Well, that's not, wow. Okay, well, I am going to just, just don't tell Darren what I'm doing. It'll be fine. Where is the, actually, am I even going the right direction? Where is the clothing factory? Is it over here? Fabric factory is over here. Oh, shoot. It's up here, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. I'm out of control. Okay. I'm <laughs> just out of control, guys. Uh, let's get... Uh, let's just... Uh, yep, yeah, let's just go up here. So this... No, it's the next row down, isn't it? Well, we're close enough now. So, anyhow. Um, yeah, because there's our clothing right there. Oh, boy. Um, oops. I am just falling apart today, apparently. I mean, that's probably... Pretty much par for the course, I guess, but let's go ahead and uh, sneak in here. We don't have very many pallets of clothing, but they're worth so much money a pallet. So we have 13,000 liters of clothes, which should be um, quite a bit of money. We can actually just drive out this way, I guess. Fine. Okay, and then vintage visual. So we're going to see what the, uh, the setup for that is over there and see how that's going to go. Yeah, we're just going to have to see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be in the area in, the, in there. I think I can open this gate up. Yeah, and head in that way. So we'll try to drive in this way. Let's be careful about it. Make a nice wide turn. See, this is why we need like just like a little tiny delivery van that could just sneak through all these little areas which the TLX Phoenix is definitely better but gosh I didn't want it. I just want one that can do all the pro oh this would be easy for us to drive across here um, okay yeah this will be easy there we go is that all we got that's all we got that was a lot of money off of our clothing, so that paid for our sheep and everything, which we needed it to. Uh, that is... Wow, we did all right on that. Okay. Um, let's go pick up our... Well, let's go pick... Yeah, because what do we got for time? It's going to be a little bit... I'm just going to do the other ones off camera, just because a little bit short on time. And then what we're going to do is, after I do those ones off camera, I'll let you know how much we make off them, obviously. Um, I'll get all of our planting done, and then after all of our planting done, I think I'll bring you guys back in and we'll close out the episode, and we're at a factory, and it's kind of the goal. So, we're going to do that. So, I will take care of that, and I'll bring you guys back in after that. All right. We're going to get ready to finish up this episode here. So, first thing I did was sold the canned corn and tomato sauce. Canned corn is about 76000 and tomato sauce. We only had seven pallets of tomato sauce, and we brought in sixty-four grand, which was great. I also sold, we bought, it actually might be... Might actually still be on. Yeah, this guy here. So we bought this planter used. I sold it. It, for one, it's five meters, so it is better than the planter we have. But it's six miles an hour, whereas our other one is four and a half meters at nine miles an hour. And this one misses all sorts of bits across the field. So, just obnoxious. So I just got rid of it. Um, I think we pretty close to broke even on it or whatever. So it's fine. Um, I also saw this guy because well, we can always expand our delivery fleet. Fleets. So this guy's only thirty nine grand to buy. So I decided to buy him, which. I did put him in the wrong configuration, but I can fix that later. Or we can use it as a truck. Literally just a 39,000 R truck is great. So that's a screaming deal. Uh, and now it's time to add in our factories and get rocking and rolling with ending this episode. The one thing I wanted to say as we are going about it here, um, if you guys have not checked out G Portal, that's where I use all my servers whenever I play multiplayer and stuff like that. Um, they do a fantastic job with everything. 
Um, so I definitely recommend you guys check them out because, well, they're fantastic. And if you use the link down below in the description, um, you will get 5% off, which is a nice little discount for you. And it goes to support the channel, so which is great. And honestly, their servers are better than most other server companies, if not the best of the best out there. I think they're personally the best of the best out there. And you get really good mod space and stuff like that. And they're actually cheaper than all the other ones out there. So definitely really worth it to check them out. In addition to that, if you guys are looking for any Farmer Cop merch for Christmas or anything like that, down below in the description, I'll have the link to that. Um, there is a special 2023 Christmas mug out there, as well as some other cool things on there. Um, and if you guys need to order the game for anyone for PC down below, make sure you guys use my code Farmer Cop at checkout. We're using those links down below uh, to order the game for people. And lastly, I know, I'm sorry, I'm shouting, doing all my shout outs real quick. Um, I do have my own coffee company, firstrespondercoffees.com, which is also linked down below in the description. Um, order some coffee if you're in the U.S. Um, for any of your family members. It's great. But, okay, so we have this guy, which this guy is great. I did some research on soy factories, and I found, well, I found, like, the soy patties factory. I found the soy drink factory, which is great, other than I'll explain a problem with it. And then we also have... There's a soy patty factory somewhere in here. Soybean factory, this guy right here. This guy takes sunflower oil as well. So this is just a pain to do. Uh, so I'm not going to do that one. Um, yeah, so I'm just not going to do that one. Now, the problem with uh, the other guy up here, where is he at? The soybean, soy drink, this guy, is yes, it makes soy drink, but you actually lose a lot of money if you do it this way because it's like 15 soybeans to 13 soy drink, whereas I can use um, a few of these guys down here um if i can find one of them that actually does the soybean drink soy drink guys this guy right here will do it uh it's one to ten so it's a much better ratio or something to that effect so um several of these i'm probably going to put in the problem is again they don't produce they don't yeah, they just don't uh produce as much so they're just slower um so i just need to put more of them down which is fine if i have to do it that way that's totally fine really do that. that's really the only thing i have as far as options for that goes. But uh, yeah, and then we're also gonna put, of course, a flooring factory down. Um, let me lower that a little bit. I'd like to just level this whole thing off. There we go. I'm gonna sell that guy off eventually, so I'm not worried about that. I can go right up to the wall too, which is super nice. And that is fabulous. So now I know it's all one even playing field, if you will, which is great. Yeah, that's fantastic. So that didn't cost us too much either, to be honest. So that was a pretty screaming deal for just getting that quickly squared away. Okay. Um, didn't mess anything up in here, really. A little bit there, but not a big deal. Oh, that's my phone going off. I apologize. Uh, but okay. So... This guy is still, he's, this guy's floating out, which is fine. Um, this one is almost done. Does it require, what in the world does it require water for that? Why do we have water in here? Oh, cause we did premium potatoes at one point. Um, yeah, we'll just, and it's water. We get water for free. So I'm not really worried about losing the water, but once these sugar beets are processed out of here, we're going to sell this bad boy off because if we have more sugar beets, we're going to build a legit sugar factory. So the one thing I do want to build, though, that we kind of talked about is the flooring factory, because I think that will be a good use of our money. It's the only one that only takes regular planks. Um, where are you at, little buddy? Flooring factory. So it is a little expensive, 110, but uh, I think it will be worth it in the long run. I think I'm going to sneak you over in this corner. Kind of right up against the wall here. Thank you. Anyone a little bit off the wall so we can easily grab the flooring. Right there, 110. Okay. And we'll see how one of those goes for now. Um, I do want to do a little bit of... I like things to actually look nice on my farm, so... Um, that sounded like you guys don't, for whatever... Just the way I phrased that thing. I like it look nice as if you guys don't. That wasn't what I meant. I apologize. I, I just, I do like to try to make things to look nice as possible on here. Uh, oh, copper's going over us. That's fine. Um, so that'll be good there. I don't, I might put some of those small ones right along here. So maybe if we go to production, that could be a good spot for some of these guys. Yeah, specifically this guy right here. If I can get the 
some of these guys right along here. Maybe just three of them to start. Um, oh, gosh darn it. I did not want to put that there. Yeah. Okay, I got all my money back. That was good. Um, landscaping, painting. Again, I can always change this later if I need to. Uh, but I think I'm just going to run that right into there. Out to the road there. I'm going to leave that alone for now. And this, I'm just going to run. This so it looks nice. Out there. There. Okay. Um, I can probably put a little. Okay, so there, our little production area is going together very nicely. Uh, if we need to, we can put in our flooring factory probably right next to it. This guy will go away and put our sugar factory here, maybe another factory here. Uh, so we have a nice little industrial district. And we can probably put two more of those in there if we really wanted to. We can pick that tree out, uh, which is great. So there we go. Now, if we go up here, let's get these guys configured. Um, this guy is going to be, I'm going to activate this one. Um, and we are going to set... That so far? Well, actually, it could distribute the planks over here pretty easily. It's only going to take 10,000 liters. So, um, yeah, let's go up to... Boy, everything... Did everything get re... Yeah, see, it put, throws things in random spots. Um, furniture. We need to sell some furniture at some point as well. And we're going to have plenty of stuff to sell next episode, that's for sure. And, oh, soybean oil is almost done as well. And once it's done, I'm going to shut it off and we'll focus on canned corn until the canned corn's done. And then I'm going to focus on just tomato sauce in that factory because that's our big money maker there. Um, okay, manufacture planks. Here we go. Spawning. Let's change that to distributing. Let's go that route right there. Um, and that should distribute them over to here. And we should be making flooring, which is great. And I'm going to set this, uh, the floor tiles to spawning. Because um, it can't hold very many, so that'll be fine. And it doesn't hold a lot of planks here, so I'm not worried about this getting a lot of planks. That was one thing I was worried about. Um, open that. There we go. I was worried about this being a really high capacity because if that was like, you know, 100,000 liters of planks, I really don't want 100,000 liters of money basically sitting here. Um, so only 10,000 liters of planks is not a big deal. Um, and honestly, it will, uh, it'll cook through those pretty quickly here. So um, this will be good. 31 times that. So this should make theoretically 31.2 cycles times 180. This should make um, oh, it's not as much as I thought. It's going to make 5.6 pallets a month, which is, I mean, that's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. So we'll probably end up building a couple more of these, or at least one more of these. But uh, yeah, so that's good there. That is what we have for today. Um, next episode, we're going to continue rocking and rolling. I'm thinking about maybe starting to go down the mining route when we get a little bit more money. I think that'll be good for us. So anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.